Hello guys and gals and welcome. Apparently my camera isn't on. Boop. 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 Of course it's messed up. It's always messed up. It's never got the right settings. Well, no stream for me the other couple days. Uh, I've just been working my butt off. It's not really, you know, my intention. Just working my butt off, and so working my butt off means sometimes I don't get to stream. But I'm streaming tonight. I don't care. Night shift streaming. I got to work night shift tomorrow, too. So you know what? It works out. I'll just night shift stream tonight, and we'll night shift stream, night shift job tomorrow. And the poll is about night shift. What do you call night shifts? Third shift? Graveyard shift? Night shift? Midnight shift? Like, what's your, what's your preference on that? I'm kind of curious. All right. Let's hop into voice chat. There's a couple people online. What's Bro, up? if you get him to drop the stuff on the ground and give it to you, I'll come give him some more stuff. What's up, game? No, he literally left the second you left. What's going on, Ginger? Hey, Not Ginger, much. what's up? Nothing much. How you doing, huh? You got a little bit of Did a crackle you on your mic, Bob? My, he's yeah, a little I don't know what's going on with my mic no more, bro. There's you know what I think happened is uh, your, your fire alarm in the back eventually blew out the microphone. I think I farted too loud one time. <laughs> farted too loud. It's probably when you found the Azadru and you probably screamed into the microphone. Got spittle, oh, no, I, I literally got spittle did all that over the troll it. chunk. Got spittle all over it. Blah, blah, blah. Is it still all messed up? Yes. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> it's all right, dude. I'm like, bro. You're just a little pixely. It's okay. We can still hear you just fine. You're like the audio equivalent of like an 8-bit game, you know? Hello. Nice. Nice. Fatty, did you send me the game name? Yeah, what's that? What's that no, old Nintendo game, game where the guy would always contact his uh, uh, his superior? Uh, yeah. What Metal Gear Solid? You remember Metal Gear Solid? Oh yeah, contact Snake, him? Snake. It's classic. <laughs> Afternoon. You know what I loved about that game, and it's such a stupid little thing, is that you were able to like hide underneath shit. Oh, oh sorry. You're able to hide underneath stuff, and it's just like. I don't know why I enjoyed that so much, but I was like, dude, I'm hiding from these guys. They can't even see me, bro. Oh, I just found my twin in random hell game. I found Bob. Does it love at first sight? Oh, I'm I'm lady in red. Bob just gave me a fortitude and I can't even use it yet. Haha. <laughs> uh -huh. So just I'm trying to level though. I can use it in like five levels, it's cool. That's what happens when you join the kinship chat. You gotta join the chat or kinship. Yeah, we pimp you out. Yep, you get pimped out. I'm not even level sixty yet, I got a fortitude, what's up? <laughs> Honestly, the most fun is at the start of ladder. Everybody's struggling. Yeah, right. I found a Koru! No way! Freaking Koru! I can make an obedience with that! Anybody got a foul? <laughs> no chance. This is serious business, okay? Anybody got a foul rune? We can make obedience. I'll give you three flawless amethysts. Wait. One perfect. I don't even know why I'm opening chests. This is a nightmare terror zone. I mean, I'm not gonna buy anything. But... Nightmare terror zone drops up to like jaw. Okay, I'm gonna find something good. I'm opening everything. Jaw's actually kind of low level. It's uh, it's like 74. So as long as your TZ is up around that level, but even then, like even if you can't find the jaw, you can still find like ohms and and like burrs and all sorts of crazy stuff. Oh, 
Alright. Just gotta get through hell. No, it was <laughs> No. I hate this. I hate Faker. Yeah, it takes like way too long for people to get back to this. Yeah, and then when they do, it's like they give you a game name and then it's like you join it and then they they're like, I already sold it. It's like what the hell did you give me the game name for? <laughs> first come, first serve go. Yeah, like how many people did you give the game name to? That's actually a good point, because can't you only accept, like, one offer for one item at a time? No, because that's, that's why people accept more than one offer, is the exact reason oh. that you're talking about. So, And also, because someone people post don't the same respond. item multiple times. Because people don't respond, yeah. people will literally accept multiple offers. I mean, and... I, I was literally just sitting here <laughs> But if he sent you the game name, I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty rough. Yeah, I mean, I joined it, and there was three people in it. That's why I said, hang on, don't join, because... I didn't want to have the same situation that I was listening to with Envious. And, well, uh, hang on. Well, I did that so you can learn. I, I did that so you can learn, okay? No, I'm just saying You're like welcome. that. I was sitting there like, wait a second. No, 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 no. And then it was, the, it the was problem like, no, I normally gone. have is the opposite. I normally have the, the problem where they just never respond. I'll put in like yeah. six offers on like, you know, six different items and nobody will respond. And so, like, by the time somebody does respond, like, hours later, I cancel all the other ones? I've had bad time zone issues before. I had an accepted offer, and we both were, like, just asleep when the other person was awake. And we're just like, you know what? This isn't going to work out. Oh, my God. There was this one guy. Um, he had a pair of gloves I really wanted. So this was back when I was doing my Holy Freeze Paladin. And uh, it was a pair of 20% IAS gloves, and it had, like, one resistance on them. But what was more important is it had, like the really high level of freezing arrow on it. Like, it was like a level 4 charge or something like that, with like the right stats. And so he had the item, and I offered him way more than it was worth, and I kept trying to like get in touch with him to trade it, and he would respond to me, and he would tell me he was online. And um, then he would tell me he was offline. Apparently this guy, I don't know what was going on with this guy, like, or kid, or whatever it was, but it was like a person that could only be online for like one hour a day. Like, no. every day, it was only one hour. That was all they could ever be online for. And so, I would I, I would literally go out of my way to try and be online for that hour because I really wanted these freaking gloves. And even when I was online for the supposed, like, you know, golden hour when this guy was actually alive, he still wouldn't be there. I tried for weeks to get these gloves until I finally just gave up. That sounds like some parental control kind of thing. Like, it, you don't it, it really does. Hour. Yeah. They were wasting all their the internet time on Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. He's like, son, if you don't play Diablo 2, you're grounded. <laughs> Ooh, you need to from council. Or is that rare? I can't. I think my eyeballs are broken. Oh man, that would be such a such a great adventure if you just couldn't tell the difference between rare and unique items. So every time you picked it up, you're like, "Oh my God, what is it?" <laughs> you know what? I still think. Okay, I can't believe this wasn't like one of their seasonal ideas. Don't you guys hate it how there's some uh, items that there's no unique for? So like, you know, there's no chance when that drops, it was ever gonna be. Like certain armor types and stuff like that. And there's just like certain armors that can only be rares or blues. Yeah, like Arkham play. Yeah, it's like why isn't there, you know, a cool unique one? It doesn't have to be crazy. It's just I want something that like, you know, it'd be cool to see. A griffin headdress. Could have got a bigger army before I came here. Is the Necro your main this season? I think it's a paladin too. Got it. I've been very, very casual oh. this uh, season. Lost two poison and bone with 17 strength and 32 life. I guess that's worth dropping. <sighs> yeah, I got a big honking SpaceX paladin that I run around chopping everything up with. Nice. 
And this uh, necromancer is a completely different necromancer than normal. The fire. Well, I heard army. So what do you got going on? Oh, nice! Uh, dude, I always thought that would be a cool idea. So are you doing the full uh, set where you're the the cool uh, yeah. thing? Yeah, it's not oh, worth it. Shoot. Dang, I wish I'm doing a completely cool. different build. So Go basically, how it works is, is I'm <laughs> I'm just building as much fire damage as I possibly can. I've got the fire golem. I've got the corpse explosion. I got the lower res. I'm using the Act 3 Merc, so we enchants the entire army. I got the Act 3 Merc <laughs> oh, up nice. to uh, 376 fire damage per per minion. And I've got 15 skeletons and like 20 revives with the with the fire golem. So that's, uh, what, 20, 35, that's like 36 minions or whatever that can be enchanted. And then that's 36 times 376. Um, like, and I got negative res. I'm using a Mang Songs lesson. It's a pretty fun little build. That's sick, man. I've been having fun with it. It um, I've already killed like Ubers with it and, and all sorts of other things. It, it seems to work pretty well. That's what I love about games like this is like, yes, you can just be a slave to the meta and you can do exactly what everyone's doing because it's the min max absolute best thing, but there's so much room for like cool, unique, creative build. I think this might actually be the new meta. Nice. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was playing around with it and I've kind of like I don't know. It's it's really quite interesting the way that this this build works. When you're playing in a group, for sure, like as opposed as opposed to by yourself when you're playing in a group, this this build offers way too much. I, mean, I, I yeah, I, I imagine do, the lower res on its own is crazy. Well, the lower res because like because it obviously hits everything as opposed to conviction, which only hits where the in the 13 yeah. yard radius around the minion or around you, which isn't really quite as useful as being able to curse like four screens. Right, not as convenient at all. Um, and then on top of that, the 400% AR that I give to all melee and like minions and everything. Like he, he basically just enchants everything. If you're in the group, you're enchanted. Like it's, it, it's not even a question of like if, it's just a question of like when did you show up because then he probably enchanted. <laughs> yeah. Apparently he enchants things off screen too, which is really quite crazy. Wow. <coughs> guy's got good eyesight. I don't even know. Half the time you're not even. He's like, swishing enchants from three point. Um, but it's really cool because like with the total amount of things that I offer, especially considering I can, I can lower res everything, apply enchant to everybody. I don't even have to be there. Like I can, like in the cow level, I can just go like, and then just like teleport away, and everything's lower res. And I don't really, I, I like conviction. I think conviction is really powerful, but it's also not active half the time because it's on a pulse radius, um, and it also requires you to be very close to the monster. And then on top of that, if your minion dies, it's inactive. Um, you know, funny thing is, is if my minion dies. And he's already enchanted the entire group. It doesn't even matter. Like I can, <laughs> he's, he's, does, he, the enchant lasts. His enchant lasts for one thousand one hundred and fifty-two seconds, which means that even after he dies, his enchant persists for quite a long time. He's just over there, yeah. like, yep, yep, yep. I don't even have to be alive. Yeah, he's done his job. I did my job. I don't even have to be alive. He can rest in peace now. Mm -hmm. right. uh, I will be right back. The Terrian Plateau? I did make a Terrian Plateau. Yeah, let's find the waypoint so we can farm this. I'm gonna do some uh, farming of uh, the elites as well as um, Big Boy at the end of Ariat Plateau. First, let's go ahead and farm our Big Boy here, then we'll find the waypoint. Throw so socket when he sterilizes is a pretty good farm. You just gotta have the waypoint. Unfortunately, I do not have the waypoint, which sucks, but I think I'll beat it. Holy Shield mod is still possible to roll on scepters and D2R. 
Yes, it is, uh, but it's exceedingly rare. I mean, you have to do you, you you know the rules for rolling holy shield on a, on an item, right? Let me, let me outline the rules for rolling holy shields, shall I? Okay. To roll holy shield, you need to succeed in the first roll. Alright? And this is what it looks like, okay? So, first roll... Yes. Fail. Okay. Reroll. Holy shield. Fail. Reroll. <laughs> Holy shield. Fail. Reroll. Holy shield. Fail. I don't even know why I'm typing this in at this point. I should just copy and paste. Um, so you have to proceed to do this. Uh, a total of... Uh, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six times. All right. Now, upon the sixth failure... Or is it the fifth failure? I can't remember. One or the other. It hardly matters. But upon that last failure, it can no longer fail again. Okay cannot fail again and then basically at that point it has to re-roll one last time holy shield and since it can no longer fail any more time subsequently it has to be holy shield so then it finally is holy shield um, and this is something that they put into the game so they basically made it so that every single time it rolls holy shield it's considered a failure um, and when it fails, it has to re-roll, and it would have to... So for you to get Holy Shield on an item, it has to roll it, fail, 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 and then roll it, fail again. But since it can no longer fail, because it's already failed six consecutive times, it then has to be Holy Shield, which requires a really, really... It's like, it's like winning the lottery, basically, just to even sh see Holy Shield on an item. Um, it's possible... Technically, in the very horriblest way, um, if you ever find an item with Holy Shield on it, you've basically won the lottery at that point, so congratulations. You won the lotto. The lotto gelato. I can tell you for a fact that I've never seen an item with Holy Shield on it. I could probably ask everybody here, have you guys ever seen an item with Holy Shield on it that wasn't, like, <laughs> manufactured in Hero Editor? Nope. So, that's, that's how rare the item is that you're looking for. Non-existent. Oh, I'm sure it exists somewhere. I'm sure somebody's got it. At least one ton. Yeah, one. You just, if you have like 60 jaws, get that first, and then you're on your way. 60? <laughs> Dang, 60? We only had 30. I was about to say, they had 30 for a perfect torch. What do you think <laughs> yeah. that's going for? More than 60. But you have to consider, like, who the right buyer is probably a lot more narrow for something like that, right? And even then, what are you going to do with that much <laughs> of, like... I mean, yeah, I guess with the kinship, it's older. I think you, uh... Well, many people want to use that particular item for, uh... For a pre-buff. It's, it's a pretty sweet little pre-buff. If you throw it on, like, a CTA... It's funny, because it's just a pre-buff. Like, if you throw it on a CTA, um... Actually, a really good CTA can actually be a primary weapon for a hammered in. So if you had like uh -huh. a, on a good shield, if you had like right, a sorry, on a good three, uh, scepter, yeah, if you had like a plus three holy shield, plus three blessed hammer, plus three concentration, and then rolled a CTA in it, like a really good CTA, 
You could just use that as your main <laughs> oh weapon. Oh my god. That, that, would, could, be that would just so... be your main weapon. <laughs> that would be we worth got the entire JSP. <laughs> oh yeah. Or you just own the website now. You just own the website. <laughs> You're on the board of directors now. There'd be seven people in the game reviewing the trade to make sure it's legit. <laughs> oh, so speaking of JSP, um, I was I was pulling up on one of the old articles on the, the duping stuff because I wanted to see how things went. And uh, I don't know if you guys remember the, the, the Enigma duping fiasco from a while back uh, with Chobot on JSP. Apparently he sold like eight, eight seven or eight like duped enigmas that were all I remember that yeah so anyway I pulled up beginning. so yeah. I pulled up one of the threads that he was trying to defend himself in because he had like this thread he was defending himself with against other people who were making fun of him and uh, yeah, he's banned it says it says uh, banned gold um, uh, frozen um, it says and it's underneath of his name it says likely scammer or something like that <laughs> oh wow so it looks like the final result of that was uh, not in his favor. Ugh, this is spicy. I do not like the spear cats as a necromancer. The spear cats are terrible for necros. It's impossible to hide behind your army when they're throwing their spears. On top of that, if you resurrect them, then you have friendly spears and enemy spears flying through the air, and you have no clue which is which. Just dodge them all. Impossible. Okay, that was spicy. Impossible. I do like Resi them for <coughs> revives. I think they make very good revives. They're very effective AoE damage. I think I might just be skipping this one though. I'm tired of fighting them. Yeah, apparently somebody else who was on his side too. Like I noticed, that, like in that th for a thread, somebody else that was on his side was also banned. Uh, Accomplice. Yeah, I pull I pull it up every now and then, because it was actually a thread about me. <laughs> I pull it up just to see what people are joking about. Apparently, Hello, I'm, apparently I'm a 400 pound incel, according to JSP. But that's probably because I don't Scuffle like JSP. It. Oh, well... Yeah, crazy. It's um, crazy how if you talk badly about a website, suddenly everyone inside that website hates you. ASP? <laughs> oh. I don't, I'm not a fan of it either. I, the fundamental reason why I do not like it is that the idea of a season is you start fresh. So if you're using your wealth from the seasons before to get a head start on the fresh season, why are you playing seasonal? So it's more than that, though? Like, it's even more than that? Because it's not just using your wealth from previous seasons, because JSP currency is also, number one, purchasable, basically, through right, donations. Yeah. And you can also purchase it on eBay. But on top of that, you can also earn it through other games which are associated with the website. So it's not, yep. just, it's not just earning wealth through previous season, which, which almost might even be acceptable. It's earning wealth through other games, purchasing the currency, and just in general, just like having massed amount of wealth before a season starts that doesn't yep. actually come from Diablo 2. And, and on top of that, you can literally just RMT it if you want to. Uh, let me see if I can find this dupe one. I kind of wanted to show him getting banned. I know a lot of people were kind of interested to see the um, conclusion to that. On the next episode of JSP Corruption. Of JSP.
this it? This is it, isn't it? Yeah, this is it. So this is this is the the, the post right here, and if you go all the way to the end ish, um, toward the end the Chobot was trying to defend himself. And it says gold locked traitor scammer written in red underneath of his name. And it says banned. <laughs> And there was a couple other ones in here that were defending him that were also um, banned and also marked the same exact thing. So maybe they determined that they were working together. Uh, or an alternate account of the same person. Oh yeah, or an alternate account of the same person. Could be. Uh, where was the <laughs> it's funny, one? he's like commenting on his own post like, yeah, this guy's right. <laughs> uh, there it is, another one named Cy Minin, also locked gold locked trader scammer of course apparently he's not banned though which is rather interesting so his gold is locked and he's marked as a scammer but he's not banned chobot is gold locked marked as a scammer but he is banned it's really quite odd apparently there's a couple people uh who are involved in this um that one i mean this is the guy who was defending him and it's kind of interesting to see that the guy who was defending him also got banned interesting people are making fun of him hardcore too they're like wait a minute you bought seven enigmas that were all the identical defense number <laughs> and you didn't know wait one person bought all of them well, in, in one of his defense statements for the duping of the items, he he basically claimed that he had no association with the actual duping method, nor did he know that they were duped. But then everybody else pointed out, rightfully so, that how could you not know they were duped when you purchased them all at the same time from the same person, according to him, and they were all exactly the same. I mean, could you imagine purchasing, like, I don't know... Uh, let's let's find a different item. Uh, let's say you purchased Griffin's idea Dems from somebody, and he had like ten Griffin's idea Dems, and you purchased them all from him, and they're all 2015s, every single one of them, with the same defense. Like you wouldn't get a little bit suspicious that somebody has ten Griffin's idea Dems that are all identical. Yeah, looks looks normal to me. Move along. I'd be like, man, how did you get 10 Griffin's Idea Dems that are all 2015 perfect? It's just a, a collector. But, like, oh man, I just got really lucky. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I gambled for these. I just I just bought 10 of these <laughs> from a gamble, and they all gambled perfect. It was amazing. I can't, I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my god, guys, I gambled perfect. That's right. I'm gonna abandon this one because it's full of spirit cats. Oh yeah, I gotta do my daily ritual and check and see if somebody has my uh, my necro heads. I need. A, I still need a, a perfect necro head for my for my DJ. What's up, Ronzo? It's it's funny to me like uh, when I stream, but it almost sometimes doesn't even matter when I stream because there's so many people from so many different time zones. <laughs> 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 like somebody like from Japan's like, "What's up, Ginger?" Speaking of, I'm hungry. I got some extra toasty cheese that they were on sale. Those are my favorite type. Yes. Whenever they didn't make those, and you would find the toasty ones in the non-toasty boxes, that was it, like the, the extra lottery. toasties are fire. Like they're, yes, they're, it's the best one, bar none. I don't care. What those should be says. the default. Like the extra toasties are the way. I, I still remember the first day I found extra toasties. I was like, oh my god, what are these? I ate like the whole yeah, box. Dude. Someone with a brain is at that company for once. Finally, thank you. 
See now, if only the Dorito company would do the same thing. Like we, you know, in the, at the bottom of the bag, when you find that one chip that's like extra super coated in the in the seasoning, <laughs> yeah, they just need to make a whole bag of extra super coated. You know what's funny, actually? So I forget what company it was, and they may be out of business at, at this point. But do you ever have uh, like the crumbs of the chips at the very bottom of the bag, and you just like pour it into your mouth? Hmm. No, just me. I'm crazy. Anyways, there was a company that had like basically crushed chips where like the entire bag was the bottom of the bag. So it was all powdery and all just like bits of chips and you just like literally poured it into your mouth. It's fire. I love how there's an offer too low option. I mean, offer too high. Like, <laughs> who does that exactly? This is only worth one burr rune and he offered 62 burr runes. That was too high. Offer too high. How dare you overpay? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's an ethical thing. I mean, if somebody offers you uh, more than it's worth, then you take it. I mean, I, I do it all the time. Like I'm, I'm, I'm on the other side of the equation, so I'm, I'm gonna speak from the other side of the the equation. If I offer you like two burr runes for something that's worth one burr rune, it's probably because I want it right now. And I want you to carry your stupid butt and give it to me quickly. Like, I'm willing to pay for the convenience of getting it quickly. So I will over-offer to put your little butt in gear to come give it to me. So a lot of the times when I'm overpaying, I'm overpaying for convenience. Which is the same thing that we all do when we go to freaking 7-Eleven and get a bag of chips for five forty nine, When we could have gone to the grocery store and got that same bag of chips for, for two forty nine. dollars uh, Sad to say it. Here in New Jersey, bags of chips at the supermarket are five ninety nine. I mean, it really depends on the sale that's going on. You got a Kroger out there? No, sadly, I don't have anything good here. Uh, well, I was gonna say because Kroger has these deals every week. They're called uh, weekly deals or whatever, and the weekly deals are almost always like at cost. Um, I used to, I used to be. Um, friends with the one of the one of the really high up grocery managers and he had access to like the cost like analysis for the items like how much we paid for them and how much we sold them for and what kind of profit we made etc cetera, etc cetera. and he showed me that the weekly deals at Kroger are almost always at cost for the store so so like when you see those weekly deals if you can control yourself because the entire purpose of those weekly deals is to get you in the store so once you're in the store they don't want you to spend money on other stuff. The The weekly deal is to get you to come in, and then they, they get you to buy other things while you're there. But if you can control yourself and you go to Kroger and all you get is the weekly deals, a lot of the times those weekly deals are are like a loss, basically, for Kroger. <laughs> for the most I part. was in Florida for a while, and, and the Publix there has two for one on a lot of snacks. But here in Jersey, you never see that. I got to go do this. Three. Uh, okay, and then we need fire golem. I mean, it's it's really just a, a a casino thing. I'm not sure if you guys have ever played around with like how casinos try and keep you in the door. It's a it's a whole thing. They they basically go through the process of um of like doing all sorts of things like free buffets and. Or like really cheap buffets, and they like give they comp your drinks in your room, and sometimes they'll they'll even like set you up in like a uh, you know like a, a better room if you're winning a lot. Like the the entire goal is is you know they want you to stay because the longer you stay, the more you spend, and that's the same thing with Kroger. They want you to come in and they want you to stay. So they they have big deals that get you in the door, and then when you're there, they made they kind of like you know put everything up in a certain way that gets you to pick up more and put it in your cart than you would otherwise put in your cart. It's it's all a big psychological trick. Freaking casinos take it like a mile further though, like they <laughs> they make all the hallways look the same, so you get lost in the building. There's no windows, so you can't see outside, so you don't know what time of the day it is. Because if you know what time of the day it is, you might go home, right? So if you're sitting there and you're, you know, you're like, you know, on the slot machine or whatever, and then you look over at the window and it's nighttime, like, and it was daytime when you got there, you might be like, holy crap, how long have I been here? But since there's no window, you can't do that. 
It's all uh, it's all a big old big old trick. Like you ever notice how um at grocery stores the milk is always in the back. It's always way in the back because they know that everybody buys milk, and there's no reason to put the milk in the front. Uh, that could because they know that everyone's gonna buy it. So they put the milk all the way in the back for the very reason that, well, okay, well, if we put it all the way in the back, then they've got to walk by all this stuff on the way, and they might pick up other things while they're on their way to get their milk. So Blow things, my mind, man. So things that they know that you will purchase, so whatever they know you're going to purchase, they always put, like, all the way in the back to make you walk all the way to the back and get it. Like, the meat is all the way in the back. The, uh, the the milk is all the way in the back. The butter is all the way in the back. The eggs are all the way in the back. These are things that they know that you're going to buy. And then the things that, that they're pretty sure that you're not going to buy unless you happen to walk by them as an impulse buy, those go in the front of the store. Like candy is always by the aisle because they know that as you're walking you know, to the register and you're in the line, you have the impulse to pick up, you know, like a Reese's cup or like a Hershey's bar or something, you know. So so that's in plain view. They don't put that in the back of the store because they know you, you don't need that. And you didn't come to the store to buy Reese's cups. <laughs> you came to the store to get like the basics and you left with a bunch of candy in your pocket. Uh, in true mentor fashion, Ginger is dropping the game here, guys. I mean, it, a lot of stuff is just psychological tricks, like, um, you know, that whole, like, 99 cent thing, like, you know, not dot 99. It works, too. Like, it really does. When, like, if somebody marks something $30 and somebody marks something twenty nine ninety nine, I don't know why, but twenty nine ninety nine just always feels better than, than the $30 option, even though it's just a penny. And they still use it to this day. Like, they don't, they don't care. <laughs> they're, all, they're just using them tricks. I'll tell you another one that not not so many people know when you you put something like thirty three dollars and fifty seven cents because it's a weird number people think it's discounted for some reason. I mean, I, I could see that. I think uh, Walmart uses that that trick. Walmart uses a completely different trick. So if I tell you about Walmart, you might not want to shop there no more. I'm going to tell you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, Walmart does a completely different trick to uh, to sell you stuff. And um, it's kind of hard to explain. So, well, let's say you go into a store. Um, I don't know, like... Uh, Let's use a let's use a, a more name brand like big big box store that has more pricey objects, right? So let's say you go to Sears and they have a lawnmower there, and the lawnmower is a I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think of a, of a lawnmower brand right off the top of my head. Craftsman. A uh, Craftsman. Okay, let's say you got a Craftsman lawnmower. All right, Craftsman lawnmower costs two hundred ninety nine dollars. All right. And uh, it's a pretty nice one. Maybe it's, I don't know, self-propelled. It's got, like, uh, you know, like little guards and mud flaps and all this other That's stuff. And, and it's got, like, a little mulcher that it comes with and all these other little things, right? Then you go to Walmart, and it looks like they have the same exact model lawnmower. Um, and and, it, and if, to the naked eye, it looks like the same lawnmower, but they're selling it for, like, two twenty nine. And you're like, how the hell is Walmart selling the same lawnmower that Sears is selling? Uh, for two ninety nine, for two twenty nine, and you're like, well, Sears is ripping me off. That's like your first instinct. Sears is ripping me off, but it's not. So what Walmart actually does is they contact Craftsman, and they say we want a cheaper model uh, to sell at the store, but we want you to package it and make it look like the same exact model that Sears is selling. <laughs> Um, and a lot of the times when you look at the model number, it'll look something like this. So I'm just making this model number up. But let's say the model number is like CRF, like for Craftsman, and then it's like 0156A9, like 2, all right? And then when you go to Walmart and you look at the model number of the lawnmower that they're selling, uh, the one that is like, you know, $50, $60 cheaper, it's going to look like the same number, but it's going to have an A after it, or it's going to have a B after it or something. And the A or B that's after it basically represents that that model is the cheaper, like inferior model 
that uses a bunch of cheap parts. Now it can range from any number of things. It can range from like not including the mulcher. Um, the blades could be cheaper. The metal could be thinner. Um, the engine could be a, a cheaper engine model that breaks down more easily. There could be a hundred different things that they cheap out on because this is not Walmart that's doing this. Walmart actually is a big company who can like influence the brands. So they actually approach craftsmen and they tell craftsmen that they don't like the price of the product that they're selling and that this is the price point that they need to hit. And that they tell them that they're not going to carry their lawnmower in the store unless they can hit that price point. Then Craftsman goes and cheapens up the lawnmower as much as humanly possible to meet that price point. And then you go to Walmart and you see the cheaper lawnmower and you think it's a better deal, but it's actually a cheap piece of junk by comparison to the one that is being sold at Sears. They look the same, but they're not the same. It's, yeah, it's the same with TVs as well, Jason. They do this with all their products. I'm just using lawnmowers as an example. They do this with everything. They will literally contact the company and tell them, this isn't cheap enough, make it cheaper. And then the company goes through the process of making it cheaper, and then it turns out like a, like a cheap piece of trash by the time they're finished. Hey, hey Ginger, what, what, what's funny about what you're saying, I, I did exactly what you're talking about um, a couple of days ago. I was looking at for a trimmer. And um, Amazon has a had the Walt trimmer, uh, which is the high quality brand. But Home Depot has the same exact trimmer, but minus the um, uh, but they have an inferior battery in it. But it costs thirty dollars more at Home Depot than Amazon, and you get a better battery. You get like a nine nine amp battery. With oh Amazon yeah, they one. sell it with the cheapo battery that doesn't last yeah. very long. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I seen that one too. You get like the battery that lasts an hour versus the battery that lasts for like four hours. <laughs> and then I was like, that is so, that made me, that infuriated me. I mean, basically what it comes down to is Walmart is, is willing to present a cheap price to you no matter what it costs. Even if it means that the product they're selling you is garbage. I don't like to go to Walmart anymore. Because you never know when when you're buying one of those cheap products or not from Walmart. I'd I'd rather go to Target. I'd rather go to you know like the the mall. I'd rather go to Lowe's or Home Depot or something like that and get it because yeah. at least then I'm not dealing with the like am I getting the cheap inferior version model? <laughs> um, yeah, Black Fridays, by the way. So Black Fridays used to be um, about selling off old product that was not being sold. But nowadays, um, companies like Walmart will actually order specific, like, products, like really cheap versions of normal TVs to sell specifically during Black Friday. So instead of it being a situation where you're buying off the remaining stock that, that wasn't sold, now they're turning it into a, a scenario where literally they are pulling in products specifically for Black Friday. They're, like, they're called Black Friday model numbers. Um. Let me see if I can find this. Um, there's actually a guy that um, compared the model numbers of the TVs, and he found out that there were model numbers that were only sold during Black Friday. They were, they were like specifically only sold during Black Friday. And on top of that, they always had different model numbers than other TVs. Uh, because, and, and, and the way that this was found out was it was found out by a guy who took the ad for, like, a Walmart TV yeah. to, say, like, Best Buy. And the Best Buy guy told him that he couldn't match the offer because it wasn't the same TV. And he said, what do you mean it's not the same TV? He said, well, if you look at the model number here, the model number of our TV is Samsung, you know, 1530S. He goes, this one is literally marked Samsung 1530BF for Black Friday. <laughs> it's a it is a brand or a model TV specifically made for Black Friday. He's like we can't match this because this product doesn't exist. Like it only exists for Black Friday. You want to bet that's exactly why they did that? So that you couldn't match it at other stores. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I see that a lot now um where like Best Buy is good for this too like having things where you can't price match at other places. 
Yeah, they say they can full price match anything, and like everything in the store is that Rev A. Yep, Revision A. I don't know, the, the tricks that companies use to try and, like, you know, pull the wool under your eyes <coughs> is, um... They're so, they're, they're, they're so ridiculous. Every single company's got some sort of, like, like, like trick these days. At Ashley, uh, they use, uh, price anchoring, which is really funny. You wanna explain what that is, Ginger? Price anchoring? What are you talking about? Yeah. So where you have an imaginary price that no one ever sells a sofa at. It can be anything. It could be a car. It could be... Oh, yeah. Uh, like I think I know what you're yeah. talking about. I never heard it yeah. talked about like that. But, yeah, I've, I've always kind of known that, like, when you go to those places and they tell you that a piece of furniture is this X price, mm -hmm. like, nobody's buying it for that price. No. Yeah. Nobody, nobody's buying. Like when you like, they're like, they're like, and this mattress set is is seven thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars. And then like, we but we brought it down to one thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars. <laughs> they're like, nobody's buying yeah. an eight thousand dollar mattress set. I could buy a car for that. Yeah, the most I've ever it's seen small. anyone spend on a mattress is like, I think five or six at our store. I mean, I can see some of those other websites that do, like, the online thing where they sell them over a long period of time. I feel yeah. like those are all scam, too, but, um, you know, they, they usually come with, like, the frame, the mattress, the bed spring, the, like, pillows, like, the whole nine yards, and they try and get you for everything, so, I don't know. Yeah, price anchoring is illegal in a lot of places because it's a really easy way to trick people in thinking that they're saving money. It's not illegal in the, in the Americas, though. I kind of like Ollie's. Ollie's is interesting. You ever been to Ollie's? Yeah, we've got one. We've got two here. Yeah, Ollie's, Ollie's um, buys stuff. I actually had one of the managers tell me how Ollie's works and why, and why they actually have such good prices. So they buy their products um, from the big name stores when the big name stores um, start to like lose those products and they buy them on like a weekly basis or a monthly basis or something. I can't remember the exact term. Like, it, so if, if I'm a like Kroger or a Walmart or something like that and I want to buy a product, um, I, I have to buy it for like a certain period of time. It's like six months or a year or sometimes even two years. Like I have to maintain that product in my store for a pretty long period of time. Um, Ollie's doesn't have to maintain nothing. <laughs> They buy it, they, they literally buy it on like a monthly or weekly scale. So they they get to choose what they want and they keep it in their store for however long they want and they don't really care. So like, but when you go to Ollie's and you look at the products, they literally leave the price tags on there from the previous store. So you get to see exactly how much they were being sold for, which I think is pretty neat. Pretty reasonable. Sometimes the Ollie's price is exactly the same price as, <laughs> as the previous store, though. <laughs> I'm like, that's not a discount. I usually go there and get a bunch of stuff. They got like some pretty good. Uh, they got like lemon drops and stuff like that. I don't know why. I don't yeah. know where they keep coming from. I don't know what stores having trouble selling those lemon drops, but those lemon drops are fire. They got like the orange ones and like the, the different flavor ones too, and they're so good. And I'll go in there and buy like five or six bags. It's funny you say that about candy because like the Wally's I uh, near me always has like huge quantities of Snicker bars. And I thought that was one of the things people just love. <laughs> yeah, and they're so cheap too by comparison to like the other yeah. stores. Yeah, it's like <laughs> half the price. I'm over here like, uh, <laughs> I'll take all of these. They also have my uh, my. My jalapeno popper um, um, cheesy puff things. I can't. They're, they're made by hers or whatever. I think they always have like a really good quantity of those things. I'll buy like three or four bags when I go there. Those things are delicious, by the way. Oh yeah, I've tried them. They're great. Or hers. Uh, you guys know what hers is, right? The, uh, the the chip company. Yeah. I, I I think for some reason or another, hers got left out of the bandwagon. Um, from the, uh, the, like, the trifecta. Because, like, if you go into a grocery store 
Um, you always have, uh, what is it, Frito-Lay products, so that's like Doritos and Lay's, um, or, or like Cheetos. You also have the Utz products, which are, which are pretty good. Um, and then, what's the third one? There's usually one more. But hers is, like, never there. Cape the, Cod. The hers brand. Yeah, Cape Cod. Hers is never there. Like, hers is just missing. I don't, I don't know why. But from grocery stores, it's like they, like, lost out on some sort of contract for or something. And a lot, a lot of their chips are actually really good. But you just almost never see them in grocery stores. Usually you see hers in um, places like, um, like fast play, uh 7-Eleven, Wawa, like stuff like that, like uh, like convenience stores. That's usually where you see the Hearst products. I don't know what they did to piss off the 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 chip gods, but apparently they they just they got banned from like all grocery stores. <laughs> uh oh, now you're making me want to look up a see things scandals on Google. There probably is some sort of scandal involved with Hearst. I bet you. I wonder if. I wonder if Google will tell me anything. Let's see. Taylor chip recall, to 2016. <laughs> hmm. Now I really want the. Kroger prime rib chips. I haven't had those for a while, I don't think. Like most of the Kroger's in this area got closed down and they turned into morphed into Harris Teeter, which is owned by Kroger. Ironically. Yep. Don't let my army go unsupervised. I will let my army go unsupervised. They can do their own little thing. He's just there to mentor. It's funny. Everybody I'm looking up online is like Dollar Tree gas stations. Uh, like no, nobody, nobody's talking about grocery stores. It's kind of interesting that uh, everybody knows where to get them. But where to get them isn't anywhere like normal that you would go on a regular basis. <laughs> Unless you work next to one. <clears throat> so I guess they just, I guess they have a dedicated uh, fan based in. Or I mean, some of their chips are really good. I like, I like the uh, jalapeno popper ones. Those are delicious. They got a couple other really well good ones like, uh, uh, just, just like odd flavors that are just really delicious. <laughs> I think their chips have a better texture too than Lay's, to be perfectly honest. I think Lay's chips are too thin. Them janks stick to my teeth like they're made out of bubble gum. There's a, uh, oh Ginger, it's funny you mention that. There's a guy who runs a YouTube channel called Tasting History, and he's talked about the history of potato chips, you know. And one of the things he mentioned was like the, the thickness of the chips were thinned, thinned out over time, and the thicker chips taste better. I mean, it's not so much the... I don't even know if it's the thickness so much as something with the way that Lay's chips are. Is they, they're so thin or, or they're so something. I don't know. Maybe if they got some sort of coating on them or something. I don't know. But they, like, stick to your teeth. Like, I don't know what. You need, like, a toothpick after you finish a, a bag of Lay's chips to, like, get all the, like, the, the <laughs> chip gunk residue out from in between your teeth. Meanwhile, if you eat something like hers or Uts or like most of the other products, it's honestly like any of the other products. It doesn't seem to do that. It's it's only Lay's. I think he commented on that uh, that aspect too. I need to find out what he, what he was talking about. I remember him saying something about that, like how they stick to your mouth. Oh man, they stick so bad too. So bad. What's up, Cash App? Get in here today. We got, uh, we got Edward Aegis. We got Paulo. What's up? Circle of Pharaohs. Ben Moreno. Charles. Hard Coded Gamer. Jason. What's up, guys? Brandon Cruz. Gold Magic Fine. Impossible. 
Impossible. What's up, Alex? Scoop back. Oh. <laughs> Did anyone tell you what your your challenge for the start of the next season is gonna be? What's my challenge? What challenges? What are we challenging in any meaning? I'll wait for uh, Bobby to put it in. I mean, I challenge myself all the time with Crazy Bill. One thing I've really been wanting to make is a proc sorceress. I've, I've been trying to figure out a proc sorceress and, uh,. I just, I don't know. There's, it's difficult. It's difficult. Her, her synergy requirements make it very, very odd. Like a uh, rock and chain sorceress, or like there's fireball procs. There's, uh, there's all sorts of things that you could potentially throw into the mix. I mean, there's a firewall. There's firewall on pride. The procs. That one's pretty neat. Um. It just it, it becomes a, a problem of um, trying to balance like how many procs do I want, which procs do I want, and then like how do I then deliver that to the enemy? Because uh, obviously she doesn't really have good melee abilities, so I think even if I did build up a fairly interesting proc uh, sorceress, she has to have a very good way to like you know, hit those procs onto the target, otherwise it's useless. What do you need? I mean there's a couple of interesting ones like Enlightenment procs fireball. Um to cad the decapitator axe procs fireball. Um there's also the pride weapon which procs firewall. Um obviously you also have things like Frost Nova and uh, and Nova and you've got um like tons of various little things here and there which you could potentially throw in but everything is kind of mixed in I'm, I'm assuming that if i did this i'd need zeal so i'd probably have to use the zeal weapon and then and then focus on like hitting the procs i'm not really sure how well it would work out here. I need mana. Oh no. <clears throat> Not enough mana. I was watching the um that new Dragon Quest anime on Netflix. Boy, I got all the way to the end and they didn't finish it. I don't know if I'm waiting on episodes now or what. Or if I need to go to another website and like pull up the rest of the seasons on there. They basically brought you like all the way to the end, like right where the conclusion would be. And we're just like, yeah, no conclusion for you. I had that with um, the show Why the Last Man. A really interesting apocalypse show on FX. I think they did like one season, and it was just like, nope. What last this man was... in the world or something like that? So it was. Um... Is that the one where he marries that really ugly girl? No, 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 no. It's uh, this is not a comedy. Uh, this is oh. a show where uh, there was a virus that affected everyone with a Y chromosome. 
and uh, there was just one dude who happened to not die. Uh, and I think the show was, yeah, I think the show was a little much for some people because it was just like all women and then trans men. And the trans men weren't treated very well. Uh, because the women that were left were upset that they reminded them of everything that they lost. Oh yeah, no more babies. Yeah, and so... Doesn't, doesn't, it doesn't matter what side of the argument you fall on trans anything. Like, in a situation where people are trying to have babies, and you can't make a baby, well, they're going to be pretty upset that you can't make a baby. There's no more babies. They yeah. want a baby. That's the one thing that you that like the whole thing with men and women is is making babies. If you can't make a baby, well then, in a in a an apocalyptic scenario like that where there's literally no men and no you know like, and the women are trying to make babies, it, it that's not good enough. Like I hate to say it, yeah. but that's not good enough. You're not you're, and and that's probably the mentality that they had was you know you're not good enough. Yeah. And then that's what they felt like. We're not good enough. And it's like, well, yeah, you're not good enough because you can't make a baby. And that's what they want as a baby. Let's do your duty. <laughs> I'm sure that one man was very popular. Uh, they kind of tried to hide him because it was one of those things where uh, he would have just been like raped. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not Pretty only much. that, he was like the, the president son like uh, it was a whole like line of succession like uh i hate uh, to say it but if, if if there was ever a scenario where um all the men died and there was only one man left in the entire world and it was all women i guarantee you what would happen and this is this is you can just take this straight to the bank what would happen would be they would literally kidnap you from wherever you are doesn't matter the government would then harvest you on like a milking machine and like use your semen like uh, to basically impregnate like millions of women all across the entire country, and you would yeah. basically just be like the stud of the entire world, and you would have no life basically because you would be like in prison essentially. They would treat you well, but you would be in a gilded cage, and any time that they needed more of your uh, special magic sauce, that they would pull you into a room and, and do mean things to you until they got their magic sauce. And it there wouldn't probably wouldn't be very much sensuality or compassion to it. It would, it would probably be along the lines of like a, a stud horse, like just pulling you into a room, and there's like a machine on the table that you've got to like do your do you do your job on. <laughs> it wouldn't it wouldn't be very it wouldn't be very nice for you. Also, wouldn't need to happen that many times. Either. I mean, your, your job would be to save humanity. That's your job. Like, you have no other job in life now. And they're not going to let you shirk your responsibility either because you're the only one left. So it's now your job to save humanity, whether you like it or not. Uh, 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 the, the Star Trek 2 quote goes, uh, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the one. Pretty much. <laughs> I remember there was a Sliders episode like that where they slid into a world where uh, where there was no men. It was only women, and uh, and of course Quinn and uh, the professor like were basically being like worshipped, and there was like an underground railroad for men to get them out of uh, you know like out of the mind of the public view, so that the government couldn't have them, and yeah, they were being run. They were being run through the Underground Railroad, and like the the, the freaking Gestapo police showed up in the Sliders episode, and uh, and one of them accidentally left the toilet seat up, and she walks into the bathroom and she goes, "Sure, they're not here," and you just left the toilet seat up on your own, and then they proceed to like th like tear the house apart trying to find them. Man, that was such a great show until they um until, until Quinn they left. Yeah, exactly. Is it honestly Quinn and uh, the professor were like the heart of the show? I, I, honestly, it stayed good even after Quinn left, um, while the professor was there, because John Reese Davies, he's he's really good. But uh, when John Reese Davies uh, left, then the show just went complete crap.
I freaking love John Reese Davies. He's um same guy who played Gimli in Lord of the Rings. Um, anytime I see him in a movie, I'm always like, oh yeah. <laughs> Great actor. You guys think I can get from the cathedral to Andy in nine minutes? <clears throat> On my walking. Each roll to Andy, yeah. I mean, it depends on how lucky you get on the on the, the placement rolls, but yeah, it's not it's not too hard to get between the two. It's just a matter of like taking the right turns here or there. I just want to do this before uh, variants gets terrorized. Oh no no! I wanna I wanna switch characters and go do variants, but I wa I wanna not lose walking progress on this character. <laughs> What's up, Patty? I see you on there. Oh, Ginger. Uh, so I've never made a bow down before. Uh, conviction area or no? I mean, you gotta get close if you want, man. If you want that to work. Okay. 13, 13 meter radius is not very far. You'll yeah. find many cases where conviction or it doesn't hit. I mean, what kind of Bowden are you trying to make? Uh, Bowden. Sorry. So oh, Bowden? Yeah. I thought you said Bowden. Yeah, yeah same sorry. thing with same thing for Bowden. I don't I don't particularly like using conviction on the Bowden. Honestly, I think if you want to go like pure Foden, I think you're better off just going like, Holy Shock. Okay. Because um, Holy Shock has a larger radius. Um, one of the synergies is the lightning thing for Holy Shock. I mean, it's it, it kind of works out. Honestly, I, I I prefer the North Star Smiter Foden, which you use Fanaticism for. Uh, Fanaticism is not exactly a bad choice anyway, like for Fodens. Because then you go with, um, you get to beef up your mercenary and you get to beef up your, uh, like, people around you as well. Uh, I think, honestly, I think Conviction only works if you're going the lightning method for Fist of the Heavens. Most people don't go the lightning part for Fist of the Heavens because it's only single target and it's not very good. Okay. It's, um, kind of pathetic, actually. Freaking 52 mana. Serpent's Grand Charm. Have you made your golem more expensive yet? He is currently sitting at like over 400 ma uh, mana cost. Over 400. He's, uh, he's currently at 418 mana cost and I can still get him higher. Good afternoon. Yeah, if, if you're going to make a Foden, I would strongly recommend you take a look at the North Star Smiter, because it's pretty much just a Foden with more options. Like, Foden, Foden is nice, but Foden can't really handle beasts. It's a, it's a big issue. Even with the yeah. Lightning, you're still not going to handle beasts. Even it's with Conviction, you're not going to handle beasts. Um, but if you run, if you run the, the Smiter, the North Star Smiter, you always have a melee attack that you can fall back onto, so you can always just smite the beasts. You get Fanaticism, which helps out your mercenaries. The aura that you use on Foden's really doesn't matter all that much, so you get to use whatever aura you want. Um, the other thing is is that if you go the North Star route, you get like level 50 Holy Shield, which makes you tanky as I don't know what. And um, just... I don't know, it's, it's kind of hard to explain, but well, it's just, it's it's literally a full-featured Foden with more stuff. Like, you just get you just get exactly what you always wanted, but then you also get more on top of it. And you can just sit there and play it like a full-featured, like, Foden. Like, you don't even have to play the Smiter part of it. Uh, but whenever you do come across that, like, elite beetle or whatever that you really want to kill... You know, it, the you always have an option to use, which is really nice.
All right. Just in time. Throwing cheese at that Cody. <laughs> Cody, some cheese its <laughs> All right. So I guess I'll respec after. <clears throat> to do that. Honestly, Foden's insane these days. You can just like spam farm chaos sanctuary. That's where you live. Yeah, it was, it was just very fun. Alright. Yes. You can easily add in a bunch of uh, magic finds with a North Star Smiter too. I mean, you just change out the armor for like a a Skulldirch or something. It's not that big of a deal. Um, instead of a uh, like a put a shako on your head instead of instead of a normal helmet. Grab a grab a you know. Dying over here. Grab a um, a Geeds. Uh, you can have over 200% easily and still maintain everything. Put some more traps on. Or just throw an enigma on if you got one of those laying around. Yes. That's magic find and teleport. Somebody said it was going to be Durant's next. Yes. I'm not walking. So many chests down there. Well, when I say walking, because I have a big I'll mildly teleport. <laughs> I'm not taking no chances down there, though. There's too many dolls and Erdars. I'm not, I don't have a fast enough teleport to get by them. They scary. Gonna play some RPG music on the guitar, Matthew? Sounds like fun. Oh, look. Did you see those cars? You can join my army of the undead. Crushing blow is um, is nasty. Crushing blow will will hit if you if you get to a pack of Erdars, they'll rip you to shreds. You gotta be careful. The the C B works on players too, so it's Oof. It's oofy do oofy do oofy. I remember a couple times my uh, one of my tankier paladins got stuck in a pack of Erdars and <laughs> it was not pleasant. You pretty much just have to chug potions. Uh, thankfully, because Crushing Blow doesn't actually kill you, like it's, it never actually, you know, does enough damage to kill you. It's just a, a percentage of your HP, so your HP starts going down really fast. Um, you don't have to worry so much about the Erdars killing you so much as just you got to keep healing yourself to bring yourself back up, so that you know it doesn't—they don't bring you down to zero eventually, which they will. 
it's really just a struggle against the against the crushing blow. I keep getting these spider whip things appearing on my screen. Are you gonna see any spider whip things appear on the screen too, or is it just me? I'm not exactly sure what's causing them, to be perfectly honest. I wonder if it's on the stream or if it's just on my monitor. Let's let's pull it up. I keep seeing them all the time. I think I'm crazy. They're very quick and they're like in the corner of my eye. All right, one of them appeared like right here, so. If it's on my monitor, then yep, there it is. Wow, what is that exactly? Is that a graphical artifact? It looks like a spider web coming up from the corner of the screen. You guys see this? I have to stop teleporting to look. <coughs> it's it, it's so quick. It's it's like a fraction of a second. But it comes up from the bottom of the screen. And it like wiggles around almost like it's a spider web blowing in the breeze. And then just as soon as it appears, it's gone. I don't know what's causing that graphical like bug to appear. It's creepy looking. I mean, doesn't what? it look like a freaking floating spider web? Yeah, what what uh monitor are you using are you on on uh, Ginger? Well now that it, we've confirmed that it's on the stream, it's not the monitor, so Oh. So it, if it was on my monitor, it wouldn't be on the stream. If it if it wasn't on the stream, then it would be my monitor. Gotcha. So it so it's got to be a graphical glitch actually in the game, um, maybe through the video card or something like that. Sorry, I was going. I was trying. I was watching the stream. <laughs> you notice the webbing when you use teleport a lot. Could it be like one of the lightning effects? Huh. Interesting. Some sort of graphical bug. The ghost gaming mentor, that's right. <laughs> When I die, I'll, I'll have it in my will to change my channel to Ghost Gaming Mentor. <laughs> that wouldn't be creepy. Well, hey, my channel's going to be up long after I'm dead, right? So. <laughs> At least I hope so, anyway. The infinite money glitch for your kids. Pretty much. Unless the channel gets sold off eventually, who knows? Maybe somebody will offer me a bunch of money for it. Keep the secrets out of the out of public, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Once you figure out the how to do the infinite Baroon glitch on uh, ladder, I'm. I think that's just a matter of time. I think I opened up Pandora's box. I know some people think that it's not exploitable online. There's some people in the comments that are like, "That's single player. It doesn't matter. You can't do this online." I like just wait. Like I don't, like I don't think that that's true. Uh, I think it's just a matter of time before people figure out like the patterns. Uh, and I fully, I fully think that a bot is probably going to be required to figure out the patterns. But you don't think that the uh, the freaking bot people like saw my video too and are like, hmm, 
and have started running bots with different variables to figure out which ones give the best items. Like this is this is just the simplest thing that you could do. Just the bare. We're not talking about like getting into like mapping out all the all the keys or anything. But the simplest thing that you could do would be to take like a hundred, maybe two hundred bots, have them run the same exact place, like say Mephisto. All right, so you just run Mephisto forever, run Andy. All right. Every single one of them runs, say, 10,000 times. And then you take each one of those bots and you just you use the variables that I discovered. So you're like, okay, well, we know what the variables are. Like, this guy is going to go to, to um, you know, Stony Field before he goes to Catacombs. This guy is going to go to Worldstone Keep before he goes to Catacombs. This guy is going to go to, um, you know, like Travon Call and then Lower Karas before he goes to Catacombs and so forth and so on. And you have every single bot do a different ritual before they go to kill Andy or before they go to kill, you know, uh, like Mephisto, right? Then at the end of all of these runs with all of these different variables, you compare the drops. And you're like, well, bot number 7,254 got like six Soges, seven Burr runes, eight Jaw runes, like this many Zod runes, and has obviously gotten more than every other bot in the in the thing. And then you look and see what his ritual was, which his ritual was, I don't know, like uh, go to Durance of Hate, then go to Travancall, then go back to Durance of Hate, then go to Lower Karaz, then go up to uh, Pindle, and then come back down and kill Mephisto, right? And, like, that was his ritual, and he got, like, all those items just for doing that ritual. Then they program every single bot to follow that ritual. And then they have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of freaking birds and jaws and everything else in the world, right? It, 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 that's just the simplest way to do it. That's not even mapping out all the keys. I, and I strongly believe right now that there is literally a specific ritual that you could probably follow when farming a specific boss that would probably net you better results than others. There's also probably specific rituals that would net you worse results as well. So you got to keep that in mind as well. They may eventually find out that like a certain ritual, like say going to, I don't know, like Stony Field before you go to, to you know, Farm Andy, actually makes the drops worse. <laughs> and they ended up with like terrible gear, like oh, it was all ice and hearts and like freaking venom lord plates <laughs> and you're just like okay let's never do that that ritual let's always avoid that ritual yeah i think did you say well somebody said there was like sixty-five thousand possible seeds so i mean i guess if you get enough bots going i mean you could find every seed there is possible well my my assumption is is there's a lot of overlap so even though uh -huh. there is 6500 seeds i think there's a lot of overlap a lot more than i think would be feasible to understand like just because it I think pretty much every chest and every like clickable and every like super chest and whatnot I think shares drop tables with other chests and super uh, I think there's like literally just lists within the game of which items are going to fall and so pretty much all we're doing is we're just we're just referencing different lists so at a certain point you're always going to run into a chest which is going to drop you a burr rune it's just a matter of time because it's on that particular list. What's up, Matthew, with the $5? Thank you, Matthew. You were telling me you play music uh, with uh, your guitar. Do you do any, like, Diablo-esque style music? Have you tried to play the, uh, the Tristram song? That one's, like, mostly guitar, isn't it? Like old, like old acoustic guitar? Not electric guitar. It's maybe locked. a loot. It's some freaking <clears throat> keys. Honestly, I'm kind of tempted to um, go get myself a bot program. I've never had a bot program in, in like a, a decades, but I'm kind of tempted to maybe set up a couple of like computers with like Diablo 2 single player and just run bots and like do different variables and see how they turn out and like kind of like establish rituals for certain bosses and then i can have like a whole video on like do this before you farm andariel for better results and then like and they you load the video up and it's just something really stupid like like touch kane's back go over and talk to akara <laughs> lick your elbow three times 
Go to Stony Field, then go back to uh, Endorog Encampment, then go back to Stony Field again. Then go and kill Andariel. And you'll get a Soge every time. And then, like, the crazy thing is, is it'll work. And people will be like, this is crazy. <laughs> the hell is going on here? Yeah, I was going to say <clears throat> that donation was probably meant for you to buy bots to test out your theory. Oh, yeah? That's, uh, that's for bot buying? I don't know who it was from, but yes. I'm speaking for it now. Superior sacred charge. Aw, oh, it's ethereal, 55% enhanced with 121 attack rate. And increased maximum durability, 15%. Mm. There's a corpse here somewhere. Where is it? I like to get all the Bloodlords when I kill Mephisto, so that they, like, rain, like, literally rain meteors on his head and firewalls. I think it's hilarious. On sucker. Now he's gonna have hydras and freaking firewalls underneath his bottle and meteors coming down <laughs> with lower res proc on him. Form of this now. Get wrecked. He dropped me nothing good neither. Next. There are two open source ones on GitHub, but for single player, yes. I mean, I wasn't planning on buying one. I was going to download one for free. I'm too cheap for that. <laughs> I'm too cheap for that, guys. It would be for online testing, basically, but like not online. I would have to simulate online testing. So I would have to use the command that um, that randomizes the uh, seed code. I can't remember the, say it's the command right on top of my head, but there's a command that randomizes the seed code every single time you launch a single player game. Um, makes it very similar to online play in that regard, so that it's it, it simulates essentially online play. That way I could figure out, like, specific patterns to follow. I wanted to hit you up yesterday, but I missed you. I made a low rune farming guide from the same burr seed video. I heard there's a low rune that you can get from... Uh, from that seed code as well, as well as a gull rune and a bunch of other stuff. People are finding all sorts of crazy stuff from that seed code. Afternoon. Let's go get my army. Let's go get my army. You know what? I'm going to use the four corpses out here too. There's always four corpses out here as well.
Ooh. Uh, three. The javelin, 29% enhanced damage. Uh, matriarchal javelins. Are those any good? Um, usually people are looking for like plus four, plus six with like speed. Uh, I've got a pair that's actually in my stash right now that's literally plus four with like 30% IF. I have a seven. <laughs> yeah, people, what people are looking for with those is the um, is 40% IAS with plus six, which is basically, um, uh, what is it? Uh, it's plus three jav and plus three, um, well, yeah, plus three jav and plus three jav, I believe. And then it's also of the quickness. Because javelins roll with an innate three, and then they can also roll with a, like an, another three on top of that. Do a specific uh, skill. Yeah. <clears throat> Makes sense. What's up, Neverworld? Uh, do I still have those? Uh, they're, they're on my pallet, and that's what it is. Oh, since Squiddy and them are probably not going to get on for a while, the challenge we had was um, start to Uber's uh, Poison Dagger Necro. Oof. Oof. Poison Dagger yeah. is so bad. <laughs> yeah. But the caveat I came up with is if you do it, we just give you the first two soldiers at next ladder. Ooh. That's rough. <laughs> it's a hard call, right? Oh, it's just a it's just a terrible melee class. Yeah. I actually tried to make a, um, a poison dagger necro. Under under ideal circumstances, it's still not really all that great. Yeah. And that's under ideal circumstances. Solo cell found? Oof. What can I do for you? Oof. Got my, my butt blown up by a doll. That was yeah. not pleasant. Yeah, it was on the... What was it? Uh, the normal playthrough. <laughs> in Durian. With the paladin I just made. And I was like, oh, a paladin. This is no problem. No. No. You know why Venom Assassin doesn't work? Uh, it's Judd. You know why it doesn't work? Because Venom sucks. That's why. Venom is a terrible skill, and it sucks. I have come to this conclusion over years and years of playing the game. Uh, I used to originally think that Venom was good. Venom is not good. Venom sucks. It's a terrible ability. It doesn't work very well. It's actually It actually offers nothing. Like, in the grand scheme of things. If you actually look at how Venom works, it offers nothing. It actually, it actually effectively makes your poison damage worse, not better, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. For a skill that's supposed to make your poison damage better, it actually makes your poison damage worse. I think you would be better off, and this is just my opinion, I think you would be better off trying to make your poison dagger or your venom uh, assassin without venom. Try and try and recreate your venom assassin, but don't use venom. And watch how much better it is. What's up, Aku? 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 Zenji. 
I'm glad you like the channel, man. I need to make a video just about how bad Venom is. That's just the whole video. It'll just be a video about me, like, ragging on Venom the entire time. You didn't just cover that in your skills and abilities thing? I mean, I just, I talked about the skill and how the skill works and, like, like explained exactly what the skill does and, and whatnot, but, like, I didn't talk about, like, my feelings on the skill and how, honestly, the skill makes your poison damage objectively worse than it was before. I feel like that is a, is a topic. It's like, it's like a whole video topic. There's very, there's very few circumstances I would even recommend using Venom. And it basically comes down to, do you have any poison damage already? And if the answer is no, then Venom might be a decent choice. Like, if you have no poison damage of any kind on your character, then Venom is a good choice because it adds poison damage where there was none. But if you have any poison damage of any kind on your character, it just makes your existing poison damage worse, not better. And then it's actually better to not use Venom. Unless you're a Poison Dagger Necromancer, which is the one exception. Poison Dagger Necromancers actually get a bonus for using Venom, but it's really because Poison Dagger, for some reason, is higher on the priority list, and instead of following Venom's crappy um, way that Venom works, it actually forces Venom to follow the way that Poison Dagger works, which is interesting. So the only situation where Venom is actually useful it doesn't actually work the way that Venom usually works. Ginger, I think you may have talked yourself into demonstrating this with the Poison Dagger Necro. <laughs> I already made it to a poison dagger necro poison dagger necro video. He's um he's called the spreading plague or something like that or the poison bomb. Actually, I made two different ones. Uh, I try not to mix them up. Spreading plague is the one that failed. Poison bomb is the one that succeeded. Um, he was actually a 100% success. Um, his main issue was that he really just didn't have enough. Um, what's the term? Durability. He didn't have enough durability on a stupid dagger, so his dagger would break all the time. It was a pain in my butt. I had to go back to town and repair my freaking weapon, like, constantly. You just get two of the same dagger and have it on swap. I did have two of the same dagger. I did. Basically what I did was, is I kind of leveraged the fact that Poison Dagger is a melee ability. And I kind of stacked, like, you know, open wounds, crushing blow, etc. And went with the idea that, you know, like, hey, it's a, it's a melee ability, let's take advantage of the fact that it's a melee ability. And then use that, you know, like, to make something really interesting. And, uh, I mean, it worked. I was able to kill things really fast, just like most melee characters do. Uh, Poison Dagger has a large percentage increase on AR, so, like, I didn't have to worry about attack rating all that much. Um, and for the most part, like, it worked. It's just, uh, I was attacking so quickly that the dagger would break in a matter of, like, freaking, like, I couldn't even kill Diablo, like, before the dagger would break. It was, it was kind of frustrating. That build could potentially one day work if they increase the durability like across the board on things like daggers and, and axes and whatnot, which which I think is uh, something that they really need to do, but uh, they got me stuck. You know, this is not a good place for me. Stupid undead stinging dolls. It wouldn't even be an issue if I was playing like a normal necromancer, but instead of playing like a normal necromancer, I'm teleporting around like an idiot with the, with the yes. enigma. And that, that causes my army to focus on me, which then makes it so that it's really easy for me to die. If I was walking this like a normal necromancer, I would never have any issues with the with the dolls. The dolls would just get stuck on my army, and I would just stand behind my army and laugh. 
It's really because I'm teleporting around. It's the, it's the main issue. Let me go get my Merc, too. Venom only assassin? Ugh. Huh. 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 Teleported over there. Well, might not be getting my body back. What up, guys? What's up? Oh, I'm back. What's up, Bob? Chilling. Back from oh, outer space. Yeah, for sure. I had to go find my uh, big honking space sword. Mm -hmm. Makes sense, makes sense. What's the scariest thing you can see whenever you're uh, level 97? Your HP at 1. <laughs> mm -hmm. Still got a half hour on Mephisto. I gotta go hop on the sword. What almost killed you? Dolls. Boom. Oh, are you teleporting? You're really teleporting Durant at freaking uh, level 97? That's a terrible no, idea. No, I was, I was walking it. It's a terrible idea. Yeah. I've already died twice down here to the dolls, and I'm a necromancer. <laughs> I think I broke my keyboard to hit the potion so fast. <laughs> I like to drink off my desk and everything. <laughs> I am definitely gonna TP some of this stuff, though, that's for sure. I think I might just go back to running cows and be a bit until the next hour. Cows are some bad EXP. Yeah, I know, but. Actually, you don't. 97, you don't get any EXP from those cows. You get 50. It's, it's basically zero. I know, but you just stay. Every little bit counts, man. You'd probably be better off running Chaos, to be honest. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I get like 300 XP from them guys. No, Except no, for Diablo. Diablo. Diablo specifically. Just farm Diablo. Seal, seal pop and farm Diablo. That'd be better. Better EXP. And while the TZs are wow. not in your favor. Eh, at least the next TZ is better. I mean, this is a good TZ for farming. It's just a bad TZ for EXP. Bad TZ, yeah, absolutely. It's also a really bad TZ for a mosaic, so. <laughs> absolutely. Let me teleport into this pack of uh, dolls here. <laughs> <laughs> that was a super, it was a super fast. Uh, than that um, champion pack. Um, and then their Erdar packs will freaking rip you up too. I, I wasn't too worried about the Erdar ones. I mean, I just couldn't get rid of that super fast, man. It was on top of me before my Chaos Boats hit them. Then the way, when they got timid, they exploded and about killed me. I was like, oh my god. Oh, skin. Yeah, you, you don't you don't have enough of anything to take on dolls on a mosaic and they'll, they'll just kill you. It's not worth your time. You're gonna if you because if you die down there, you're just gonna waste every single bit of EXP you get. Well, I thought I was gonna be okay because I do got a level 40 bow run, uh, running around with me. A level uh, what? Uh, level 40 uh, battle orders. Got a barbarian. Oh, it doesn't matter. 
Yeah, it doesn't matter with those things. Lesson very well learned. It, that doesn't that doesn't do any. It doesn't do anything because their damage is not. Um, it's not predictable. You can't you can't predict the amount of damage that you're going to uh, you take with those guys because of the the randomness and how they work. Um, it's based on their HP and their HP changes um, with each load in. So their HP is a random variable between like two values. Um, and then on top of that, their HP also changes depending on whether they're champions or elites uh, and things like that, which also adjusts the equation as well. So if you have like a really nasty pack of like champion ones, for instance, they can dish out more damage than the others. And then there's also the deadly strike, which also has a chance to proc, which means that you're you're left with a like how much damage do they do? I don't know. Um, you can't really gauge it. Like you can get hit by one and you're fine. And you can get hit by another and you're fine. And then you get hit, hit by another one and you'll literally get one shot. And it, and it really comes down to how much HP did he have? Did he deadly strike? Um, were there any modifiers to his HP? Etc. 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 Like how many of them were there? Like because a lot of the times they run in some pretty big packs, like seven or eight of them at the same time. And so if you if you run into a good pack of like seven or eight and then they all explode, it's 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 it, I don't think there's anybody that can survive like eight of them exploding and all deadly striking at the same time. I mean that's essentially what to me. I don't know about the deadly strike or any of that good stuff, but it was a pretty big pack, and yeah, they they. So the so me. the damage is physical, and the and it, basically they have I think it's like a ten percent chance. I can't remember the exact percent chance to deadly strike, um, but every single one of them can deadly strike. It's just a matter of like, did they roll deadly strike when they died, which makes the explosion two times more than what it would normally be. All I know is I got forty-two hundred health, right, and I was down to or forty-two hundred four thousand two hundred eighty-seven. Yeah, I was down not, to one enough, HP. Unfortunately, now. Um, I think I ran the numbers. Um, I actually pulled up the, the database, found out how much HP they have, um, like did the whole calculations, and I think what I came up with was something around like 7,000 HP is what you need to never to never get one shot by a pack of them. It's a lot. The, the only people capable of that are, are people like fully decked out BO barbs, um, <laughs> with like full HP and like fully decked out like druids with like the spirit of the bar, you know, spirit of the uh, oak, and uh, like you know utilizing say like a bear or a werewolf form to get more HP that way as well. It's uh, it's a lot. And then on top of that, you also need damage reduction too, because damage reduction helps bring down the physical damage that you take from the explosion. All I'm going to say, because I know you're screaming, is I'm glad I wore the brown pants. Brown pants. At least you're only 97. I'm so close to leveling, though. <laughs> oh. Oh, and a recommendation, sir. No drinks near the PC. <laughs> well, it landed in the floor, so we're good there. I'm just saying, man. The only thing that could have made that worse is the drink landed to the PC and it shorted out the computer while you're still stuck in game. You done spoken to the universe now. That's what happened next time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I learned, I I had too many close calls with that, so I just made a I just made a cup holder to my side all the way from the computer. What the fucking hell? I have died so many times down here. Extra fast. I don't know what the hell that freaking council member is, but he is spicy. He he came in like a wrecking ball and ripped me to shreds. Good day. Oh, pathetic showing for this necromancer today. I think I might need to swap over to my paladin so I could just donk things. Greetings. You farm cow level for EXP and items. Early on, when you're really low level, cow level gives decent EXP. 
but the penalties that they added to the cow level make it very, very poor for um, for experience points later on. It's only a level 81 zone, um, but even on top of that, they also added in some sort of penalty. I don't really know what the gist of it is, but it, it, to be honest with you, it doesn't really matter because what it does is, is it basically makes it so that the cow level gives like next to no EXP for anybody over a certain level. It's because they're haters. Well, it used to be the best EXP, remember? Like it was, it was yeah. the best for a long time, and then, and then it changed because, well, honestly, that was the only place that anyone ever wanted to go. <laughs> if I'm being perfectly honest, like nobody ever wanted to go anywhere else once they realized the cow level was like the superior place to level. And then from that point, it turned into. Uh, a silly game of like everybody was in cow level all the time, uh, leveling up like 100%. Of it. Like nobody played anywhere else because cow level was just amazing, and they hated it. Apparently, it was rude. They left from Diablo 2 to the Moo Cow uh, Slayer. Now then, yeah, Mr. Llama crew came in and said, "No, we don't like this. We want to change." What the hell killed me last time? But I'm trying so hard not to die. Not enough mana. Okay, I got my body. Let's head back to town real quick. Whatever that spicy boy was that got me killed, he was nasty. Let's go pick up a couple corpses in Stonyfield real quick so we can get these guys murdered. I'm three, uh, three bars from. 98. Oh, you're really far from 98. No, nah, let's beat 98 this time tomorrow. If Lord's will and creek don't rise, as they say. There doesn't even stand a chance against the sorceress. It's called hilarious. Not enough mana. Alright, army has returned. I'm not checking that champion. Someone asked me today what I was going to do once it hit 99. I replied, take a nap. Are you now? Okay. I'm three bars from 98. I said rank. No. Oh, uh, 150 ish. I haven't checked in a few hours. Double D key drop, nice. I mean, I don't even think Uber's hit as hard as the bag of dolls do. No, they don't. Ubers don't hit harder than the dolls. Mephisto does. Only if you got negative rest. He hits like it's a shotgun. Good. That's the whole goal with him is to bring your resistance up high enough so he can't one shot. Tokens. I'll wait for a couple of those to go do for that though. Spirit shank of the old chain. I scared. Oh, 
or Matthew. I get all the little elemental guys down here since I'm a fire res character. And the frickin' Night Lord's just ripped my fist out of shreds. It's great. That's funny. Garbage. Probably check the executioner, so I ain't got no ID scores. Uh -huh. just tried to do me dirty. Oh, they always try to do you dirty. They don't like you very much. I got out of there just in time. Uh, are you a cruel fools? <coughs> no, you're not. You suck. It's actually not a bad little stud leather armor. 17% faster hit recovery, 21% lightning res, 20% poison res, full 13. It's actually kind of neat. It's too bad it didn't have sockets. That would have made it even more neat. Kicking all the bashes, kicking all the bashes. Jeweler's Tierra of Life Everlasting. Really? Three sockets with life everlasting on it? That's kind of neat. Yeah, I had one in non ladder. Well, no, I had one in the la well, the first ladder, but you know, it's all a non ladder now. Oh. Yep, everything goes over eventually. You could have gotten a lot for that on ladder. Yeah, Jeweler's TR of the Life Everlasting is pretty sweet. That's three sockets with 25 uh, DR. Throw that on yep. like an energy shield sorceress with uh, <laughs> what, like three lightning facets in it? Yeah, I was for, like, thinking the immortal, like for like the immortal sorceress. Yeah, I was, I was salivating over that uh, amulet you you got with the uh, chromatic of life everlasting. I was like, oh, oh nice. Yeah. That was actually an excellent option for my paladin. He doesn't really need the skills. He needs the he needs the uh, the resistances, and then <laughs> that 25 DR makes such a huge difference on him. Like yeah, the archers yeah really nurse the archers a lot. Yeah, well it, yeah, it just makes it so that all those little tiny hits aren't such a big deal anymore, and I don't have to worry about them so much. It's it's nice. I mean, I can I can just stand in the like the packs now, like the big packs of archers and like spear cats and stuff like that. And not really have to worry about them all that much because most of their initial damage is just kind of ripped off. Can probably try and figure out if I can add in any more DR or any other any other places. Just for lulls. Verdango's has thirteen. Oh no 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 no! Sorry. I'm using string. I think it's string has fifteen. So. I think, I think the best ba best bang for your buck is Gladiator's Bane, but I know it takes up armor slot. Well, so the the whole thing about that character is he has very low defense, so that's kind of the whole thing is utilizing the uh, the Fortitude specifically for the defense bonus. That's why that's why I chose Fortitude, and I tried a lot of other options, but reducing the frequency of hits was more important than increasing my defensive capability. Yes. And uh, and just having more defense, just just a small amount of defense that Fortitude offers, like with the chilling chilling armor proc, is enough to kill like fifty percent of the incoming hits, which is which is massive. Uh, what was the defense again with the fort? Uh, it was like nearly seven thousand with the Fortitude, which is oh, enough. Okay. Which is enough. Seven thousand is is right in the range of like. You're getting to the point where monsters aren't hitting you every single time anymore. You can, I mean, you can straight up feel it, like when you play with the Fortitude on versus without it. You can just feel the fact that your your defense is high enough to uh, to like deflect most of the attacks.
maybe it's, I don't know, I'm thinking like, um, the barbarian, your, your hoochag barbarian, with like that. Sanic the hoochag? Yeah! <laughs> it was like, imagine, like, he could literally, like, just walk, and he'd be faster than most people run. And you could just stack defense on him, and he could just plow through everywhere, like, at yeah. light speed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He, his walk is literally faster than most people can run. You're absolutely right. <laughs> At your service. All right, got my key. We still got a little while, so let's do some more durians. Let's try and teleport around like a madman and see if I can actually do it. Ooh, champion. Uh, see, that's me. That's me on that show. Ooh, piece of candy. I, I literally just started teleporting. Immediately saw a champion uh, freaking like, zombie pack, and I'm like, I gotta go back and kill those guys. <laughs> I can't do it. I just can't do it. I just can't do it. Ooh, a decapitator. Sockets not out. Check that wire fleece for a J mod just in case. You never know. That's actually worth 35k in the bank. I'm gonna take it back to town and sell it. Oh, that's a pretty good whole lot of monster types down here. I got Erdars, Zombies, and Night Lords. So. No dolls, this roll. I mean, that's one thing you could do, um, Boomstick, is you could come down here and, uh, if you see dolls, immediately leave. Um, and then, like, just leave and come back. If you roll it enough times, you will not get dolls. Like, it's guaranteed um, that if you have three monster types, you just need to keep track of the three monster types. And then... If you see dolls, then you immediately know you have dolls, and then just leave and come back and and look for the three monster types. But if you three if you see three different monster types down here that are not dolls, then you know you do not have dolls, and then you can farm. But that's you know, a good idea. I should have thought of that too. But it does require you to put yourself in temporary danger of looking to see if there are dolls down here. the The best way to do it is just walk down the you know take the waypoint. Like, and then identify each monster type as you go. Literally just, like, call them out in your head. You know, like, all right, Night Lords, all right, check, that's one monster type. Herdars, right, check, that's two monster types. You know, Zombies, check, that's three monster types. Okay, no dolls. And then you just continue from there. But, like, if you, as soon as you see the dolls, you just GTFO. Yep. Well, see, I thought I'd be all right with it, because I, I was doing a um, player to dungeon earlier, and they wasn't doing hardly any damage to me. But then again, they wouldn't elite um, elites either. Well, like They're I said, champions. you can't you can't trust how much damage they do. Like, it's not it's not a it's not a normal equation. Like, you can't just be like, okay, they hit me, it did this much damage. All right, I'm set. Like, because that, that's not how it works. The damage is too random and, and invariable. So it, it's it's not something that you can you can um, intuit. Unfortunately, there's there's too many variables in how their damage is dealt. So you'll come across one pack that will not do any damage, and then you'll come across another pack that will literally obliterate you out of existence, like a King Kamehameha Blast from a Super Saiyan Blue Goku. And you're just, there's like no, there's like no in-between. Yup. I learned that the hard way. Just glad it went the hardest way. Just glad you didn't die and lose your EXP. Um, blocking is the best way, but unfortunately assassins can't block while moving, so you're kind of SOL there too. Which means you pretty much just have to stand still and take it, which is which is rough. Um, if you're not moving, you could potentially block some of it, but there's also the possibility that you won't block it, and if you don't block it, well then... <laughs> goodbye, my darling. Goodbye, my honey. <laughs> goodbye, my ragtime cow. Does it uh, claw block uh, let you block while you're moving too? 
Claw block does not work while moving. It does not work while walking. It does not work while running. It only works while standing still. Gotcha. So you have to be planted for it to work. Which is different, because the Paladin, with his 75% block, he can block while walking. So you just toggle walk while you're fighting dolls, and usually that's all you have to do. Um, and the Paladin can usually block just about every single explosion. A couple of them will make it through. And as long as you're not too fast with it, you can usually just walk your way through the dolls, killing them one by one. But um, you can't move with Claw Block. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't work. Um, you can if you use the Chaos Claw and you use Whirlwind, which technically counts as standing still. So that's a, that's a whole thing. So if you Whirlwind through a pack of dolls with Claw Block, uh, you will block a large number of the explosions whatever your current block percent chance is on claw block. It's only 51 right now. You might want to pump that a little bit while you level. The whirlwoods in, that sounds kind of fun. Yeah, that's the chaos claw. Doesn't it work pretty good now that they fixed Blade Sentinel, though? Because isn't it pretty much just a Blade Fury Sin with extra steps? Uh, uh, not really. You can kind of do whatever you want with it. It's just Whirlwind is the greatest assassin. Well, yeah, but you also throw in your Blade Sentinel in there. Or your Blade Shield. So that that's going while you're Whirlwinding, so you get the extra hits from the Blade Shield. And now that you got Blade Sentinel, that actually works properly, you toss out five Blade Sentinels before you start your Whirlwind. Yeah, I'm most of them will just go Lightning. Uh, yeah, Lightning. That's actually over the Blades. Because they'll shoot at targets in different locations, whereas your Blades, it's just whatever location you land. I'd rather do the Blade Sin. Blade Sin's more fun. What's your thoughts on a um, Dream Sword? I mean, it works. There's nothing wrong with it. It's uh, expensive. It yeah, it's very expensive. I mean, you gotta basically be a melee character to get the most out of it, so. Oh. That's, that's uh, how the builder is. enjoy that. With a passion room. Yeah, the, the pulse. A lot of people think about holy shock and holy freeze and holy fire, and they're like, the pulse damage is so good. The pulse damage is okay. Like it's all right. It's not, it's not the greatest thing in the world. It's okay. Like I don't think you're building the character around the I pulse damage explicitly. Forty-five life, eighteen fire res grand charm. Um, the main damage from holy shock, holy freeze, and holy fire come from the I on hit, which is something that a lot of people just seem to completely ignore. So if you if you make a dream sorceress, you're generally building a, a melee sorceress. That's that's kind of the the whole shtick. Uh, yes, and uh, you probably wouldn't like it until you fought a boss, and then you realize you kill bosses just as fast as the jabs on, does, and you're like, oh, okay. Well, thank you for the information, because that doesn't seem like it's be something I'd be interested in. Thank it you for killed. saving me the runes. I it mean, does you like can... 70k top end damage with one attack. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty ridiculous. You you can just run dreams and just rely on the pulse damage, but then you have to be something else, and then you're not getting the on hit, which does kind of suck. But I mean, the pulse is enough to soften up monsters a little bit, I guess. Like it's not. I don't know. Without without any kind of way of arresting regeneration. The pulse damage just doesn't really do a lot, mainly because the monsters will regenerate most of the damage that they take from the pulse before the next pulse happens. So when you're when you're playing with the like that particular kind of thing, it just doesn't really work well in hell. However, if you take a, a dual dream sorceress and you bring her to like nightmare or 
or uh, normal difficulty, and you like stack on a bunch of magic find, it's actually worked surprisingly well to just like magic find lower level zones. Because the pulse aura in those areas will be enough to pretty much kill everything. So you can just like walk around while everything dies around you like some sort of anime character whose aura is too strong and the, the other anime characters can't even get within range of you without immediately falling down. Yeah, I could, I could only do that on either a Paladin or Sword, right? Yeah, Paladin or Sword are the two classes that can get the most out of uh, Holy Fire, Holy Shock, and Holy Freeze. Um, the only the only other character that can utilize them even mildly is the Amazon with the Freezing Arrow. Um, she gets pretty good. Like she she has her own way of multiplying the damage, which is interesting. Um, but it's not the same way that the Sorceress and the Paladin multiply damage. It's a different it's a different way entirely. You know, speaking of, wouldn't a, a dragon armor work really good on, like, an enchant sorcerer? Um. I mean, you're building fire mastery anyway. You enchant yourself. The holy fire that comes from the from the dragon armor would get multiplied by fire mastery. So, I mean... It's locked. It'd be an interesting way to do it. And then the fire damage would get multiplied again by the explosions, so... I'm not sure if it would be better than a plus skill line. Though. There's also the added benefit of the hydra, the uh, the hydras that come from the farm. Could be kind of interesting. I mean, they would get beefed up by the fire mastery as well. So I got one minute to go activate Mephisto. Oh man. Still never found the frickin' doorway. There it is. Okay, quick, before the thing ends, activate everything. Okay, everything's TC. Die messing. Hey, TZ Meppy down. I'll identify the loot later. Let's get all the bosses here. Before the TZ ends. Pleasure trail is such a good TZ for me. That's, that's a good TZ for me, too. Oh, you I was just up? thinking, it's fire. It's like, well, I'm fire, so right? I mean, I'm also fire. Doesn't that pretty much just work like in my favor? Because none of the monsters there are really immune to anything. And I think that means we just raffle stop that. Area. Yeah, I think that's what that. Means. Yeah, that's what that. I got big old chalk and fire balls. Let me finish off my my durance here. Just killing all the poor little pathetic punks. Did you see the nice flickering flame I rolled on my first try? Oh, what'd you get? A fifteen. 15-8. Oh, nice. Mine rolled 15, but I got a, but I got a 4 on the, uh, on the resistance. Yeah, but I'm happy with the 15. That's not terrible. Do you still need fire red? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm only at 32% fire red. Do you want this good charm that I found? That has 45 life in the fire. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm, you know, me. I'm stacking up freaking skillers. So, same. It's a nice little charm, though. I, need I just hide behind my army mainly. I'm usually all right. I'm usually okay. Die, YN worker. Die. Don't be like you. Don't be like you in your mama hoop. Yeah, hold mama. If you want to come to GGM6, we can do it in this one. I'm a, I'm literally got my full army. You're a higher level than me, so. Yeah. Okay. That works. I was too. gonna come to your game either way. Yes. Oh, you got? Do you got like actual enchant? Enchant? Ah, uh, yours is way better than mine, <laughs> for sure. No. Oh, okay. Mine's. I got one skill point. Mine is level 19. No. Nah, well, you couldn't. You couldn't overwrite my guys anyway. Mine's my guys is level 
43. You'd have to be higher than level 43, I guess, to overwrite his. Yeah, no, I don't. I definitely don't got that. Yours is probably higher fire damage, though. No. No way. If you got fire master. 267 to 351. Close. Mine's 376. Yeah, but you then you would lose the attack rating. That probably yeah. matters more. Well, they, yeah, they, the fact that they have a 400% bonus attack rating is massive. Yeah, mine's only 182. Like, that's way too massive of a difference to on mine. I think even if the damage was more, you'd still want yours. I mean, I got a work with a 31 chance. Oh, God. Evil bats. Well, we're, we're good. I'm slanging fireballs. It gives almost three to three damage. Honestly, this build would be absolutely insane if I had a. Uh, like I know some people, some people like to do this where they have multiple accounts. If I set up just like an enchant sork, just 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 pure enchant and like gave her like all the stuff, and just gave her like a little bot program so that she could enchant my entire oh, army. Hold on, hold on. I actually gotta switch my weapons here. Or my shields here. But you know, like if I, I did that, I'd swap just in case I play with you. My boy would have insane fire damage. Yeah, I have uh <laughs> I was rocking Phoenix, that, that doesn't help you. No, I, I had my full army built already, so I was okay. Oh, it's okay, I got speared my swap, I can just put it on. Don't matter to me. You need to make songs on your swamp, that's what you need. I mean, eventually I'm coming off of Phoenix Shield and I'm going to have a six faceted sword. Mm. Gonna be more damage, for sure. Especially because at some point I think I'm taking points out of Fire Mastery to get max energy shield. Quite sure yet, but I think that's what I'm gonna do. Hmm. Mana potions. EXP train. Did we get the seven? We did not get the seven. That, that's what I was going to check, and then there's one little champ pack right there. I like just staying behind you while teleporting. Ah! Just tell you to the people. I kinda got scared there. I teleported into a, into a snake pack. <laughs> I, had amp, I had amp up too. It was not. <laughs> it did not look good. I was scared. Yeah, you got conviction right now too. Oh, nice. So we're running conviction and lower rows. Yeah. Oh, wow, these monsters are getting wrecked. <laughs> They stand no chance against our onslaught of fire. No. I got negative 65 and you got what, negative 80, whatever? No, it's just negative 15 now. No, I mean, first is oh. the non fire means. There's no fire means down here, really. Oh, yeah, with the conviction, yeah, it's minus 85. Right, 85, right? And then the negative left. defense stacks, too, between the two of us as well, so. So I got the plus 400% attack rating and then you got the negative defense. So my minions are just like wrecking. Poor guy. I know, right? Can you imagine if you got like uh, just assaulted by a necromancer and a sorceress, hit by lower res and conviction at the same time, you're like, this is just not fair. <laughs> Why is there so much fire? There's fire Why is everywhere. the world burning? I have what a hundred. It's like I have a hundred percent fire. It's like no, you don't. Look at your fire rest. Why does it say negative one hundred? <laughs> oh, here's the bone saw breaker. What's up, bone saw breaker? Get, get, get rid. Right. Anything good in that? No. Flawless amethyst. A jewel. What is the jewel? Forty fifteen. Is not. I see all these beautiful jars right here. Give me a bird. I take this off. My reses are all 60 plus. That's cool. That means if I just get. 
content. A little bit of all res. Yeah, this is a great place to farm for fire characters. I think oh, yeah, the only thing down awesome. here that's immune to fire is the, um, uh, the the death lords or the moon lords. I think the moon lords are immune to fire, if I remember correctly. They're the only thing down here that are immune to fire. I think that's it. I think we cleared it. Let's go to the next one. I want to check that white suya. Oh, that's I already fire. did. Oh. <laughs> You know me and the claws, Ginger. I, I check them all because they're worth money. Freaking Chunks one season, he wasn't even playing a Mosaic Assassin. He was playing, I don't know what, I don't remember what he was playing, but he was playing something else entirely. And he's I just like, he was checking every claw because he knew. And he found like some really good freaking Mosaic bases that season. And I remember he, he freaking cleaned up. Like he traded like several of the bases for... Like lows and ohms and freaking burr runes, and he was like swimming in freaking stuff that season. And all he was doing was just checking claw bases everywhere he went. Yep, it's a good call. I go build the skeletons at least. That Pindle. You want to kill oh, Pindle? Yeah, you want to kill Pindle while I'm down here? Uh, yeah, I feel super easy. That's what I usually do. I usually go kill Pindle. I figure if I'm here building in my army, I might as well kill Pendle while I'm at it, so. Guys can't hurt. Then I don't have to worry about them getting back up because they're dead. Scissors guitar. Is that normal? It is indeed. Yeah, so no skills. Unfortunate. Oh, superior blade talents. No, oh, no, garbage. Also normal. No, let me clear off this freaking. Uh, How many skill points do I have? I still have 10 skill there. points. Yeah, I think I need to respect myself. I, I was I built some mages. I put the, my, my remainder of my points in the mages just for lulls, but. I think I think I'm better off with revives. I think with this build, I think getting more revives is better than the mages. Even though it is harder to maintain the revives. Yeah, these guys. These guys are immune to fire, I believe. But it hardly matters with the amount of negative res we've got running. Fire thunder conviction lower res. Just like <laughs> just laugh and move on. I like the snakes too. The snakes make really good minions. They're very active minions. I don't know how to explain it other than that. They love to charge around and like murder everything. I They're... didn't. I wanted to hit the corpse that was hanging and I just grabbed the shrine. Kick in the jars. These guys on the other side of the wall were. Thought I'd let you know that. On the other side of the wall, what? They had your lower res. Yeah, my freaking lower res is 24 yards. It's like the entire screen. There's. That's why I, when I was talking about it in my video for this character, I'm like, my lower res is gonna outperform conviction like nine times out of ten in a group. Like with conviction, you gotta be standing near the monster. With with lower res, all I gotta do is go corner, 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 and I've literally hit like four screens in all directions. <laughs> like you ain't you ain't competing with with me like in the cow level. Like when when I'm fighting with like a Javazon, I just I literally just lower res the entire screen uh, on all sides, and then everything is lower res, and then the Javazon throws one javelin and everything falls down. Like you're not getting that that level of uh, of craziness with conviction. And I know I've been playing a conviction paladin all season too, so so I I know the limitations of conviction, and lower res is just insane. That's really all there is to it. It's much more compatible with group play too than than amp. 
Don't get me wrong, I love AMP and I think AMP is amazing, but when you're fighting with a bunch of sorceresses, they don't care about your AMP. And Javazons and freaking Holy Fire Paladins and, and everything else is elemental. And I got something for the melee characters too. I, I give them, a, I give them four hundred percent AR. They can, they, they're not going to complain about that. Every single time I'm in the group, the freaking all the uh, the melee characters are like, "Holy crap! Look at my attack rate!" Yes. All the attack ratings. Take it. Mages down here. Tell least Archers. Red Moon Lords. It's not bad. Try not to Tell Stomp into a Moon Lord pack. Yeah, those things are. Let's go to sound of dragon. No. Grady Chaney. Yeah, well, we just found a Siggins armor. I know. We just found a Siggins. Top that. Yeah, can't top that, can you? you sure can't. A smile, <laughs> Chaney. Ah, oh, was my inventory was full of a random superior <laughs> breastplate. That was a demon heart. What's that? Can't. Why can't I click on it? It won't let me. Can you click on this demon heart? It won't let me click on the demon heart. <laughs> I don't know. I found a, a lead pack of uh, moon lords that almost smacked my face. I can't. It won't let me click on it. And they're currently smacking my merc. Oh well, I'll come kill them. And then he teleported. All right, where's the steam card? I can't click on it. It's all the way over here. Like the name of it is all like off the the map. It's literally in the darkness. And when I click on it, it won't let me pick it up. Maybe uh, I can zoom in and like use my mouse. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'll, I'll I am get that scythe out of the way. There we go. Hmm. One fire mastery, one blizzard, one energy shield. Eh, it's worth thirty-five k. <clears throat> Alright, did we finish this one, or... I can't even remember. Uh, do, 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 yeah. Oh, it's the just the room for the guy with the super chest down here. Oh, let's Come kill him. Bonesaw Breaker yeah, needs that, to die. All that over there is clear, it's this. Bonesaw Breaker needs his butt to booty smack. I'll I blow up all key. his friends, too. I don't have a key. I think I got a key. I a key. Oh, I used up all my keys, okay. We can't leave a super chest. Can't leave a super chest. I can't carry could be a bird root in there. There could be a bird root in there. There's probably a bird root in there. I can go get one from my stash and drop it right as you hit it and make it look like a bird root. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mithril coil. Me. Nothing I even want to identify. It's always the worst when there's like all blues, but it's still not even one you want to identify. Well, super chests are always going to be blues unless it rolls the next thing. Can't get whites from a super chest. It's unfortunate. No bases. Oh, that's fine. I only have seven magic, so I think I'm, I'm fine hunting bases. <laughs> I was gonna do like a magic find version of this character, and I'm like, you know what? I just want to shoot fat fireballs in people's faces. Cause I could, I could just put on three piece tails right now and just be hanging out. But I don't wanna. You know what? I'm actually just gonna do it. Screw it. My fire res is going into the... No, it's not. Put my magic light on. How much do I got now? 173? Hopefully 
this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at this balance knife, Bob. For a normal difficulty uh, knife, this knife is a little insane. Uh, Bone like fang. It? Oh. Oh, I dropped it in town. Why does it have 284 ED on it? <laughs> it also has prevent monster heal. And a pretty hefty amount of attack rating, too. Okay. That's pretty That's... sick. <laughs> yeah, level three. That's a what is that? That's normal difficulty, right? So that could be upgraded twice. I think so. It's kinda crazy. It's a four socket superior. It's got uh, attack rating. Wait a minute. I didn't know that was a superior roll. What? Have you ever seen that on, on an item before? Look at it. That's okay. I didn't know max damage could roll as a superior option. That's not something I've ever seen before. I thought it was just attack rating and enhanced damage. I didn't. I didn't know max damage was a roll. Yeah, that's weird, right? I don't know, I don't know if I've actually seen. It. Like what? Plus Clap. one or something? Yeah, plus oh, one max seen. damage. Yeah, it I've rolled. Seen that it rolled plus one max damage and plus two AR. Yeah, I've seen that a few times. Yeah, it's always like, um, two AR or something. That's the... Yeah, the AR we see all the time. That's the max damage I've never seen. Oh. I've never seen that. I've never seen the max damage on the superior rifle right before. And durability increase, um, enhanced damage. There's a lot of things that roll for, for, like, an item, but I've never seen that specifically. Oh, we got infidels. And abominable. One more in here. I make them go pop, pop. Oh, I don't have a key. I got it. I, got a, I bought a stack of keys. Little well, terror zone? Yeah, we're Let's doing the terror zone. Action. Yeah, you want to come in here and join us for some P3? I'm only level 20. Oh. <laughs> You can still make a P3, though. <laughs> Are you in hell? That's the question. No, I don't. I don't do rushes. Ah. Uh, missed when out I on new play. character day? Yeah, a couple of times. I've been stuck in uh, other, ga other games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did a really big new character day. What did we have? Three? Did we have three groups, or was it four groups going for New Character Day last time? I think it was three. Oh yeah, there's still a whole bunch down here. There's still a bunch. Yeah, there's still a bunch everywhere. Two amulets. I'll use those to roll some dejanks. Why not? Socket. For what? Uh, nightmare base though. How did I get all this gear so fast? One word, the kinship.
Well, I added the for dramatic effect. Okay. Is it dramatic? Oh, you got the claws before me. <laughs> I always check the claws. Uh, that's crystalline. Ooh, a rare jewel. Can I help for it, please? Five hundred deep ones, flat Hellforge. Here, you want to this? Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. I ran out. I run out crazy fast. Hmm. It's not bad. Seven percent faster at recovery with plus one mana after each kill. It's got four life on it. Like it's it's okay. Yeah, we're still missing uh, Mr. Big Guns over here. teleported next to me. I thought it was enemies because I had just rounded the corner and started shooting fireballs. <laughs> Shoot the fireballs at me? I mean, they would hurt. They would. It'd be scary. Oh, a door. Jar, jar, jar. You know what's the saddest thing that I learned from my RNG manipulation? When you see an Amrun or you see an Ithrun, you're actually right next to a Burrun. Like, you literally just missed it. Don't say that. It's true. No, I won't be sad the rest of the night. Seen a bunch of Iths, Iths and Amruns? Yes. <laughs> I've had to pick up at least ten of them, each one of them. All right. Time to get my scrolls of identify. Oh, I went to the wrong place. I forgot. Mr. Seven <laughs> But you can't make it <laughs> I just dropped the ammo right then. Oh, see, uh -huh. almost got a burr. Haha. Uh -huh. I know. You know what? You know what? Almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, though. So. Yeah. About nuclear warfare. Also those. Okay. Let's go. This cold place, they stand no chance. Murder. I remember in, uh, when playing Quake 2, uh, Ooh, ghosties. you could get you get hit by the rocket launcher, and uh, there would be like a death, uh, a death um, comment. Uh, they'll say, like, so and so almost dies the rocket. <laughs> <laughs> if you just almost out of the splash damage ring. Oh, the next TZ's good. L rune, greatest rune of all time. Makes L every rune, other rune L in the game. Rune. That's how good it is. A Boreal. Mm. That's a really high modifier for a crayon. Unfortunately, it didn't roll with anything else good. I believe Boreal is the top modifier for Grands on cold damage. Hibernal, I think, right? I think Hibernal's the, the other one. I don't remember. No, Hibernal's first. Well, Hibernal's for the smalls, I know that. I was collecting those one season. They were very I nice. I know, I was helping. They were very nice, I liked it, yeah. I was helping as much as I could. I mean, hey, when you have the whole kinship looking for him, it's a lot easier to find him. Like, Ooh, beat your candy. Ooh, beat your candy. Oh, there's two persons. Enchanted ghosts. Ow. Take all my mana. Butthole. 
dropped us a flail. You shouldn't have. Is it F? No. You looking for F regular flail stuff, right? Yeah, if they roll good, flails are, uh... Flails can also be good for PvP items. Decent range. Because they have a really high, nice. high top end. Kind of like light Upgrade damage, just like a chance to hit really hard. Ghosties stand zero chance against fire. Hey, our grand hey, our first grand charm. We've been farming this for how long, and we haven't found none of these yet. It's an 83 flame. Let's go back in the dirt. Yeah, that's fine. So rune or so sir rune. Thank you, sir rune. Sir. For a second there, I thought he said soul rune, and he got all, and, he, and he was excited second. about it too. I was like, why are you excited about a soul rune? <laughs> I did say soul rune. There's only one low rune I get excited for. It's Rao. Rune. <laughs> Rao rune is the best in the game for sure. It crafts 220 amulets. No other rune can do that. Well, I got my first 220 circlet today. It's assassin. Yeah, that's good. It's got a butt ton of res on it too. Yeah, what else? I think that's about it. I have to look at it again. But yeah, that, I believe that's it. Sparkly chest, sparkly chest. Radioactive sparkly chest. Probably gave me cancer, yes. Radioactive mm -hmm. sparkly chest. I know it's 20 R is, I think like 58 rotten is. Yeah, so that's one of the reasons. Good. That's one of the reasons why I like Spider Man. Spider Man is a hero that um, that wasn't just blessed with a, a power. He also got like horribly mutated in the in the process. If you follow Spider Man, he actually. Um, he starts to mutate into a spider at one point. And they have to like find a way to halt his mutation. So you know, it's not like all those other spider you know, all those other superhero movies where like they get bit by something and then they just like it's like purely good things. <laughs> no, Spider Man got some bad stuff too. That's all of it. This was a small map. Yeah, this one's not very large. Where's our did we kill Oh yeah, we killed Bonesaw Breaker at the beginning, didn't we? Yeah. Tower Ashes is next. Some good XP there. I can't go there if I haven't uh, done the quest, right? You? What do you mean? I can't go to the tombs if I haven't completed the quest. Yes. Does anybody want to help me finish Act 2 real quick? Oh, Act 2 hell? Can yeah. I help you? Before that happens. <sighs> I'm in the oh, sewers right now. Yeah, what game you have? Okay. Come give you a uh, Piggy hmm. 61. Just re kajiggered myself. Trying to figure this stuff out. And I just found Astrions. We got an Astrions? Nice. Are you serious? As a heart attack. Oh man. So jealous right now. Dude. What's the game? Uh, Piggy 61. 61. I just heard one, and I was like, why isn't that working? All right, I just got to, uh, thread him in. Oh, please don't. Please don't. I don't know what the rose to make it good is, but I got one. Uh, plus two is what you're looking for, and you want, um, you generally want decent, um, 
uh, grief damage, which rolls up, I think, to 85. Well, this is a three combat skiller. Well, oh, then in a 73 damage. <clears throat> it's, um, it's not perfect, right? I mean, four, four would be the ideal, but I mean, three with uh, 70 is actually pretty good. There's a bunch of um, there's a, a bunch of people in the kinship who are running North Star Smiters this season who would love to have that thing. Yeah, I literally just reallocate all my stat points so I can do that. Well, oh, there you go. You, you got a you got a bag in hand right now. You want it? I mean, are you high enough to use it? Uh, what level is it? Sixty-six. I am. 64. Eh, close enough to go to work. Awesome. Um, Piggy 61, if you can come drop it off. Ginger and uh, Bobby are helping me do Act 2. Oh. I'm looking for the maggot layer right now. I'm looking for a scroll capital. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <clears throat> you got a Haas already? Nope. I need that next. That's your next. That's your next pack of I got one offline uh, or on uh, non lighter. It's the Haas and the and the uh, Astreons together that make the magic happen. That's what where you, get, you uh... that's where you get plus eight skills. You only have plus seven with the plus three Astreons, but it's still pretty good. You gotta up the Haas, though. Yeah, you gotta up the Haas for the extra smite damage. Yeah. Yeah, I've given away the only Haas I've, I've had this ladder. I haven't found a single Haas this ladder. I'm kind of surprised. Yes, Sam. None. You, I've done 4,000 Trav working runs. Still and haven't even found come a close to finding a Haas. <laughs> Not even like a regular Zach room shoot? Uh, a Gilded shoot? But the, the closest I found was a blue one. I was like, I can't even get a rare Gilded shoot? No. 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 Right. What, what do I socket into Astreon's? I was just watching your video, that's what I had it on. No, oh, um, I mean, eventually, if you want to do the no, the one that where it, you don't have to worry about repairing it, you do a Zod, but you can just throw a Shale uh, in there. A Shale will make it so that you don't have to worry about increased attack speed for your uh, for the rest of your character. This is insane. This entire floor does not have a scroll attack. Yeah, you just, you just throw a Shale in there, it's not pretty good. I wouldn't put a Zod in a plus three Astreons anyway. I would save it for a for a plus four. I got Astrions in the stir in the same game. That's too bad. Yeah, I think he's that's all your luck for a week. He's hacking. He's hacking. He's hacking. I can't say that. He just got in a ragged and meshed him. Oh yeah. Yeah, I did. Hacking. Bro, can I just get a scroll town portal though? Like... Nope, oh, I literally cleared later. this whole level. Oh, wait for one monster left. Scroll town portal. No. Can I get a maggot layer, please? Like, what the hell is going on? Oh, there it is. Alright. That took me long enough. the way back to town for a scroll of town port because right. that entire thing didn't have a single one. Thank you. Oh, snakes and death lord packs. Let's go. Thank gosh no. Are you gonna come 
hidden altar. Oh yeah, I'll come back. Sorry, Ginger put up a portal and I thought it was the uh Oh no. I'm just I just found it finally. <laughs> I just found it. <laughs> I was excited because I found it. It took me forever, I don't know why. Plus I'm having fun killing stuff down here, so. Arcade Sanctuary. Go find the guy. Oh, oh, that pack is definitely done. Yeah, when you're teleporting through and you come dying. across like a like an elite monster pack or something, like it's you're kinda just like, yeah, you're dead. Like, look at those Power Rangers, they're dead. They have died killing them. Cool, cool Power Ranger! Do, 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 Guys, do, do, stand a chance. What's the max uh, damage roll on the... On the Astreons? It's Astreons. 85. 85, okay. So this one isn't bad. No, it's not bad at all. Plus three, plus three seventy some odd is actually a pretty good roll, and uh, yeah, you'll eventually get a better one. Even if you don't, that's still a pretty solid one for a no star. Yeah. Oh. Having fun murdering all the champions down here. Yeah, it's one of the things you got what you need. Just need look for an upgrade while you're doing, you know, while you're using it. Oh yeah. yeah, that's that's a solid. You get the crushing blow. You get the you get the IAS. Astrounds is fast, so you throw this shale in it. You won't have to worry too much about attack speed while you're running that thing. Then eventually you get a slightly better one. What I usually do is I look for ones that have terrible rolls on everything else besides the the uh, the stuff that you're looking for. So you, you don't need ED. You don't need the enhanced damage because smite's not based off the damage of the weapon. Um, you don't need the attack rating roll because it's not based off of attack rating either. It, it hits no matter what. So basically, when you're running um, like a, the North Star Smiter, you're only concerned with the two stats, which is the plus the skills and the grief damage. Those are the only two you care about. So you look for a plus four with 85 that has like absolutely garbage other stats, and then you can usually pick it up pretty cheap. I, that's what I usually do on Tradery whenever I make the North Star. Is I just I look on Tradery, I sort by plus four and like grief damage, and then I look and see which ones have horrible rolls on the other stats and then I offer like a decent price and usually they take it. Let me know when you're done with whatever. Oh yeah. Maggot I'm, there, I think. I'm just down here murdering maggots. I'm on level three right now, so I'm just it's just yeah, here we go, I found it. Yeah, I'm at the summoner now. Look what I just found. Find a small charm of anthrax. Ooh, nice. It's always nice to have all that poison damage. All right, portal's up for the staff. Sweet. Good day. Mm -hmm. I'm about to make my sorceress look nice. even cooler and put one point into thunderstorm. Oh. Hell yeah. <laughs> I can do it too, I'm doing it. No work tonight, I work tomorrow night, Mike. Oh yeah, my sorceress is a baller now. Alright, I got the stat. Well, I had something crazy happen to me the other day, Bob. I was, uh, I had my army and I had a bunch of maggots, like the big maggots. And one of the big maggots laid an egg. <laughs> and the babies came out and I was like, wait a minute, did I just discover an infinite corpse glitch? You gotta get him to spawn and stuff. Alright, uh, which, uh, which one is it? It's Ninja the sun. Star. It's the sun? Where's the star? Oh, so the sun. Yep, Bob already knew what it was. He's hacking. Oh, it's not this way. It's right here. 
over here. I don't have any scrolls to teleport. Oh. <laughs> he doesn't carry scrolls. <laughs> it's terrible. And look at all these unkicked urns. Look at all these burr runes that she just left on the ground. Nah, you you can raccoon it up. It's Why cool. It oh, I'm raccooning. Possible? Oh, I am raccooning. What doesn't seem possible? No, it's saying impossible. Oh, you gotta talk to Kane. Oh. You gotta talk to Trogdon. You gotta, you gotta go tickle his, tickle his butthole. God, my attack speed's so slow. See, that's, that's just troll. Telekinesis is based off of FCR. <laughs> and kicking is based off of IAS, but I have nothing. I can't, I'm like, I'm like the slowest kicker in the West over here. My boys over here like, <laughs> Why do you think when I'm not the sorcerer, so I'm always like, you guys gotta kick it open. You guys got telekinesis. You do it in .2 seconds. Oh my gosh, here we go. You ready for this? Boom! Greater talents. Terrible greater talents. Do I need a blue one? I don't know. I Wait. came too late. No. I think I have. Hey, you can you can teleport on top of the bugs and squish them. That's hilarious. I mean, I don't think you're just squishing them. You see all those revives you have? <laughs> those mammoths. <laughs> I mean, it's a lot of toes. It is a lot of toes. You just Hulk stomped that bug <laughs> into the earth. As it should be. As it should be. So rude. Yes, die maggots. Is Jared stuck inside of the palace? It happens. Who rude. Did you mess up? No. You may not it said uh, you, you may not pass to me too. He's yeah. rude. You broken. Oh, got it. He came he towards it. me. I have none of Z waypoints, so I will go into the sewers because I'm trapped. Are you guys gonna carry me through? Yeah, why not? We got 15 minutes. Wait. <clears throat> Not everybody. No. no. I didn't mean to teleport in there. I pressed the wrong button while I was eating, getting a cheese. In. <laughs> I did it again, bro. Good day. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's too funny. And a four open socket oh, phone oh, leaves. Dolls, I love it. Oh, that was hilarious. Were you in the sewers? Huh? Were you in the sewers? <laughs> yeah, I totally stomped dolls and threw one fireball and blew myself up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, hilarious. I even like half tried to hit a potion. I was like, why would I try to do that, bro? I died in one hit. <laughs> oh, I forgot to get my bird. I forgot I had these tracks too. This is gonna be Drax. nice. Tracks are cool. Well, I ain't getting my body back. Stupid, stupid fire eye and his stupid fire eye face. Oh, you died too? Yeah, fire eye was might enchanted and I accidentally teleported into his pack while I was eating cheese <laughs> Ha 
Yeah, but now I get to get a book of town portal and, and have a book of town portal. And, you know, just teleport to the place, do the thing. Instead of, let's go up to the next level and start killing stuff, knowing that there's dolls there. You know it's not generally advisable to teleport into large packs of monsters. Oh no, it's the best thing that mm. we can do ever. Mm. It's good for the soul. <laughs> good for the, good for the soul <laughs> of the person's boot who steps on your throat. <laughs> right on your throat. Raider town and a falcon mask. Oh, I'll identify both of these things. Falcon mask. Trash. Claws. Trash. Alright, let's go this way and see if I can get the frost. Is that well? Frost was off. I don't think I'm finding more rooms for a week. I just dropped the bag. <laughs> You're on a hot streak. Sounds like you need to keep going, boy. Smoked spear. Where would I go to find the oh, mods that can roll on a oh. Where does he go 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 to find it? A vortex shield. Where does he go? Is it dropped with 52% enhanced damage? I don't know if that's good or bad. Oh, enhanced damage no. is generally not something people usually look for. Oh, uh, okay. It's the, it's the other mod, other than resistances, and it's the mod people usually avoid. Stewers up, or flare jungle up, my bad. Got it. Did you get yeah. spider? I'm working on sewers right now. I already did. He already did. Oh, already did show up? We need the spider. Okay. Well, I don't like spiders. <laughs> but you look like a spider. You don't look like a spider. You're a cow. Rebuild my whole army. Cause I died like a pleb. I love taking the uh, the Haradrim skeletons from them and turning them into my skeletons. I have I just have a feeling that the conversation probably goes something like this. Like, aha, let's do battle. And then they're like, they're li and I start turning their skeletons into my skeletons, and they're like, hey, that's not fair. <laughs> I can't believe you would do this to me. That is just totally not bad. Got all your minions yet? Yeah, I'm pretty much done. Yeah, I'm just trying not to die by these dolls like a pleb. Come to Travicle. I'm gonna die to Travicle like a pleb. Oh, okay. Let's see that's now that's a plan. I can't say that Travis killed me many, many, many times. There's a, there's a certain combination of things in Trav that is especially spicy. Oh, hello, uh, Mile Burn the Mauler. And you guys stand zero chance against fire. Artist spirit sound. mask. It's terrible. 
Alright, we gotta break the orb. Did you break it? Yep. Uh, Durant's a sweet pizza. So close. Greetings. We. That's the man catcher. Really, got a three. Got it. Holy Erdar back, Batman. Boy, I almost got my booty cheeks, like, punched into, a, like, next year. I teleported into, like, three Erdar packs. Like, all in the same area. <laughs> I'm kind of scared for my life right now. This is not going well. Like, that is a lot of Erdars. All, <laughs> half of my revives are already dead. And some of the, and I don't have enough minions to keep the Erdars from chasing me. Oh my god. Alright. I can play point. <clears throat> is about to get wrecked into oblivion here though. He's already dead. Oh, He's already right. dead, dang it. <laughs> I wanted to Erdar pack him. <laughs> you can come Erdar pack Diablo who's almost alive. Okay. Yeah. Alright. I almost got full Erdar. <laughs> I had to stop for this Erdar pack, okay? I had to. <laughs> that was just too juicy. It was just too juicy. That's me. I'm just like, piece of candy. Piece of candy. Piece of candy. You ready? Yep. Come on down. Come on down to South Park and meet some friends of mine. He's gonna die so fast. Oh, God. Watch this. <laughs> the Erdars plus the enchant? Like, he ain't got a chance. Uh, Poor five, guy. Five Poor guy. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, I love him. <laughs> Dude. That was great. That's how you kill Ubers with a with the Necromancer is you just do Erdars. Yep. Erdars Tom. Mm-hmm. Erdar Tom. Uh what what level are you? Sixty five? Oh we can go to Ancients. Let's go to Ancients. Why yeah. not? Yeah, What's yeah, the worst yeah. that could happen? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was a Manald? Ugh. Oh, I don't have Yeah. We're I don't gonna have Ancients and I don't have Crystalline. Ugh. It's terrible. We got five minutes, so we'll do Ancients first. But you can have Ancient's Waypoint. Come on, cutscene. All right. Cody, quit making monster noises back there. <laughs> Scary. Scary monster noises. Up some minions here while we're waiting. We got Hell Lords. Pick up a couple Hell Lords. Oh, pick up whatever you can. It's up. Okay, I'm on my I'll give a full pack and I'll be on the way. Oh, I'm not doing this without him. Sure. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna make one wrong teleport. Talek's gonna be like right into my whirlwind. <laughs> Dude, Talek does do that with the whirlwinds there. He will wreck you if you're not set up properly for the whirlwind. I have been one step ahead of you all in battle. Wahaha. <laughs> okay. I got 19 revives. Can I get 20? Oh, slowly starting to fade from me here. Okay. Let me grab some mana pots and then we're ready to go. Alright, I'm here. Hold on. 
Oh, shit. Sorry. Too late. Watch out. Going for Maddock first. And let's go with Corlick. Alright, now Talek. Poor Talek. <laughs> they spawned and they were like, did he have a Mang songs? <laughs> <laughs> uses that thing <laughs> we just got beat by a guy who uses a mang sauce all right and now i can put on the uh apparently somebody did the math so it's actually better on a nova sorceress than an infinity what mang sauce yeah because the plus five skills apparently i'm telling you the plus five skills is amazing a, i never used infinity anyway i'm a crescent moon spirit kind of guy Crescent Rune is also amazing, but the thing is, is that Crescent Moon has no plus to the skills. Phoenix no, has no plus to skills. on your other hand does. Yeah, well, you you're still not completely like, you know, like maxed out on skills though. I think with Sorceress particularly, I think the reason why it's so effective is just simply because. Oh yeah, we got a remake for TC. Yeah. Um, let's do GGM eleven. Um, with sorcerers oh. particularly, you, you're not just right. getting the plus the skills to the skill, you're also getting the plus the skills to your mastery as well, which I think is also very important. So you're getting the mastery and the skill. I think it's, oh, it's, I, doubly, I it's doubly effective on a sorceress than it is on a like other classes. I know, but uh, the spirit, hey. Crescent Moan, also fully increases your survivability because you get to put frost burns on. Hmm. That's why I like that setup so much. But they're saying Mang Songs is the higher damage output? Uh, it's the best uh, overall, I would say. Because it's not the highest damage against non-immunes. It's not the highest damage against immunes, but overall it is better I mean, you still get all. You still get negative 20, which is terrible. It's not negative 35 with Crescent Moon, but... And it's also a good boss killer. A better boss killer than because of the plus 5 skills, obviously. Yeah, plus five of skills is amazing. Right, I'm in the first temple. I just put DP up. It's not uh it's not TZ yet, get out of there. You'll spawn all the monsters in the non TZ state. Oh. And then we'll have to fight you. Yeah. Wait until I didn't it, wait. spawn any monsters yet. Is that Oh no, just just your very presence will spawn them. So, oh okay. So should we go to the next one then? I mean, it, I mean, it's too late now. <laughs> okay. You can wait till last so, right? I'm just getting minions. Yes. I'll be there just a second. Bobby, that's the wrong one. I, that's the one I went into. No, it's, it's fine. Don't worry. It, oh, it, okay. it only spawned the monsters in the direct vicinity of the portal as non tz okay. so we'll be okay. That's what I assumed. That's why we told you to get out of there, so you wouldn't spawn all the monsters in non tz Yeah. There's ghosties on this one. This doesn't seem like the one that you guys are in. No, he went far right like a weirdo. Oh, he went weirdo far right. That's that's the end. That's the one you do at the end. That's where I've the seen people like start, start in the middle. I'm like, what are you guys doing? This is blasphemy. Blaspheme the holy name. See, now that I would never do. So you guys are in circle? I don't see you. Uh, I don't know what zoom it is. I didn't look. I just... Oh. Well, I'm in circle. Oh, what am I thinking? Uh, I'm no. in circle. Uh, yeah, circle moon is far right, right? Far left. Circle's far left. Yeah, just not trash. Look at them rip that mommy sarcophagus pieces. What are you, you doing in your games? I'm just killing stuff, man. Right, are you wa are you walk are you walk magic finding basically? Yeah, I teleport to all the packs. I kill the packs as I go. 
I'm so you're teleport, but he's, I'm he's making lots of he's getting lots of variables. That's what he's doing. All those all those packs he's killing, teleporting all over the place. His variables are really high. Come to Ginger's TV. I saw a white spider web sash drop when I got here. It's very sad. Oh, we can walk now. Oh, wait, he can charge? Okay, cool. Keep up. <laughs> oh, yeah, on a, the, the North Star spider charges everything. That's what yeah, you do. Let me hold you back. Get the insight merc and do the triple regen, and you are set. You can just charge everywhere. Just an FYI, guys, I have zero magic findies. I got magic findies. We, we, are, we are not finding the items that are killing the stuffs. I'm doing the CE. I got the, the corpse exploded. I make them go pop pop. That's a lot of beetles. Shale room. Griffin head dress. Uh, plus one to hunger. What's Dead up, Asian buddy? Car. I know that look. You want some chomzits? You want some of them chomzits? You know about the chomzits, don't you? You know, your eyes get real big. <laughs> he said, ooh, I like the chomper. He said, those are extra toasty ones? A blue spider web sash. Now they're just teasing. I know, right? Oh. oh, what am I doing, actually? That's an interesting one. I'm not rushing 175 poison large with a one max damage. I'm not solo doing stuff. I can go and be just fine doing stuff. Yes, you want some more Chomzits? You want some more Chomzits? That's the more Chomzits. There you go. He dropped them all. See? Silly. Superior Thrasher. Ooh. Is it S? It's not S. Oh, uh, no. Non S, two socket boobies. Ho 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 ho. Four socket at perfect base. <laughs> <laughs> Cody, you're cracking the uh, Cody. Freaking, he's doing weird stuff over here. He does this, has this weird thing he does where he takes his nose and he pushes it into your arm. And I don't know if he's actually smelling you or anything. I think it's just his way of getting my attention because he wants something. It just looks really weird. Ooh. Okay, I think this tomb is completely finished. It is yeah. indeed completely finished. So let's move on to the smiley. Oops. There's a capitator. Oh no. Don't kill me. Don't you dare. Hand with oh it. no. Where did they come They killed the SCOTUS. Yeah, we murdered them. Yes. Yeah, they completely surrounded me. We exacted revenge. I 
kind of do want to set up a poison damage character one of these days. I just don't know what I want to do. I don't want to do a Venom Assassin. Those things suck. I'm not really sure. Doesn't, do the doesn't, poison, venom doesn't poison apply to uh, like the entire multi-shot, not just the center two arrow? Uh, probably. It'd be fun to do like a, a full-on poison zone. Like back in the day. I mean, you just stack as many as you possibly could, right? I mean, yes. realistically, it would be every single poison charm you could get your hands on. Like, no matter what. Oh, an amulet and a grand charm. Ooh, wow. A perfect lightning. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Is this where I switched to Nova? Literally a perfect line. No. <laughs> Cody. I'll check your food and waddums in a minute, okay? Ow, in the ow, meantime, ow. in the meantime, before I check your food and water, here's some here's some complimentary chomsets. I just throw Chomsets at his face. Jesus, I call him Chomsets for him. I always come up with silly names for food for him. Like instead of calling him pork, uh, pork rinds, I call him Pork and Twists. He knows them as Pork and Twists. I say, Cody, I got some Pork and Twists! He comes running. Like a big old fatty. He do love his Pork and Twists. Uh, they were good trash, but that's okay. They're still trash. What do you get? 38 or 30s. Traps have more uses besides just the magic fun, so. Oh, I don't know. They're they're still highly useful even without good magic fun. Plus two shape shifting, plus two rabies helmet. That's interesting. Feral spirit mask of the charged bolt. If I'm not scissors. mistaken, they're really good for a kick soon. An actual kick soon. They're really good for vengeance paladins. They're really good for most characters. Blade sins too, I think, get really good damage from them as well. Whoa. Stop leveling, bro. We noticed. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry about Tutu it. You're level 69. Grizzly, Tutu, Volcano, one to Shockwave. That's the best level. That is the level. Necromancers are like clown cars. You teleport in with like this big giant pack of monsters and then they just start like unfolding like they're coming out of some sort of pocket universe. <laughs> and before you know it, they've filled the entire room.
take those gore bellies. You serve me. I don't think the gore bellies much appreciate me constantly summoning them into my armies. Oh, they love it. As long as they get the hit stuff, they don't care. Gore belly hit hard. Hit me, go smash! And then some wizard stuff sticks a wand up their nose and then they hold down. It's almost entirely made up of a car right now. Oh, I was coming back. I was just seeing what he was doing down there. Trying not to die. Railroad! Best run of the game. I was having fun killing her daughters. That's really all I was doing. With her daughters. With her daughters. Her daughters and her Exactly. Oh, there's an Erdar. Almost missed it. Oh. Ah, Duriel's up here. Yay. Now I can crush him with all my Erdars. <laughs> Duriel is about to get wrecked. We could probably kill him before I can drop a one. Let's go. Meteor. Let's go. Boom. One meteor. <laughs> Dead before the meteor hit. <laughs> poor guy. Hilarious. Oh, poor guy. Oh, we didn't put a portal up? Oh, we're going to a new tomb anyway. It doesn't matter. Poor guy. Dead before the meteor hit. Let's see. Where were we at? We were at the sun tomb, right? So we're at the double down arrow tomb now? Yeah. yeah. Beetles everywhere. Honestly, Erdar's with 400% increased attack rating. It sounds honestly really scary. Bye, ghosties. Wow, they dropped a lot of full chubies. <laughs> Thorun. Take all the mana know. potions, too. I don't pick those. I like rolling the, um, the, the amulets. I think those are really powerful amulets. The, uh, the block chance amulets. You get a nice 10% block chance with plus two skills. And some good all reds and stuff like that. Saves you a ton of points on, uh, decks. That's actually best in slot. Sure. That's best cool. in slot for a uh, for the North Star Smiter. Is a really nice 10% block chance amulet. That way you can stack your HP even higher. Bad news, everyone. The bad news. What's the bad news? I love it. Oh, it's terrible. So now you gotta quit the game. You Uninstall. must quit on the spot. Stop thinking about how you dropped all that stuff in the game earlier, and it wasn't. It was a public game. He's lucky it was crap stuff that the dude yeah. got. I'd have been mad. I'd taken all my stuff back. I see you there, Mr. Boobus. Look at him. He's doing it right now, but he's doing it on camera. You guys can see him. Look. He just he just shoves his head into me and like looks straight into my soul, and then he cries. Cody, do you have um, an alligator? I would like an alligator. I'll give you two chomsets for an alligator. How about that? Two chomsets. Three? Three chomsets? Three chomsets? That's right. He looked right at the ch at the cheese it box. He looked right at the cheese it box. He said, wait a minute. You're going to give me three chomsets? That's right. 
if you bring me an alligator. You gotta bring me an alligator and I'll give you some chocolates. Come on, bring it on. Whoa. Where's my alligator? See, this is bull crap. Making me work for cheese. Go take out this sarcophagus. Poor sarcophagus. <laughs> oh, you brought me an alligator. All right, here you go. Three chomps. It's no waiting. There you go. And I'll give you a fourth extra one. There you go. There you go. You got paid a bonus. You got a bonus pay. And I got my alligator. Thank you. Nice. Combat Whoa. skills. Oh, nice. You can awesome. give that to Barbear for uh, Chunks. Chunks is doing the, the combat skills, Barbarian. Now I'm going to troll him with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, edit it and make it look like it's 45 lifer. Just randomly throw cheese at Cody. You know about all the secrets for Fist of the Heavens to get optimal damage output, right? Um, <clears throat> not necessarily. I feel like I'm figuring it out, but well, basically, you always want to make sure that you fire your Fist of the Heavens at the front of the pack or the back of the pack. Never do the middle of the pack. So that's a oh. big, it's a big damage increase if you always do the front or the back because the Holy Bolts will travel through all of the monsters. If you do the middle, it spreads out all the damage. Whereas if you do the the front or the back of the pack, the all of the holy bolts will travel forward or backward and will hit everything in that that radius. Also, um, in general, because the holy bolts pierce, um, and the, obviously if you have the monsters in a nice tight grouping, and they tend to take more damage. But a line is even better. So if you have the monsters in a line and you target the front or the back of the line, all of the holy bolts will travel through the entire line, ripping the line to shreds. It's oh, we did this one already. This one's done. Okay, so twelve. Yeah. Um, once you get the hang of like Fist of the Heavens and like how it works, you can really get some like optimal damage shots. All right, ready? Gotta go get your gear. Yeah. In general, the um, Fist of the Heavens is. Uh, it's crazy for damage output. It's just it's a matter of getting getting the most out of it. Good day. Hello. It's up. I have no minions. Great. I have some. I have some minions. <laughs> oh, you're about to have a whole lot of minions. Do the battle command. <laughs> Steal all your skeletons. They're my skeletons. Your skeletons? You mean my skeletons. Ooh, spicy room. <laughs> yeah. Like a rave. This is where I cap out my revives. My armor. 
your army? No, no. My. Ooh, a sarcophagus. Ha ha, a dice sarcophagus. Wow, that was fast. I didn't even get to walk over there in time. <laughs> that Fire sarc whoops the sarcophagus. The sarcophagus was so dead. Remember when we were all those lightning characters and we had a problem killing those things? Is that amulet? Build this. The Dallas Snare. Mm. I did not mean to pick that up. I do, I think. Nice. I can't. Aspire Helm. Apparently, I just need to pick up a bunch of these healing potions and just chug them because I'm like crit poisoned. Oh, there's an antidote potion right there. Wow. Oh, I should... With some, with some awesome dog. Do you want a punch in the butt? Do you want a punch in the snoot? Do you want a charms it? Hmm. He said these extra toasty charms it are dark and best kind of charms it. <laughs> so these things are delicious. Don't you just love when Door here drops your nut with the uh, TPs? He always is uh, a turd. Unless you make fun of him for dropping you only TPs and then he drops you a soda. So we have to do that just before we go in there this time. Okay. You gotta be real dramatic about it too. Be like, ah, you really let me get my seven TPs, girls. And then he like proves you wrong. Reverse psychologist. An unraveler here. Cask. You good? Oh, so close. Oh, spicy. Should launch a fireball through a door. What's up, guys? Nothing over here but hot stuff. It's a good thing there's no allies in the open world for us to accidentally kill with these fireballs that we just randomly shoot through doorways. Yeah. Oh, I would love it. Ooh, Ooh fast man. Get five five fire die. Oh nice. Oh it's blue. Ah, five five cold die. Oh. I'll take no, it. Four, four poison die. Oh. Are you just making it up? I what think is he is. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. What is it? Now we can go in your inventory. 4-4 four, four poison. You, uh... Perfect. Now you can use it for your, uh... Poison give it to the Give it to the poison, Necro. Ooh. Do we have one? But you have to make a poison, Necro. That would be an interesting way to make a poison zon. What if I did a... Just to get a six socket bow, and you just... Just a really fast six socket bow or something. They use just six poison bass at the bow. Huh. I mean, it would enhance all the poison damage you get from your charms, right? All the extra yeah. skill damage. And the negative res certainly wouldn't hurt either. And there's also a lot of poison damage on the facet itself, right? Yeah, wouldn't it be better to just put on a bramble and do something that'll hit one? Oh, the, the plus boys. We still get the gloves. Don't chase me. Oh. I'm just 
this corpse exploding my heart out over here. Stop rezzing. I literally exploded all the corpses. They're still rezzing somehow. They're just making new ones out of the bones that are on the ground. <laughs> Look, there's enough bones on the ground. <laughs> I mean, four socket phase blade. And then if you roll a 451, you have to make your poison. I am <laughs> These arbitrary rules. It's okay, I got two fine small charms of anthrax you can have, dude. We can always theory craft it and see how, how well it does. It'd be Just interesting. I think we'd be talking about like a max multi shot arrow character. Just, just multi shot the entire screen. You just want to poison everything, basically. That's your whole life. I mean, that'd be awesome if it actually worked for your thing up with all them 451s or whatever. Next tomb is up. I mean, assuming that you had a full inventory of 451s. I mean, just adding it all up. So that would be what? Uh, 40x, 41. So like four times. Minus whatever two, you want to put in three, there. Well, well, let, let's assume we leave some space. So one, two, three, four. Cody, quit shaking my arm. It says six times four. Uh, I think it would be eight, right? 24. So. Maybe nine. 451 times 24 is 10,824. And then plus the skill damage. So assuming that you went with a six socketed uh, bow with all fire facets, that's what, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And then you get 20 on the gloves, right? So that's yeah. 40, 50. And then what, uh, Bramble is what, another like 50%? So it's like a hundred percent multiple, like added on. You might on. need your armor for IAS if you're gonna do bow. Well, the thing about poison is it doesn't matter how many times you apply it. That's the thing. This is true. So like with poison, you apply it, and then once it's applied, that's it. You don't have to worry about reapplying it. Like it's just there. So from that perspective, like you could pretty much just apply it and move on. And then walk around with death web. A death web would help. Well, actually, I'm not sure which one would be better at that point. Well, the plus applies as soon as you apply it, and then you get a bigger minus from. So death fire, web. so fire off the shots, and then just switch to death web. Yep. I didn't need none of those. Yeah. Oh my I god, that's them. the second time I just got smoked by Erdar, bro. Mm. I mean, to be fair, I have a thousand life. And I'm teleporting around like a maniac. Oh, I can just teleport around this wall with Erders in this tomb? Yeah, no problem. And I get smacked to like 10% HP. How did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want Venom. Venom would make it worse, not better. We just yeah, had this whole conversation. If it was IAS, he would have to, like, jack it up. For sure. The, the, yeah, prob the problem with Venom is you actually lose poison damage. You don't gain it. You lose it. And the only way to maintain exactly what you had before you used Venom is literally to hit so fast that you are making sure to reapply the poison before it like falls off and since venom has a what is it 0.1 second so you have to be attacking 
at least once every point one second to maintain the same poison damage you would have had without Venom. It's not worth it. I'll be right back. I'm going to take Cody out to go Pippus. Nope. Actually, that could be a nice ETA swap. It's got, what, Vigor on it? Yep. And Meditation. Vigor and Meditation. It's not terrible. I'll hold on to it in case you want it later. <coughs> Next tomb is up. Drop me nothing. Waste oh, of time. the cows is next too. Uh oh, this is gonna be awesome. Could someone drop me like any waypoint in Act Three Hell? Oh man, you should have been here literally right before this. Team. We just rushed this guy through hell. This doom is finished. Uh, what game are you in? Chunks. Poo -poo. I will fight you, Chunks. God. Never joining your game again. You're coming to my games from now on. <laughs> The only one I got. That helps. I'll run it backwards. Yeah, I only got Trav. I'm gonna give you Trav, but I'll tell you back to like lower Karast or something. No, I'll run for him. I've been running with this character, but Act 3 is just too much. I got you, bro. There you go. Thanks, man. Yeah, no worries. You know, wearing the freaking goblin. All dogs love cheese. It's really. You know, I was thinking Bramble might not even be the best choice either. Bramble's got a lot of skill damage, but one of the things that I I, I found out when I was doing the Holy Freeze Paladin, which I really underestimated, is that small amount of damage that each facet gives you adds up like really fast. And if we're talking about trying to like get as much poison damage as humanly possible. Each facet has its own poison damage, which is also being affected by the skill damage, which, in the grand scheme of things, actually adds up to a lot. So, I mean, maybe the best in slot for this character would just be, like, full poison facets. Like, six and a bow. Um, 
I don't even know. Probably like a plus three mat bow would probably be a good choice. Six and a six and a plus three mat bow, four in armor, like three in a helmet, and then you'd have what? Uh, what is that? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. It's like thirteen facets total. I thought mat bows could only get five. Oh yeah, so it would have to be like a hydra bow or something. Had to be a hydra. Or what shadow bow or is it just a bow? Shadow bow, yeah, I think shadow bow also might be six. I mean speed doesn't really matter too much here. I mean I fire off one multi shot, I hit the entire screen. And uh yeah. Uh, I got your bow uh bow skiller, so you gotta do that next. Uh, bow yeah, we wouldn't be using bow skillers. I'd just be using as much poison oh, yeah, damage right. as I could possibly get. Sorry, I had a dumb moment. All poison damage, all the time. All poison damage. And more poison damage. You're, you're like gonna have to run Angelic Set. Well, I mean, I can. Well, I mean, I, I don't really need a lot of skill points. I don't really care about physical damage. So, like. Who dropped the book on the ground? <laughs> Legendary Mallet. Yeah. What we get? What we get? What we get? I don't know yet. Oh, oh it's Schrodinger's legendary mallet. Shay first. Shay first. Shay first. Shay first. Shay first. Don't crush her. It's on the ground. Shay first. I don't care. I'm, I'm blocking that out. Shay first. <laughs> Shay first. Oh. You can't do that. <laughs> I mean, AOE killing potential for, for the character would be insane, being able to poison everything. You wouldn't have to worry about regeneration, because everything would be poisoned all the time, so that's that's nice. Um, you'd have plenty of skill points left over, because you wouldn't be based on physical damage, so it doesn't really matter. The amount of negative res that you would have would completely overwhelm any immunities, so combined with a poison sunder, you'd be pretty effectively destroying any monster that's even even monsters that are poison immune. I mean, what kind of negative res would you be you talking about with a character like me. this? You'd be talking about what? Want. 5, 10. That's like 50 for 10 and then another 25, so like 75. I mean, yeah, you'd be you'd be well into the negative range on most monsters and even the immune monsters would still be mostly broken to the point where they're almost down to zero. But yeah, uh, 17 facets, so on your swap you could have D-Web and a 4 socket shield. That's really going to town, isn't it? <laughs> All right, everybody oh, ready up, for real? their 17 books to town portal? 17? He's giving out books now? Bet. Yep. All right. I'll leave the portal up here. Actually, the tomb is like done. He didn't drop us 17. He only dropped us two this time. Never mind. He, he didn't drop any. I don't know what you're talking about. Just threw out that extra book that I found. I mean, we can always theory craft. But somebody said the next TZ is terrible, so I guess we'll wait until the next TZ and then we'll do a theory craft. Oh yeah, it's it's absolutely horrible. Is it mausoleums? No, it's cows. Oh, meh. Mer. Moo. Mer. Mer. I thought you said it was terrible. That's not terrible. This man is silly. Cody, what are you chewing on over there? What do you got? I'm gonna farm up three legs here in about five minutes. A plastic bottle that you ripped up into a million pieces. Okay. Said it's my plastic bottle.
And is Mang Songs better than a for Nova Sork to play? Did I start like a whole Mang Songs freaking like like Epiphany freaking like I, I swear it seems like ever since I used Mang Songs for that Fire Necro back in season five, everybody's actually giving Mang Songs another look now and realizing it's not as bad as everybody thought. I mean, it's practically best in slot for this character. The, um... Apparently now it's a, one of the better options for the Nova Sorceress. It's honestly the best option for the Fire Druid, in my opinion. If I used a uh, a barb merc with uh, with like dual plagues, I could get like some pretty nice freaking uh, lower res procs too. That'd be a pretty nice way to roll it, cause lower res lowers uh, poison resistance too. Yeah. And then I'd have like freaking what, like level thirty freaking cleansing. <laughs> yeah, you would never be cursed. Or poisons. Oh god, ow. They almost got me. They, all, they almost got me, little bastards. They dropped a Kin and Mill all, too. They're trying to troll me. I think so. It'd be interesting to see just how high you can get the poison damage. Probably make a killer PvP character too, come to think of it. Just massive amounts of poison damage. Eighteen facets. Great. I've now created a theory craft character which is even worse than the full facet Griswold set paladin. At least poison facets are actually a little bit easier to come by. If I lowered my standards a little bit and went with, you know, like, like four fives and five fours and stuff like that, I could probably pick up that many poison facets relatively easily. It'd take a little while. It'd take a little while, but I could do it. I just kind of wish you would just to see what it'd be. Oh, we're gonna, I'm gonna do a theory craft on it. We'll play around with it. Alright, play hero later. Holy Jesus. That hurt. Oh, no problem, Circle Pharaoh. Glad to help you out, man. This uh, this game is honestly really fun. It just takes a little bit of effort to, to figure stuff out sometimes. Some of the skills are confusing. Uh, vengeance is one of those skills. Very confusing skill. When I first my first foray into vengeance was not a very uh, smooth integration. It took me quite some time to really get a feel for how vengeance works and how how best to build it and like what the what the best items were for it and like and honestly though it was really rewarding because I think vengeance is an extremely powerful skill 
very powerful. It's like, it's kind of like Berserk, kind of, but better. Because you can actually, like, leech, and you can have to actually mana leech, and, like, it doesn't remove all your defense. It's extremely powerful in that regard. And when you set it up properly, I mean, it freaking smacks. Last one. Yeah, that was the last one. Be cool if we could kill all this stuff too. Yeah, they should have made these together. Alright, well I guess let's go to the next one. Yeah, we still got what twelve minutes. Man, why couldn't that just Instead have been? of ginger, he wrote gonged. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, gonged. <laughs> it's okay. You donated four ninety nine. I appreciate it. How may I help you? You can call me whatever you want. Greetings. Oh, Cody, what are you doing? I always know he's up to no good when he's quiet. Cody, you want some cheese its Tomb is up. You want, stuff. you want some chomz its They're coming after my Merc. He said, look, he said, you don't gotta ask if I like if I want chomz its He said, it's silly. You just give it to me. You don't gotta ask every single time. Hey. Hey look, Ma, I'm making skeletons out of skeletons. Finally, not be worried about standing in the doorway, keeping people <laughs> going through. Why is that? Um, because it just ran most of the nightmare. And, um, a totemic mask and a carnage helmet? Plus two fire claws, totemic mask. The other one was garbage. Fire claws is nice, it just doesn't uh, I can't carry anymore. need more than that. Need more, need more. Alright, time to go get some legs. Whoa. Where are you going to stuff all those legs? The other two characters I have. I'm just going to stuff them all, just stuff them in there. Yep. This boy is, this boy is hoarding prosthetic legs. I don't know why, but I... I remember the first time somebody, you know, like, I learned about prosthetic legs, I always thought, like, you just got one and that was it, and you just moved on. Like, and then I was reading some article about apparently how people who get prosthetic legs will get one prosthetic leg and then not replace it. And apparently they get, like, horrible debilitating pain for the rest of their lives. Because apparently as they grow, you're supposed to get the leg to match, like, your exact height or whatever. So like if your leg grows even by like a centimeter, it offsets everything and it makes it uh, <laughs> it makes it very painful eventually, especially when the leg doesn't match your other leg. 
So you gotta keep getting new legs, like all the time. This is expensive though, man. I think like past that thing was like five thousand dollars a leg. Yeah, well that's the thing though. Like if you go with just the one leg and you never get it replaced, you'll eventually get in horrible pain. But if you get it replaced, then you can, you know, you, you actually do okay with it. Because you gotta get it, like, adjusted and fixed for your height. A jewel. A jewel of the daring. I mean, would attack rating really be that big of a deal for a poison Amazon anyway? If you really think about it, I only need to hit you once. Like, once per poison, like, duration. So, as long as the poison is lasting for a particularly long period of time, which it should, I really only have to hit you quickly enough to re-up the poison when it falls off. Alright? So if I'm not if I'm not hitting fast enough to re up the poison, <coughs> then that's the only downside. Uh, I mean, you'd also get like inner sight. Flawless Aruabam. I remember back in the day, poison zones were a thing before they nerfed poison. Then again, poison thunders weren't a thing back then either. So. I remember the poison zones would almost strictly stick to cows because you know, there's no poison immunes in the cows. Like ever, right? It, yeah, it doesn't. Never, you ever, literally, ever. you literally cannot find poison immunes in the cow. Well, there's there's no modifier that makes a monster poison immune like there is fire, you know, like fire immune, lightning immune, cold immune, etc. Aw, somebody's girl is dead. Second helmet. Is Turgoyo Cat MGG? <laughs> That's uh, Taco Yogurt. That's Taco Yogurt? Yep, GGM Taco Yogurt. Just backwards. Oh. I don't know who it is. But whoever it is stole my technique. Dang reverse GGMers. Mine was GGM backwards though, so I had to. And 
drawback is hilarious. Might pack. I'm like, I'm like not even doing it. What's wrong with an Urdar Necro? Those are great. Boy, if Necros could guarantee finding Urdars every single match, like, with ease, you know, not having to go find them and kill them and whatever, like, that would just be the, that would just be what you would use. You just wouldn't use anything else. It would just be all uh, Urdars all the time. Damage, 1400 damage. All Urdars all the time. A Colossus girdle. I am overburdened. So pretty. I got no ID scrolls to ID it with. Me either. Who doesn't like a good Colossus girdle? That jank is girdly. That will gird your loins better than any others in the loin girded girdness. I'm just gonna start using Hydra on my not Hydra. Die, I'm old boy. He's a super mold, super moldy, super moldy. Yow. Oh Are we doing cows after this? I'm gonna do the theory for this. Oh, okay. I wanna, I wanna try and set this down. You guys can do cast. A non existent level. This is a Three socket, non F, four oh eight. That's right. Weighted bear room. They will do it. I know they will. Ooh, a lumber. My theory craft. Boop. Mm. Do I have a character? I probably don't. Let's make up a new character, shall we? What do we call her? GGM underscore. Anthrax? Welcome, little Anthrax. 
Mm. Plague would have been nice too. But Anthrax comes with with its own theme song. They even got a band. set up all these stats and everything not that it matters all that much but whatever that was not correct so 470 plus 15 485 max max I can't remember how many points the Amazon gets. I never can. Always got to look it up. Amazon is 2 HP on level. Plus 50, which means a base HP of 238. One stamina, so 94 plus 84. I wish it did this for you in Hero Editor, so you don't have to do this yourself, but it does not. Because it's rude. Alright. I don't even know if I have 451 Poison Smalls in Hero Editor. I don't think they're in here, to be perfectly honest. Is that your keyboard, Chunks? Yeah, sorry. Amazon, Fill Fire Torch, throw an Annie in there, of course. All right, now we need to see if we actually have 451 small poisons. I don't know if we do, to be really honest. Charms, small charms. Fire, life, mana, life resistance, pestilent, small charm of anthrax. Uh, I don't know if that's correct, but let's go ahead and fill her up. Of course, and we still need to leave enough room for a sunder. So it's going to look like that. And then we have just enough room to pick up an item. I could also give myself a couple extras. Just for, like, testing purposes. Alright, now we need a six-socket Hydra Bow. So, we're going to socket it on white bases. And where's my bows? Bows. Elite. Do we even want to go with an Elite? I guess for Life Leech and Mana Leech, the Elite would be the better choice, right? But then at the same time, I was thinking that the lower ones would have lower stat requirements, which would mean I could have more HP or more dex or whatever. And I'll just go ahead and grab a six socket Hydra Bow. Four socket archon plates.
I mean, honestly, our resistances are going to be terrible, but uh, I just want to try this out with the facets first before we do anything else. All right, so then we need a Trang's Gloves because they give poison skill damage, and it's hard to turn those down when you're building a poison damage character. Sets Elite Triangle Gloves. Are there any rings that give poison damage? I don't believe so. Carrying Wind. Carrion Web does give poison? Or does it just give poison nova? Uh, it procs the poison nova, which is damage, but not add poison damage. Let's see here. Amazon Basin would probably give us an answer. Let's see how. Toxic Smolchams, Black Fox Sharp Syndicos, Perfect Emeralds, uh, da -da 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 -da. Circlets, Amulets, Atmos Scarab gives poison damage. Minimum of 40, maximum of 40, frame rate, so, hmm. there's rings. Apparently something called the Ring of Blight. It's probably just a modifier. So it looks like a uh, suffix. A pref yeah, suffix. Huh. Hmm. Me. Well, I ain't gonna go sleep tonight. Not really a whole lot of good choices here for rings with poison damage, that's for sure. Poison Ova doesn't uh, doesn't do well with other forms of poison either, so poison Ova wouldn't be useful. How much scarab has a small amount of poison damage on it, but we're going to be really low on resistances. I mean, to be honest with you, it's probably going to end up in some sort of category where we just go for reses. So let's just take our amulet and our ring slot, since we don't seem to have anything better for that. We'll just go with uh, Mara's to make up the resistances. We don't need skills, so it really comes down to... Probably just some blood rings or something. I mean, Raven Frost, for sure that cannot be frozen. Mm -hmm. I'll just grab a blood ring. There's a better one than that in there. Can't remember which one it is. Havoc Band. Uh, Skull Whirl. Nope. Storm Arm. Storm Master. I know there's one in here that's pretty good. Maybe it's in the Blood Ring, so that's probably what it is.
I just yeah. found my first black cleft. Woo! You must be so excited. I am. The best sure. black cleft. Um, so amazing. So great. We're going to make black clefts great again. <laughs> Wouldn't that be wonderful? They've never really been great, but okay. Yeah. The blood judge. None of these are really all that amazing. It'd be nice to have some mana leech. Can I always just edit one to give me what I want? Put all these in here, and then I forget which one is the one that's actually the good one. There's a couple of good ones in here, but there you go. That's a dual each with resistance. That's, that'll work just fine. All right, and then boots. Is there any boots that has poison damage on them? I don't think there is. Sandstorm tracks don't have any poison damage on them, do they? I think they got poison resist. I don't know. You can check. Well, I think I might go with sandstorm tracks anyway to cancel out the poison sunder. That seems like a good idea. What's up, Joey? What build do we want? What build do we want? Don't you just love fun anti perfect stuff? Just found a skin, the vampire or the magi, whatever. Found the perfect skin of the viper magi. The anti-perfect one. I got twenty res. Filling up all the sockets, boys. Alrighty then. Well, save. All right, now we need the mercenary. So let me grab the mercenary's equipment. Mercenary is going to be running dual plagues. And some nice ethereal conquest swords. And then for the armor, what do we run on him? We need him to be tanky. So let's give him a F fortitude and a nice sacred armor. And for the helmet, let's 
Let's give him uh, an ethereal. Ariot's face. Oh, well, let's just give him a regular Ariot's face. Whatever. I'm too lazy to edit it in. Alright, here we go. I don't know why I had YouTube chat uh, like closed the entire time while I was doing that, but... I did, so I'm sorry. I just put 17 poison facets into this character, and the guy asked in chat, is this some kind of poison build? <laughs> 17 poison facets later, my friend. Yes, it's definitely a poison build with 17 poison facets involved. Most certainly. Most assuredly. Alright, moment of truth. Let's hop on and see how this looks. It's going to be the greatest character you ever built. He just said he had just had a blizzard dev on his bell run spawning in runes. That'd be what nice. Kind of if there what was kind of runes did he spawn? Dev. Were they good ones or were they, were they crappy ones? All right. Now we need him. Uh, strength and dex to wear the bow. I put in way too much strength. Whatever. Doesn't really matter anyway. Vitality. Arrows, Hi, we need a poison sucker, Jim. Okay, go steal a poison sucker from my poison sucker character. Oh, never mind, I already got one sitting in here. Good. Hey, yeah, resistances aren't that bad for hell difficulty. 10 fire, 10, 15 lightning, 30 cold, and 20 poison. All right, so full penetrate because we want to make sure we hit. One point pierce, we got razor tail, so it doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and grab a Valkyrie. We want our multi shot to hit as many monsters as it possibly can, so we're gonna go ahead and cap out multi shot. Looks like guided arrow is a synergy for multi shot, so we can build that synergy too. Why not? Um. Other than that, we've got 44 points left over. Might as well go with the tanky Valkyrie. Doesn't seem like a bad choice. Um, we could beef up our critical strike so we get better leech, which might not be a bad idea, considering morphine. Our attack ratings. Well, let's see what my attack rating is. There's no. Is there no attack rating on multi shot? Is there? No, there's not. Hmm. It's unfortunate. Well, we might have to go with inner sight so we can actually hit stuff. I don't think it's really going to matter all that much what our attack rating is, to be perfectly honest. I feel like we're in a situation where we pretty much just need to hit something once and it will start melting. Hmm. That's with max penetrate, too. That's kind of unfortunate. Uh, what we could do is I could stack more points into dexterity. That's not exactly a bad idea. If I stack a lot of points into decks, I could completely bypass that. I'm at 1500 HP right now, which is a lot, but let's go get our Merc set up real quick. What am I snacking on? Extra toasty cheese? It's come on now. 
We talked about this earlier. The only tea, the only cheese that's worth buying. Oh no, them crispy ones are pretty good. Extra toasty are crispy. Oh, is that what it is? Extra toasty. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and grab a Merc. We need a nice little Frenzy Merc. Bodan. Come on, Bodan the Conqueror. Come on down to Bodan Town. We got Bodan for you. We got Bodans everywhere. Come on down. We got some Bodans. Everybody wants a Bodans. We got Bodans for you. All right, so we are now set up properly. We currently have 14k to 14k poison damage. We are running a total of negative 65% enemy poison resistance, which is pretty nice. It's actually not bad at all. We also have Plague, so he'll be pack capping that lower res on there, and then we can swap over to our Death's Web combo for a negative 110 when we swap over to the Death's Web. Does Affinity not lower uh, poison rest? No, it doesn't lower power poison rest. Poor guy. Is this on P8? I can't even remember. It is on P8. <laughs> Let's go to P1 and see how crazy it is on P1. Um, where do we want to go? Let's go test out uh, Canyon of the Magi. I always like Canyon of the Magi. Wow. That's pretty impressive, not gonna lie. That's even without the swap. <coughs> With the swap. Holy Jesus. Good luck getting a whole bunch of 451 poisons, but. Boy, I'm killing stuff off the screen. <laughs> it's not even <laughs> it's not even near me and it's dying. That's great. I forgot how ridiculous the arrows are in terms of like shot resistance. You'll be hitting stuff that's not even anywhere near you. We gotta test this in the cows. Keep in mind that the, the charms that I'm using for this are kind of rare and expensive. 451 smalls. They're they're kind of rare and expensive. When I say kind of, I mean they're extremely rare and expensive. I mean, I wouldn't be able to pull this off with 451 smalls, unfortunately. Um, I could probably get 250s. I could probably get 175s. I could probably get... I could get close. But I wouldn't be able to get like a full inventory of 451s. It would It would be rough. For sure. I want to see how this does in the cows. Most of the monsters that are of low HP are just dying immediately from the poison. Like they, they, just, they can't even, they can't even maintain their HP like at all because the poison is that glacious. Oh, here's Griswold. So here's a monster that actually has some decent HP. Let's see how it goes with him. I don't even have time for the lower res proc to, to actually hit the monsters half the time. I don't even really think I need the AR. Like, 4,000 AR is still just plenty for how this build works. I'm not hitting people repeatedly. I just need to hit you one time. One time, and you are now poisoned. 
one time and you are now you are now on death's door. Alright, let's pull up this freaking do drink. Come on, pull that stuff up. This is single player. And this is a hero edited character. None of this stuff matters. Alright, into the cow level we go. Those are champions that just melted out of existence. That is freaking glorious. Like, cows off the screen are literally melting. Like, I'm not even... <laughs> I don't even have to do anything. This is insane. I could literally just fire off a couple, like, multi-shots, and everything gets poisoned, and then I just kind of walk away and everything dies. Do we buy chairs to come up with a new mana build? I mean, if you can get your hands on this many 451 smalls. This used to be a thing back in the day. Like, it used to be an actual real build back when uh, poison damage was overpowered and Zons were at their height. Stacking poison small charms was one of the easiest ways to kill everything. I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of interesting benefits to this. Number one is it's massive AoE damage. So it's 14k poison damage going to every target that I tap at least one time. Which is all I have to do is just tap them one time and they are then poisoned. Um, since it hits literally everything on the entire screen, I don't really have to worry about hitting multiple times. AR isn't a, a consideration in this at all. The Merc doesn't even have a chance to touch anything. Like he's, he's literally, He literally doesn't even have a chance to do anything. I hate to say it, but the Merc is useless. Like with this build, it's locked. he doesn't he doesn't have a chance to actually trigger anything or proc anything. He's he's uh, he's he, he he's basically just a tank. Like that's about it. And there's the cow king. And the cow king's down. There we go. There's the lower res proc. And with the lower res block, it goes even faster. Is it unique? You said you're gone dash any good? Um, that's Oma Negro. It's gotta be some pretty crazy rolls for that thing to be worth any of What'd you get? Uh, 240 enhanced damage. Is it plus one history. or plus two? Plus two. Okay. Is it ethereal, non-ethereal? Non-ethereal. You might have to check and see how close to the perfect rolls you are, but usually they're not worth anything. Does that mean I have to use somebody and not be able to use Comparatively to like a Haas or a, um, a Spirit Shield or like any of the other shields that Paladins usually use, it's it's pretty inferior. I don't know much about Paladins a little bit. Yeah. Try Ubers with a poison build? Haha. <laughs> Do it. Do I got it. no resistances. What is this? You guys are setting me up for failing. Nah, it, it might work. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I'm not sure if I can hit him with my 4000 AR. I might actually actually put some points in AR. Use my inner sight ability. I haven't even used the rest of my 25 skill points. I mean, I could throw them in anything. I could stack them in dodge. I could throw them in crit for more physical damage on hit. I could uh, stack them in inner sight. Honestly, stacking them in inner sight sounds like a good plan. 
get that extra defense reduction. And then I'm going to split them between the dodge, avoid, and evades. The rest. Oh no, do I have an organ set sitting around anywhere? Infinity doesn't reduce poison resistance. Cub bus go tick. It's uh, elemental only, no poison. Yeah, there's just a bunch of explodey guys down here. Explodey guys are no fun. No, Conviction only works on Fire, Lightning, and Ice. It doesn't work on Poison. Lower Resistance is the only one that works on Poison. Thus, the Plague Swords on the Merc. And, I mean, he when he does activate his Plague Swords, I mean, it does work. Um, but, you know, like, half the time I've literally killed all the monsters before he activates the Lower Resistance, so... I mean, I guess that's just testament to how much poison damage I'm putting out, so it doesn't really matter, does it? I mean, as you can clearly see here, I just, like, demolish this. Let's bump this back up to P8, because uh, obviously P1 I am absolutely throwing, like, around like a ragdoll. Let's go back to P8, let's see. Let's, let's see how she does on P8. Lower res like right away, that's pretty cool. God, look at that poison damage tick. How do I proc lower res? Through the plague swords on the mercenary. No monsters anywhere half the time when I get there because the monsters are already dead by the poison damage before I even get there. So like I just fire off into the distance and poison everything and then these guys are immune to poison. Oh, catapults are immune to poison even with the sunder. Oh, that's rude. I mean, it makes sense. Does it though? What if my poison is so virulent that it even affects wood? And rots it from the inside out. It's a catapult made out of wood. It's not made out of metal. Wood is dry. Dry wood soaks up liquid. Poison is a liquid. The poison goes into the wood. Slurps up the poison. Because it's dry and thirsty. It's thirsty wood. And my poison breaks down the molecular bonds between cell walls. I 
I believe these guys are actually immune to poison. Lofi. So I think they're flat face immune to poison. Yes, they are. Okay. So this is my first time fighting some P8 naturally poison immune monsters. I mean, honestly, they're still taking a pretty hefty amount of poison damage, but it is going a lot slower. A little Merc is taking care of business over here. It's nowhere near as fast on the, the naturally poison immune mockings. Even with the lower resistance. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's meh. Kinda wanna get to, uh... Wanna get to chaos, try out chaos. One day we'll come over there completely insane build, that'll be the new meta. One day. I mean, honestly, my Merc over here is putting in some work. With the exception of the naturally poison immune monsters, I mean, honestly, the regular ones are melting pretty quickly, even on P8. It's kind of impressive. All I have to do is fire off one or two multi shots every now and then. It's not even like it's that big of a deal. Even the champions go down relatively quickly. They can't regenerate either, which is kind of cool, to be perfectly honest. They're just stuck at whatever HP they're stuck at. Poor Erdars can't even handle the freaking poison. They just start melting. Pretty good, dude. I mean, this is P8. Uh, honestly, she was rolling through P1 like it was nothing. So I kind of wanted to just see if she had any kind of you know, like wall. Would she run into a wall of higher tiers? I missed the start of your stream. What gear are you using? Five poison facets. That's basically the answer to that question. Okay. Just all poison facets all the time. And 451 poison small traps. Oh. Yeah. They're strong. It's a, it's a pretty interesting little, little fun little dude jank here. Playing around with the idea of a, just a full poison boson. It's been a, it's been a long time since I made one. I'd like to see how he does on she does on Diablo. By the looks of it, it'd probably be a little slow. P1, she can roll right through it. Wow. P8, a little slow. Let's bring this down to P1. Back to P1. So we can roll through this easily. We seem to have more than enough damage for P1. Not quite enough to just like blast through P8, but way more than enough for P1. Stealing all my mana, you little mm, sweater knitting little turds. I need that to fire my multi shot. As they suck more of my mana away. Suck it all into oblivion. 
I don't even know what they do with it. Goodbye, Warpie. Give me your mana potions. All of your manta potions. That's right, sweater knitting turds. You never looked at them? They're like knitting little sweaters. Out of spiders. They're knitting sweaters out of spiders. Which is even worse, arguably. Digging the bomber? What kind of bomber? What are we bombing? Surprised how much your neck do. Alright, let's see how she does there. Yeah, do do it Diablo. Melt, my pretties. Melt. I'm gonna run out of mana. I don't need to. I don't necessarily need to hit him very often. It's actually kind of the whole thing. Because I'm a poison damage character, all I really gotta do is just fire until I hit and see him turn green. And then if he's green, then I don't need to do anything, and that's it. And then at that point, I just fire again when make him green, and I just do that over and over again uh, to make sure he stays green. As long as he's green, I don't gotta worry about it. And then I switch over to Death Sweep for the extra negative res. And then I fire a couple more shots, make sure he's green, and then switch back to the Death Sweep. And he died really fast. That was pretty surprising. That was way faster than I thought it was okay. Alright, so we know P8 is a little bit too much, and we know P1 is like super easy. Let's try something like P5. Let's see if she still does well in P5. What do you need? Let's grab my Merc back. Let's get my Merc back, get my life back, get my best friend's wife back. Not in town. Uh, let's go try somewhere new. Uh, da -da -da -da, where we try? I'm just gonna laugh. Let's try study field just so we can watch everything die really fast. P5 Stony. Watching the watching the HP go down is very fun. You basically just tap them once and just walk away. You don't even have to actually look at them. You can just do this. Like you just tack in a circle like this. Just if anything that was in range probably died. <laughs> Run around you and watch you poison to death. No, he's dying. You die and stay die. Carry anymore. Where are your friends? Oh, let's go. Another Vector. Nice. nice.
So that's a server room, two vex rooms, and a uh, spider whip sash all in what, two hours? Yeah, you're doing pretty good. People always do that, Power Monger. I don't really understand why. They ask a question, I answer the question, and then literally after I answer the question, they're like, Ugh, this guy only reads YouTube chat. Or, Ugh, this guy doesn't read his comments. They do it all the time. I don't even understand. I think they're just really impatient. They don't wait for a response. Either that, or they, like, turn the stream off and then come back, like, five minutes later. I don't, I don't really know. I, I give up on those guys. Oh, and um, ring. Look at you hacking. Great um, runes, Vex runes, Sir runes. See, and this is proof in the pudding why Venom would actually make this build worse, not better. Is that I can literally just fire off a shot and just watch these monsters die. With Venom, you would have to continually keep firing repeatedly forever. And you would have to hit, too. It's not just about firing. You would have to actually land the hits. And you would have to, con you would have to hit very fast to get the same damage that I'm outputting right now. Die, Griswold. Griswold is highly resistant to my attacks this time. Either that or you just got a lot of HP. Which he usually does have a lot of HP, so. Hit. I mean, between the, the lower resistance curse, all the negative res I have, I mean, he should be sitting at like negative 100 easy. So I guess he's just got massive amounts of HP. I guess my little Merc is useful in the higher player counts. He seems useless in the lower play counts, though. I'm, not gonna be, I'm gonna be honest. The poison is so effective and it's so virulent in the lower player counts that the Merc just basically seems useless. But when I get into the higher player counts, it, it definitely seems like he's more useful in the higher player counts. I'll say that. Let's try P, uh, P8 cows. Let's see how it goes in P8 cows. Hmm. Do 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 do. Come here, Kane. Identify these items immediately. Poopies, poopies, poopies. Put those down there. Yes. I guess technically, if you were doing cows mainly, you really wouldn't need um a poison sunder since nothing in there is immune to poison anyway. So not like the poison sunder really does anything. I'm just gonna fire off into the distance like this. I mean, my goal is to poison everything. I don't really care so much about the sticking around for them to die part. With this character, you would have to be very, um, now what's the term? You have to be very, I don't really know. I don't really know what word I'm looking for in my head. Patient, I guess would be the term. Be patient. Because you're really not worried so much about, you know, 
like, if the monster dies immediately, because they will eventually die, and you know that they're going to die. It's just a matter of waiting for them to fall down. So, a lot of the times you're going to just be firing off a couple shots, and you're just going to move on. These guys seem highly resistant. Probably because it's an elite spirit shake. As you can see, everything over here is already dead. Pew pew. And all these guys are poisoned. Pew pew. Girl, girl. Death swim for the extra poison damage. And that lower res proc is nice too. When it does when he does proc it, like it it adds a ton to the poison damage, you can tell. You know what the real big downside to this is, though, in the cow level? Well, I already poisoned all the cows, so you can't you can't eat any of the meat. <laughs> See, that's just terrible. This is, I'm just I'm making all this meat un unedible, inedible. Giving no more cheeseburgers? No, no cheeseburgers from this run. What's up, Cow King? Melt with your friends. Melt away. Drop me some mage fists. Yeah, but this is poison, Cryophane. This is like straight up, like toxic, just like nasty gonorrheal poison extracted from the the glands of a wolf spider and a black widow and a, and and like several other spiders of various genuses and spider nation list nish nish nish. This is this is. This poison, you would not want to eat the meat that comes from this poison, that's for sure. I think you would die. I always imagine there being like a whole class. I always thought it would have been neat because there's so many different poisons out there and there's so many different like effects of certain poisons. Some of them are quick acting, some of them are, you know, take a very long time. And, you had like a, a an archer kind of like a class, but basically they would have multiple pouches of different poisons like on their belt, and at any time they could just swap between the different poisons as, as necessary. Like uh, was it Gari is really good for paralyzing someone without killing them. Uh, you get like uh, the wolf spider venom is uh, or not wolf spider. Um, Black Recluse Spider. Yeah, the Recluse Spider. That one has um, crazy properties. Like, it actually makes the cell walls of something, like, sort of fall apart from each other. They lose their bond with each other. You could use that to break down freaking catapults and stuff. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be very nice to, to monsters either. You know, like, really fast-acting poisons and stuff, too, like, like Black Widow with Venom and, like, not just spiders, either. You can just snake Venoms and all sorts of crazy stuff. Mix them all together. You just got a F Executioner's Justice. Is that the one that procs Decrepify on killing monsters? Yes. Hmm. Interesting. Can't remember about that one. It's uh 
crushing blow, minus target defense, uh, 30 IAS, very fast. But the two handed damage is 326 to 675. Oh, Umrin, while I was looking away, reading yeah. that. Thanks, guys. Moo. Mm. Well, it does pretty well for uh, P8 cows. I wonder how I would do in. Uh, well, we already checked P1. I kind of demolished P1 cows. Poison you. Switch to Death's Web. Watch your melt. Even the elites melt. I bet you this character would really sting in PvP. Can you imagine having that kind of poison damage and it just hits you? It'd be pretty nasty. Yeah. But you would be able to play this because you don't have any resistances to your own. It's not bad, or any actually. Defense, resistances really. aren't too terrible. I mean, you could sacrifice a couple facets for, like, better resistances. I mean, if you use a COA instead of a crappy gemmed bone visage, I mean, you could go it's with long. two poison facets instead of one, and that would give you a pretty good amount of uh, resistances. And then, um, I don't know, there's, there's other options. Like, instead of armor, you could go with one of the three socket plates. Look for something that has better, better stats. Or you could look for. Um, obviously, I'm not using um, like J mods or anything, so I don't actually have any additional stats on these pieces of equipment either. So that would be a whole other thing as well. All right, I guess I'm not sleeping tonight. <clears throat> That's exactly what I say. Now I just need a million four fifty one small poison charms. Super easy, super easy, no big deal, no big deal. I mean, super easy through the power of friendship, right? I don't even think the power of friendship is going to help me fill an inventory with 451 smalls. <laughs> mm. Only one way to find out. It takes some serious effort to get a hold of these. I'm not even sure that they can actually draw. They have to be rolled? I think they have to be rolled. Four, I think 451s have to be rolled. Because I've, I've never actually <laughs> seen one fall, so. Off of like Bale and Neil Attack. And yeah, and TZs and stuff. Yeah. yeah. I think that's yeah, how they're Jager. normally. I think that's how they're normally obtained is rolling. I don't take the power of friendship. Just gonna cut it this time, brother. Yeah, I don't think it is. I'm looking on Trader and there everyone's wanting at least ten burrs for each one of them. <laughs> at <laughs> least ten burrs? At least. That's the bare minimum. So what you're saying is is I made a character that is the most expensive character that exists in the realm of men or elves. That's what you're trying to say. That's exactly yeah. what I'm saying, <laughs> sir. But it works though. But it works. It works. Well, no, it's probably the most expensive PVM character. I mean, I think it'd get more expensive. I don't know. I think if I really wanted, if I really wanted to, I could probably make it more expensive. Honestly, realistically, it would probably look something more like one or two 451 smalls and then like a bunch of like 257s and like 150s and 100s and anything I could fit in there basically that I find and I would just slowly and assuredly like make it better and better and better as I go. So, I mean, it would, it would be a very similar to my 
Thor Barbarian from last season where I was constantly, in, you know, every time I was like, ooh, that one's slightly better than what I had before. Ooh, that one's slightly better than what I had before. Good afternoon. And I'd work at it. It, it would be something that you'd slowly work at and you'd uh, you'd build a an arm, armada of poison small terms. Ooh. You'd probably Superior. have larges. You probably have larges, grands, smalls, like anything that would get your number up. Can you see the back of my jacket? The back of it? What's what's what do you want to see the back of it? There's nothing on there. Superior F man catcher with thirteen E D. Superior oh, F man catcher? No sockets? No sockets. So you've got yourself a very uh, excellent obedience there. Very powerful. Very, very powerful indeed. Right, time to upgrade my merc. I googled the poison small chart. Drop rate. Uh, it can't be dropped, really. You need to Reroll roll, roll a charm. Yeah, that's what from, I said. Yeah. Has to be yeah. rerolled. Yeah, and it needs to be a 94 plus small charm. Yep. So Diablo Neil Thacker Bale or TZ is higher than level 94. It's, uh, yes. It's, uh, exactly. it's rough. It's pretty rough. Uh, As in overage, it would take you about 100,000 perfect gems to produce one such charm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, you oh. can find the others, though. You can find everything else. You can find, like, the 251s. Yeah. Um, like, there's, a, there's a lot of them that you can just simply find. And, and that's what would probably make up the majority of the charms of my inventory. Yeah. Realistically. Which means he would be a lot less poison damage than it would say that it would be on that build. Yeah. So, are you gonna try to build this out, or just theory? It's just a theory craft right now. Ah, okay. Maybe one day in the future, yeah. I'll call on the kinship's power of, of, of rolling <laughs> charms for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we're gonna start recruiting more of that. <laughs> Honestly, if you got a 450 once small, you probably wouldn't give it to me. You'd probably just trade it off for 10 burgers. Or 33 jaws. Is that the price for him? That's what they're going for on Treasury. You lost your level 92 smiter? What'd you lose your level 92 smiter to? Sweet daddy Gluthu. I'm assuming hardcore. Was it single player or was it uh, was it online? It was the dolls, it was hardcore. Even they hit a few damage. Honestly, a 75% block rate smiter is pretty hard to kill with dolls. Because you don't have AoE damage, so you don't really kill them very quickly. You pretty much just smite each one in turn, and usually you can block them as long as you're not running away. And um, it actually works surprisingly well. Like, you, you, as long as you're not killing them quickly. That's, that's the key to the, the dolls, is kill them slowly. That's... If, if you need to learn anything today when it comes to dolls, then you need to learn this. You can always survive the dolls if you kill them slowly. You gotta kill them like you're making love to them. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. And she tells you it's her first time and she wants you to be gentle. Alright, that's how you kill dolls. The slower, the better. Or you just nope out and be done with it. <laughs> this is what I'm doing now. God, I am murdering stuff. Lilith decided today was a bad day. Ooh. How much HP did you have taken on Lilith? Like you need you need at least about fifteen hundred HP minimum to take on Lilith or she'll one shot you. Same thing with Iswal. Iswal will one shot you if you don't have at least fifteen hundred HP or higher. 
I learned that the hard way. His wall can deadly strike, and I believe so can uh, Lilith. They can both deadly strike. Which means that if they high roll and deadly strike at the same time, they will deal 1500 damage. And they will one shot you if you don't have more than 1500 HP. It's happened to me a couple times. And then it's just a bad day. And then if she gets amped, if you get amped or she gets might from a nearby pack or like there's a couple different variables that can come into play, but oh my god. We had a we had a P eight mighted amp fest Lilith that we did one time. And man, nobody could survive. We had like five K barbarians going down in one shot. It was awful. Lilith was having a freaking blast with us. You were amped, yeah. That'll do it. If you get if you get amped, that's a she can already deal deal fifteen hundred damage non amped. So if you have two point two K and you get amped, then uh, you need three thousand plus to survive an amped hit and it's you weren't there, unfortunately. That's why I always like to clear out the uh, the minions around Lilith before I fight her. Because I, I hate getting stuck with the uh, with the amp packs nearby. Seven tomorrow. Well, today, when I wake up, but yeah. You finally gonna hit 98? Yeah, 98, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm a little sleep deprived. Half stupid. I mean, doing it the legitimate way without, like, having, like, a whole, kin you know, a whole, like, streamer privilege thing going on with people feeding you Diablo kills and whatnot. It'll probably take you about a month. I mean, it's already been, what, like two weeks? You're doing pretty good. 98 to 90, uh, 90, 98 to 99 is going to be the roughest. That's going to be the, uh, that's going to be the big one. When you hit 98, it's unfortunate. Literally nothing gives the XP anymore. It's just it's just a zero. Not even Terror Zones? Terror Zones are the only thing, and Diablo deal with that can fail. That's it. So once you once you hit 98, you will not get EXP from anything in the game anymore. Except for Diablo deal with that can fail and Terror Zones. You will live in Terror Zones. Terror Zones will become your life. And when their terror zone, when it's a bad terror zone, you pretty much have no other option other than to go farm solo farm Diablo. Like that's pretty much your only option. And you don't so want to kill. You don't want to kill anything. You just want to seal pop it because nothing in, yeah, in chaos is going to give you any DXP. So you're just going to seal pop and kill Diablo repeatedly until the next DZ pops up. Well, you said Nilith that gives XP to your at. Yeah, but I don't know if he's worth it. Since the corpse explodes and can potentially kill you, I don't. I don't particularly. I don't particularly like farming the other fact when I'm level 98. Maybe in the beginning when you have like no exp and you've got nothing to lose, but. Yeah, cows is the worst TZ for exp. It's terrible. They don't. They huh? just. They just don't give any exp, unfortunately. You know? No, it's it's a penalty thing. There was some sort of so cows used to be the best EXP like in the game, bar none, for the longest time. Um, and uh, I guess the developers at some point or another, I can't remember which patch it was, like 1.1 or 1.12, or uh, maybe somebody who's got a little bit more knowledge of the older patches can help me out. But they basically the d the devs basically nerfed the ever loving crap out of cows and basically made it so that the EXP there was garbage. It gives a fraction of the EXP that it should. Oh well, I gotta fix that up, so it's fine. I mean, it was kind of ridiculous, if I'm being perfectly honest. 
Yeah, I, 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 remember, like, I remember those days. Like, literally, I Cal's just... was the best EXP, bar none, of any place you could go, anywhere in the game. And I guess that's why they nerfed it, because people were literally just living in the Cal level. Because it was the best... It was the best loot drops. It was the best place to farm runes. It was the best place for EXP. It was literally the best place. And the Cow King had really good loot drops, too, on top of that. So, like... I mean, for the longest time, the cow level was the place to go. Everybody just lived there. Yeah, I think they um, changed that 1.8, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was around the same time that the Amazons got nerfed. I think it was 1.09, because 1 1.09 was when the Amazons got nerfed, and I think it was at the same time. Because 1.0... 1.08 and 1.09, those were the last couple patches before Amazon's got, like, pushed into the dirt. Um, yeah, I remember so many people were so upset over that. 1.10 was the patch where Amazon's got, got heavily nerfed into oblivion. 1.09 was the last great patch for Amazon's. That was, uh, that was the last one before they, they kind of just got shoved into the, into the the dirt. They didn't recover either for a long time. It's it's kind of sad to think about it now, but uh, man, the Amazons were like holy crap. They got they got like shoved into the dirt so hard that they didn't recover from the 1.10 patch until like Diablo 2 Resurrected launched, and they finally fixed a lot of the. <laughs> it was like 2.5, like patch 2.5 of Diablo 2 Resurrected before the Amazons finally got a little bit of their power back. The bosons, anyway. The javazon didn't care. Never really quite understood why they hit the boson so hard, especially when the javazon is so freaking overpowered. Like, it never really quite sat with me well. Because the javazon was always overpowered. Even when the boson was overpowered, the javazon was also overpowered. Like, it wasn't like they weren't. And, um... So, I mean, nerfing one and then not nerfing the other was kind of like a slap in the face to all the bosons. What do you need? I'm trying to think if the boson... Was the boson better than the javazon in that patch? 1.09? They were. I mean, it's kind of hard to um, compare because the javazon was still just as powerful as she is now. But the boson, I think, could hit more. I think that's what it was. Because the multi-shot was, was hitting so much on the screen at, at a time, you could literally just fire off shots and hit, like, everything. Whereas the javazon had to kind of group things up and, and then throw one javelin in and kill them. But the boson could literally just sit there and just f spam off multi-shots in, like, all directions and kill, like, half the cows in the level. Punch, 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 punch. That's right. Chop, 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 choppy, chop, chop, choppy, choppy, chop, 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 choppy, chop, choppy, 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 chop. Chop, chop, chop. I'm over here outside of the fanaticizer range. There you go. Distraction. Ha ha. Chop, chop, chop. Choppy, chop, chop, choppy, chop, 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 chop. 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 What's up, fanatic Venom Lord? Man, them poor champions. Convert. Chop. Chop, chop, chop. Get him. Stop it. Merc, 
what are you doing in there? Like, can you just get out of there, please? Thank you. Appreciate it. Goodbye, Infector. Haha. -ha. And then you all go poof. Aw, oh, did I miss a seal? That's okay. I go get it. And then you go poof. Wow. I knew it was this one. I knew it. Job, 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 jobby, job, job, jobby, jobby, job, 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 jobby, job, job, jobby, job, 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 jobby, job, job, jobby, job, 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 What's your garbage? <laughs> I did miss. Well, that's because bosses are half um, effectiveness on negative monsters' defense. So most monsters, I guess, can remove all their defense relatively easily, but not bosses. Bosses are a little bit more difficult. So you need a little bit more AR for bosses. Oh, oh you killed him off the screen. You didn't drop any loot. We talked about this, Iantha. We talked about this. You don't kill them off the screen or they don't drop loot. Choppy, 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 chop, 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 chop. Aha. Choppy, 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 chop. I will chop every single one of you into oblivion. Choppy, 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 chop. doing in here. Get chopped. I want to be one of the rest. A guy that fades into the crowd. A man with a forgettable face. That you don't even remember his name. I strive so hard with my clothes to look really lame. So no one ever remembers or remembers my name. If you ever try to talk to me, I only conversate about the most boring things. 
So you never talk to me again. You forget me and I'll forget you. <laughs> Unremarkable. What base did I use for my weapon? A big honkin' space axe. That's what I use. The biggest honkinest space axe that ever spaced. Big old giant champion, champion axe. Gonna chop them up with my big champion axe. Gotta honk, honk in big old champion axe. At least I've remembered my champion axe. But I forgot my spoon. That sounds like a skill issue. What, because I forgot my champion axe? No, oh, because you forgot your spoon. Oh. Well, I remember my straw. Crazy grimy go for guts, chop them up with my axe. Gonna make a move to the max. Found the five open socket 13 ED. Is it ethereal? Is it ethereal? Because if it is, it would make a really excellent death. <sighs> I'd rule a death in that. That'd be fun. What's up, Black Magic? Welcome to the night shift. Or, actually, 50% of you voted graveyard shift, so... Welcome to the graveyard shift. Great big gobs of ugly, dugly, muggly puglies. Let's craft up some beer. All right, crafting time. Make sure I don't get in and ever get rid of any good jewels. Lost one Amazon, two resistances. Meh. Great. I'll drop it in a swampy, I guess. See, like, I got a 175 small right there. Special and small charm. I mean, when it comes to, um, charms, like, you can easily get, like, a lot of the... A lot of the lesser ones. Not too crazy. Plus one druid, 9% faster on walk, and 21% magic line. Decent little MF, Amy. faster run walk, 8% mana leech, life and mana, 36% cold res, and 10% damage take goes to mana. Let's craft up some 220 caster ammies. Let's craft up some 220 caster ammies. 
gonna get the round rules and put it in our cube and then when we craft it up we gonna make something new we got the 220 crafter amulets put them in the bank gonna make some crafter amulets and put them in the tank And the first one is Poopies. Second one is plus two masteries. Poopies. Jamella, I'm counting on you. So Ginger, um, since Microsoft's buying Activision and everything, you think they're gonna do anything with Diablo? I mean, that's the plan. Is eventually they're gonna like work everything in. They've already been trying to get like everything set up. I mean, they fired a bunch of people already. Not to say that's a good thing or anything, but I mean, it makes sense if you have all your own tech guys. You're not gonna want to have a bunch of like other tech guys it's just you don't need two people for the same job so they would they fire like 3,000 people Jesus that's a lot yeah they're, they're, you know, they're shaking they're shaking it up it's getting shaken shaking bacon they're gonna do anything to D2R I mean I don't see why they wouldn't And your act will be fine. Nah, Mario. It's Mario Maker. We need Diablo Maker. That's what we need. That's the solution. Diablo Maker. I'll be on here every day playing people's levels. You can send them to me. It'll be a whole thing. People will have like you'll have people that'll be making levels, and you have people that'll be playing them and beating them. I'll be on here like trying to beat people's levels all day long. It'll be my job in life. Well, I mean, all the way that would work, they'd have to have two tiers of it. Two tiers one of what? One for Mosaic Sins and one for everybody else. Mosaic Sins wouldn't be able to clear everything. I, I could, I could deal with, I could deal with Mosaic Sins immediately. I'll just put dolls all over the place. <laughs> you're talking, to, you're talking about like somebody has the ability to construct a level. Like, why wouldn't they deliberately make it so that it's very difficult for one of the easiest classes? And then they would just eliminate you directly from the the, the result. I mean, I, I, there's tons of ways that you can make things difficult for certain classes. Uh, anybody who's been playing the game for a prolonged period of time would be able to tell you like which which character types are difficult more you know more scared of certain types of monsters and so forth and so on. Mosaic sins are not very good against uh, dolls. They're very bad against dolls. There's a lot of characters that are very bad against dolls. Glooms too. There's a lot of characters that are really bad against glooms. Ghosts would also be very difficult for physical damage characters. I mean, if I could craft my own level... I'd come up with some crazy stuff, I'll tell you what. One thing I would like to see is the surprise visit from the butcher. That's one thing about D uh T four I did like. Yeah, it's Where you're in cool. the dungeon stuff. Okay, so I need uh, two more fall rounds. Two more jewels. Honestly, there's a couple champion modifiers which are pretty nasty. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have ever run into all the various champion modifiers that exist within the game, but some of them are absolutely calacious in the wrong hands. And and I don't just mean like, like, ow, that hurts. I mean like, we're talking like 400% increased damage for certain certain modifiers and on certain monsters that are obviously going to be more physical than others. Um, you could potentially make a monster that would straight up one-shot you. Like for instance, 
a mosaic sin is very powerful, but they also have basically no way to prevent damage incoming, with the exception of their little weapon block thing. So if they move for whatever reason, you know, they're, they're in danger. And on top of that, they could still get hit through their weapon block. If you can't freeze the monster, which Death Lords can't be frozen, I could make an entire pack of fanaticized uh, Death Lords or Berserker Death Lords, which are some of the champion modifiers. And since you can't freeze them and you wouldn't be able to kill them instantaneously and the damage that they output, they would probably absolutely destroy a mosaic sin teleporting into the pack. You would teleport in and you would never teleport out. That's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, that's kind of the whole thing about, like, a, a Diablo Maker kind of scenario is that you would want to strategize things and actually, like, figure stuff out. I mean, you wouldn't just jump into a pack and just get your butt handed to you. Um, Fanatic. It's called Fanatic. So Fanatic champions are extremely fast as they have 100% increased speed, um, and they have negative 70% defense. Berserkers can deal massive damage, their output is multiplied, as is their attack rating. I believe Berserkers are times four. Um, attributes, 270% enhanced damage, 270 attack rating, 270% attack rating, 75% enhanced hit points, and they're three levels higher than normal monsters. Uh, fanatics... Fanatics are... 90% enhanced damage, 60%, 7% enhanced attack rating, 300% enhanced hit points, uh, and they have 100% enhanced speed. So if you can imagine, like, what if I put a fanaticized and berserker champion pack together with a, fanatic, a, a fanaticism elite nearby? Like, they would, they would shred so fast, most players wouldn't even know what the hell was happening before they would end up dead on the floor. There's, there's ways that you can combine effects together to make things extremely challenging. And uh, it'd be interesting to see how the community puts together stuff like that. I mean, you're not wrong. And then your goal would be to overcome it. So you would have to go through the process of playing the levels. Now, the, the main thing that prevents you from just making a level that's unbeatable <coughs> is that you have to clear the level yourself before you're allowed to upload it. That's the main consideration. So if you cannot clear the level yourself, then it's not uploadable. A lot of um, authors in Mario Maker would get around this by cheating, and they would add like a shortcut in the level so that they could get through themselves, but it was a shortcut that only they could see, um, or that they knew existed. And um, like you would basically make the level impossible and then to have this little shortcut and then you would upload the level. And a lot of people got wise to it and they started looking for the shortcuts and they would end up finding them and just skipping through basically the entire level. Yeah, but then you're missing the whole point of playing. Well, I mean, that's how the developer, the, the person who built the level set it up though. That's how they set it up. So they uploaded yeah. it that way by bypassing the level, so when you bypass the level, you're just doing it the exact same way that the original creator did it. That's how he beat it to upload it in the first place. Which means that, and this is kind of important, is that the level might not be beatable. Like, unless you take the shortcut, you don't even really know if the level is actually beatable. It might not actually be beatable. Thirty-six AR, eighteen life, small charm. It's pretty nice. That's very nice, actually. That's worth some money, all set. Yeah, I leave you for now. All right, man. Boomstick. Yes, sir. Are you busy? I have a pair of gloves for you. Okay, so oh, I'm just running the TV. Uh, I don't see her. Yeah, right, six normal password. They better than what you gave me the other day, because he's here, dag of your god. Have your uh, corneas I, I, been I, I blown out? I think they were two tenths. The old ones. Yeah. These are two twenties. 
I thought you gave me a pair of D20s too. Did I? Okay. Did they get res on them? Like seven light or something? All right, we got a we got a TZ small charm. It's ninety <laughs> level ninety five. Let's go uh, let's go roll it and see if we can get our four fifty one small. <laughs> I'm gonna jump oh, no. down and talk to you. See, first see you guys later. Small. All right, see All right have a good. Beep beep beep. Come on, lucky duck. Quack quack. Oh, well, I got a 6% lightning res, 4% magic find, a small charm. It's not terrible, I guess. Do I actually need lightning res on this character? Do not. <laughs> oh, I never beat Diablo or fail with this paladin. Ugh. So you can't run TZs, you poor unfortunate soul. Nope. Oh, well. Oh, uh... What? So with this Diablo Maker, would you get the character that they beat the game with, or would you have, would you just bring your own character? Well, you couldn't do single player because single player would have too many like ways that you could cheat stuff. So I don't think that would work. Um, but what you what you would probably do is the online ladder character, their online ladder character at that particular time. Mm. I think if you did non ladder, I mean honestly, there's so many ridiculous. I mean you could do non ladder, and honestly that would give you an uh, a usefulness for essentially all the you know like equipment and stuff that's left over at the end of a ladder. So like you could make start making like your perfect character. Like your perfect non ladder character specifically for that purpose. It'd be interesting to kind of like utilize all that equipment that you gather from various ladders to create like the perfect character specifically for, you know, running the TZ or the, the, the Diablo Maker. I think it'd be neat. Yeah, I want to head to bed. All right, man. Y'all have a good. All right, we need two more. We need two more. Gamble in the amulets. Tankred's weird. I mean, that's kind of the goal, right? So a lot of people know that occasionally you'll come across these packs of monsters that are so ridiculously, you know, thick, like thick boy packs of thickliness. And, then, and like, the combination is, like, just the right combination of monsters that just absolutely demolishes you from existence. And, um, and that's kind of, like, the whole thing is... Is Mario or, or Diablo Maker would essentially be that. It would be you, you know, going up against other people's creations of, you know, like what what they can come up with in their mind of the existing the existing mechanics within the game. And I think that's the important thing here, is that it's literally just the existing mechanics of the game. You're just you're just putting things together in such a way that it's literally a nightmare for the per player who's going up against it. All these tank ambulance. I have to hang on to these for a, uh, a swampy and I'll just drop all these in there. I'll drop here to shing a walk. Well, that pretty much does it for charms and gems for me.
Chippy, 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 chippy. Socket on ethereal poopies. What are you guys hiding in this little uh, house for? Mm -hmm. That was like a whole family of monsters and I just walked into the house with the family of monsters and murdered them all. Oh, I forgot. I was going to talk about this and I totally forgot. Did you guys hear about the, uh, the ridiculous thing that happened at the CBI? Nope. So the CBI is basically where you get your uh, like DNA tests done and stuff like that for a lot of uh, like high profile cases and all sorts of other things. Like so, so if you're in a if you get a case like a I don't know like a murder trial or whatever, right? and they find you know like blood on the weapon, and it's like you know they're like ah. Oh, DNA evidence proves that, you know, you were the one that was, uh, was, the blood was on this weapon, you know, blah, 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 right? So apparently there's somebody who was apparently at the CBI who, I think his name was, her name was Woods or something like that. She's been there apparently for decades. I'm not even really sure exactly how long because the, the article goes back and it's like, it's talking about all the way as far as back as like 19 like 98 or something like that it's it's pretty pretty long time ago apparently she's been working for the cbi for a really long time and uh, according to the, the investigation she is under currently under investigation for basically fudging the results of the dna tests in a large number of cases like they said it was over 626 cases between like the certain years and they're also going back into her older files from before like the year 2008 and apparently they haven't even looked through all those yet but they think those may have been messed with as well which basically means that you because like i don't know if you guys know when it comes to like the uh the law but if you have something like that happen the result of a case suddenly becomes invalid like if you have somebody messing with the results like all of the cases basically get reopened at that point yeah it's going to be interesting um let me see if i can find it uh, it was a news article that i just recently pulled up ah here it is uh, the integrity of DNA testing in Colorado has been called into question following the revelations of misconduct by a longtime Colorado Bureau of Investigation scientist, CBI, Yvonne Missy Woods. The 29-year CBI employee retired under duress late last year amid allegations of cutting corners and tampering with DNA testing procedures. According to the agency's internal investigation, Woods omitted critical information from criminal justice records and manipulated DNA tests by altering, deleting, and omitting data. The, this misconduct has raised significant concerns about the reliability of her work, prompting CBI to take decisive action to address this issue. The discovery of Missy Woods' misconduct has put all of her work in question, stated CBI officials in a news release. While the review did not co uncover evidence of falsified DNA matches, it revealed significant deviations from standard testing protocols and failure to adhere to quality control measures. Uh, CBI has requested $7.5 million from state legislators. The funding will be allocated toward retesting approximately 3,000 DNA samples through third-party laboratories and compensating individuals who may have been wrongly convicted due to Woods' compromised work. So far, the agency has identified 
problems in 652 of Wood's cases spanning from 2008 to 2023. Additionally, a review of her work from 1994 to 2008 is underway, and the CBI emphasized that Woods violated both agencies' code of conduct and laboratory policies regarding data retention and quality control. It's, a, it's, it's kind of crazy when you think about it. Like, that. well, you know, number one, it's a case. Number two, you're kind of like relying on the DNA results either to A, exonerate you, or, you know, like if you're a um, prosecuting attorney or whatever, you're relying on the DNA results to basically win the case for you. And depending on what she was doing with these DNA results or how they were fudged in whatever direction or if they find out that she was deliberately manipulating the results. I mean, you could have people who don't belong in jail in jail. You could have people who belong in jail free. I mean, especially when you consider the fact that, um, you know, like let's say, for instance, a murderer murders somebody and she does the test wrong and it ends up being somebody else who's not the murderer then you have someone who's wrongly convicted in jail and then the murderer is free out there murdering more people <laughs> that's pretty bad yeah. that's 29 years of, uh, of potential like just horribleness I'm assuming at this point uh, doesn't at this point doesn't every single one of those people who had DNA results by her can't they pretty much just go for a mistrial at this point or <laughs> not a mistrial but maybe well they uh, get retested appeal, at least appeal at least yeah they would have to get retested first and then they could get their appeal if the DNA results were different mm -hmm. that's a lot of freaking work for a uh, for like the legal system. Well, I'd be so mad. <laughs> that DNA test was wrong. <laughs> Could you imagine what's going to happen is if that person has like Russian or Chinese heritage? <laughs> Conspiracy theorists are going to go crazy. What? I just got a Rizan scheme. <laughs> I mean, it's honestly it all sounds really crazy to me. I mean, you would you would think and you would hope that any kind of DNA test like that would be. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, at that point, if you have one person doing it, how many more were fudging the results just to be fudging the results? Mm. There's a crime show. Uh, a while ago where they were trying to track down this serial killer and it turns out one of the people who worked in the uh, manufacturing plant where they made the cotton swabs for the DNA tests uh, her DNA was getting on to the cotton swabs and so like she got convicted or she got like accused of murdering all these people um and it turns out it was just her being sloppy at work. <laughs> you, yeah. <laughs> you manufacture the tests. That literally, whether they. <laughs> Man. That's a whole new level of stupid there. Yeah. Where am I from, Ginger? Uh, I am from uh, Virginia in the United States. I am a Virginian. if I'm in that situation and I need to get a DNA test, I'm not going to trust the state to do it. Seems like you might also, you, you might always want to do that, like, whenever you get in a situation like that, where you're doing a DNA test on something, you'd be like, you'd be like, I'd like to have it DNA tested by a third party laboratory, please. Maybe even get a, maybe even get a second, just in case. Yeah, because that's the thing, those aren't Necessary always uh, done 
Washington State Labs. I mean, I'm assuming that that's basically what's going on here, is that that was the state lab, and that a lot of these were probably only tested in the state lab, and so that's why things went wrong. So, I mean, I don't know how much DNA tests cost, but... How much does Ancestry cost? <laughs> probably about the same, right? Yeah, and then... And tuple it for government contracts. I remember this one where the guy almost got convicted because the uh, DNA result was like 95% a match. It was close enough that they were considering that it was it was within the margin of error or whatever. Come to find out, it was his son, and I guess his son and his father basically had like almost identical DNA. Only, only marginally off by like a 5% difference. And they ended up, I think, testing his son and it was a 100% match. Crazy. Yeah, there's that whole thing too where like, uh, fingerprints aren't as diverse as we once thought. So like you share fingerprints with like a handful of people on the planet. Same thing with your exact DNA. Damn, the pack of Erdar is fucking ripping me to shreds. Strawberry! I will chop you! Didn't I change the title on Twitch? I did change the title on Twitch. Didn't I? Yeah, Night Shift Livestream. See? Night Shift Livestream. It says it right there, my friend. We're on a Night Shift. I, uh, I work Night Shift, but I'm not working Night Shift tonight. I'm working Night Shift tomorrow night, though. So... I won't be on tomorrow. Well, you know how it is with night shifts. Like, you can't really, like, you can't really flip back and forth between them like that. So I'll just play this one tonight, night shift, and then I'll, I'll switch back to the day shift after my night shift, and we'll continue from there. But I'm not gonna switch, like, because I had a night shift yesterday and a night shift tomorrow, so I'm not gonna change this one to a day shift and just like screw my schedule all up. So I'm on the bench. Too tired. I get like really, really freaking sleepy. I'll sleep all day. It's not my fault. You get jet lagged going back and forth between two different shifts like that all the time. It's, it's rough. I can't stand night shifts because you can't ever get nothing good to eat. You want to go somewhere and get something to eat, like a restaurant or a, or a fast food place? Or, like, no, no. About the only places that are open are Wawa and 7-Eleven. That's about it. And maybe a 24-hour Walmart if those still exist. I think they've pretty much done away with all the 24-hour Walmarts. I think they realized it was a bad idea. I don't have any around here anymore. A wrist blade. A blade of wristliness. God, I 
love this build. This, this build may not be the most crazy, like, meta build that ever existed. And yeah, my AoE damage is a little rough. But... Big honking space axe. That's all I got to say. Big honking space axe. Look at how quickly I just, like, murder most of these monsters. It's like one, maybe two shots, everything's good. Boom. I just one shot that Urba. He didn't even stand a chance, poor guy. Must have high rolled. And then the charging around with the big giant axe just feels so great. Choppy, 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 chop, choppy, 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 chop, 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 chop. Since I'm already here. Stop cursing me. Cody show up in two seconds. Cody, do you want to cheese it? Cody, want chums it? Cody, he wants the chums it. You want this chums it? Is it the smell good? What's it smell like? What's it smell? Smell it? Does it got a good sniff? Got a good cheese smell in there? Do you want this? Yes. He said, thumbs are good. He said, you got some more. He wants another one of these. Right there. Take that. We'll get that. We got the third one. We got another one. But this time you got to see it. The set. Oh, that's a good set. <laughs> What's up, Orby Ledraw? Alright. You want this one? You got to go get it. Are you ready? Ready? Go. It's going pretty good. Having fun on my little night ship stream. We're only six hours into the ship. Looks like I got two hours to go. Then I'm going to go downstairs and get something to eat. Chop it, chop it, chop it, chop, 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 chop it. Oh no, he weakened me. It does nothing. I am not scared of your weakened. Choppy, 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 choppy. Poor Grand Pfizer of Chaos. I still can't believe that guy died to Grand Visor Chaos. Ooh. Plus four minimum damage, eight all resistances, Jewel. Huh. Shimmering Jewel of Joyfulness. It's only level 12. I am overburdened. Choppy, 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 chop. Hey, hey, Orby LeDraw with the 86 viewers. Hype train incoming. Where's a hype train? A hype train just started on my channel. Freaking hell yeah. If you guys have never participated in a hype train before, let me fill you in. Hype trains have really cool emotes that you can get as long as you participate in the hype train. To participate in the hype train, all you have to do is donate like one bit or whatever the minimum bits are, or give like a sub or something like that. And when the hype train is finished, everybody who participates in the hype train gets access to those emotes permanently. And there's some pretty cool ones. I think I have like 
two of those or three of those hype train emotes, I think. I can't remember how many hype trains. Oh yeah, I got this hype train, this one, this one, this one, this one. These are the hype train emotes that I currently have access to. Those are, I got the I got the hype yum, the hype eyes, the hype sleep, hype ears, hype popcorn, and hype awe. A <laughs> big shout out to Orby the Draw for giving me a raid. I really appreciate it. Let me uh, I'm gonna link your your channel in my YouTube chat as well. Here, hold on. There we go. How do I pull up your channel? Where is that? There we go. If you guys want to check out Orby the Draw, let's see what Orby the Draw was streaming before he came over here. He was streaming some Diablo 2 as well. Yes, he was. Who are we doing? G Rush runs? Man, Akira Toriyama. I, oh, you got Akira Toriyama in there. Akira dying was sad. That's very sad. That was very sad. Let's see here. Yeah. I want to get uh, in on the hype train. I like getting the hype train emotes. <laughs> Hype train I'm gonna get on. A, I'm gonna get in on my own hype train emotes. Bye. Where's my gift subs? I'm gonna gift some subs. Gift subs. There we go. Wah 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 wah. I hit the button. Haha, -ha. now I'm in on the hype train. So I can get my own hype train emotes. <laughs> uh, by the way, if you sub to the channel, I do have uh, no ads. I do have that checkbox ticked. I like that checkbox. I wish I could do that on YouTube. They don't have that on YouTube. I'm hoping that they eventually add that as an option for YouTube. But for those of you who are on Twitch, I can set it up so that if you are a member, you get no ads. So if you want to use your Prime sub or whatever, like you can get no ads and you don't have to worry about it. Just my gift to you for supporting the channel. Alright, so it looks like Andre got a sub, Dragonitis, Dragontus, Anantius, Buckshot Barbie. <laughs> That's a good name. I like that name. And Texan. Congratulations, guys. How to join GGM Big Dog? Ow, 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 ow. I looked away. That's okay. He spawned right on my head. That's what you say, Kubus? You want to say hello to Mr. Kubus the monster dog? Come here, buddy. Come on. This is Kubus the monster dog. Him's the monster. See, him's got big giant head, and he's got big monster teeth, cause he's a monster. And the goes like this, and the goes, he goes. Raw, 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 raw. I can get you, can bite you like this. Is that don't bite nobody? That's lying. <laughs> he's freaking huge, though. Look at how big he is. His head's bigger than my head. I don't even understand. He he weighs like a hundred pounds. Fatso, chonky boy, monster. You know about some cheese it's though. You know all about some cheese it's. You know all about them cheese it's though. He's like, give me that, give me that cheese it. Monster. 
<laughs> Get down, monster dog. It's heavy. <laughs> uh, if you want to join the kinship, it's actually really easy. You just hop on the Discord, and uh, there's a special set of rules for the kinship. And you agree to the rules, and you let one of the captains know, and we add you manually. It's pretty easy. There's not much of a vetting process. You pretty much just agree to the rules, and you're in. There's no automated way to join, though, so you have to be manually added. I think that's the, the main way that we kind of keep out, like, just anybody from joining. Watch this magic trick. Provided I don't immediately die from the magic trick. <laughs> ah, I'm so cold. He's so cold. Give my body back. Mess you up. <laughs> Two shot you, Lord Deceus. Man, he spawned right on my head, too. That was rude. That's how you die in hardcore. Freaking Lord DC spawns right on your head, and you just fall straight down. Yoink. Oh, I, I typed in exclamation point kinship instead of exclamation point discord. My bad. I got a bot set up in here for you guys so that you can pull up anything you need to whenever you want to. It's got like all the, the rune words programmed in. It's got the uh, socket quest programmed in and whatnot. So basically at any time if you want to, you can type in things like socket weapon... Uh, uh, upgrade armor to um, etc 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 and there's like basically they're just it's just easier than having to pull them up on the website every single time because you don't remember them all uh, some things like breath of the dying are abbreviated so instead of uh, breath of the dying it's BOTD or um What's another one that's usually abbreviated? I can't remember all of them. Only the really long names are abbreviated. Everything that's a short name is usually not abbreviated. Jesus. Oh, I didn't see the other elite in here. No wonder. This is the only character I've ever played that I can one-shot myself on. I can straight up just one-shot myself. I'm not exactly sure that's anything to brag about, to be, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. <laughs> but I can indeed one-shot myself, and I think it's hilarious. Like, put it on my resume. Like, what special skills do you have? Well, I can, I can one-shot myself in Diablo 2. Like what what do you mean you can one shot yourself? I mean I can I can just I can kill myself. One shot myself out of a out of out of the world. How do you do that? See if I can do it. You guys ready? I'm going to try and one shot myself. Ah, shaking too much. Alright, first we, we uh, convert a monster. Uh, once we convert a monster, we wait for the monster to convert back. And then we hit him in the face with our Thorn Zora up and we can one shot ourselves. Come here, come here, come here. Stop running away. Why are you having all crack here today? Ah, dang it. I missed it. He's running around too much. Sit still so I can one-shot myself. 
I said sit still. That's not sitting still. That's just being a crackhead. Ah. Stupid crackhead little demon freaking infector of food face. Try is it's because infector of souls is always extra fast, that's why. That's okay. We can use a lesser monster to one shot ourselves. It doesn't have to be infected with souls. Let's go to Frigid Highlands and one shot ourselves. Come here, Thorny Hulk. Mr. Thorny Hulkliness. Convert, 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 convert. All right, now we have a Thorny Hulk. Now we just gotta swing at him when he converts back. Yeah, <laughs> almost, almost, almost. Not quite. I did about 75% of my HP. Not quite the full, the full amount. <laughs> Almost did it. <laughs> choppy, 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 chop. I'm gonna get this stuck in your head. Chop, 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 choppy, chop, chop, choppy, choppy, chop, 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 choppy, chop, chop, choppy, chop, chop. Choppy, 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 chop. I'm failing miserably at one-shotting myself. I promised you a one-shot, and I'm not delivering. Know as a fan of nineties techno, I don't know, it just works really good. Chop, choppy, chop, 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 choppy, 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 chop. Choppy, 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 chop. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're gonna do it this time. We're gonna do it. We're gonna one shot ourselves. We can do it. No. Come here. Come here. I want to beat myself in the face. We could do it. We could do it. Oh, dear Lord Jesus. Really close. Really close. 81 HP left, or 76 before I started regenerating. Almost one-shot myself. Just, just shy. Just shy of the one-shot. <laughs> I don't know why I take such perverse pleasure in the ability to one-shot myself. It's not something I should be proud of. <laughs> By the way, extra toasty Cheez-Its are fire. These things are delicious. They are absolutely my favorite Cheez-Its. I need some I need some uh, some hands up in the air from you guys who also like extra toasty Cheez-Its. Extra toasty Cheez-Its are the way, the life, the sun. Not here. I don't even know what I was eating before I ate extra toasty Cheez-Its, because they are literally the best Cheez-Its. Bar none. 
They are absolutely delicious. Basically, what extra toasty Cheez-Its are, which is kind of hilarious, is a long time ago, you used to get sometimes in the Cheez-It box, like the regular Cheez-It box, there'd be that like one or two extra Cheez-Its that would be like extra cooked. Like you could tell they spent a little bit of extra time underneath the heat lamp before they made, <laughs> they made it into the box. And they were so good. And so people started emailing the uh, company and was like, uh, we really like the extra toasty ones. Can you just make like a whole box of the extra toasty ones? <laughs> oh, towels armor. Hell yeah, boys. Nothing like a little towels armor in the morning to wake you up. And we got a Rezot's Keen earlier, too. Blink. If we want to look like Barney the Dinosaur, we got our armor. Barney the Dinosaur. Got a Falrun. I can go down here with the other Falrun. Nice little towels plate from the TZ. That's always a good find. What is this build? This is the two-handed vengeance honking space axe paladin build. It's uh, it's a pretty beastly build. I got a video up on it on my YouTube channel if you want to take a look at it. I've got two really unique builds builds this season. First is the uh, the two-handed vengeance paladin. That's the uh, that's this one, which I go over in detail. The two-handed vengeance paladin. Cody, did you just come over here to wipe your jowl meats on me, sir? He said, well, I heard you had some chomzits. And I wanted some. Um, and then the other uh, really unique build I've got this season is my Fire Necromancer, which is really nice. The Fire Necromancer has proved to be... Uh, let's just call him the Pyromancer, which is pretty darn cool. Uh, the Pyromancer is honestly insanely good. I was actually surprised at just how well he turned out. Probably um, one of the best Necro builds I've made in a while. I would even go for so far as to say that it's a meta build, which I don't usually go for meta builds, but it very easily could be considered a meta build. Chop, choppy, chop, 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 choppy, 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 chop, choppy, 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 chop. Poor monsters don't even stand a chance with this paladin. He's so ridiculous. The amount of damage that this paladin puts out is just, it's insane. I know it says 13k on this board, but you might as well just double that to like 26,000 per swing. Because it's probably around like 26,000 damage per swing. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty nuts. That's why most of the monsters don't even take one hit to kill, because I literally just swing once and they're just immediately dead. What Boazon build would I recommend for a starter in Hardcore? Uh, Freezing Arrow, without a doubt, is the safest build you could probably make. Freezing Arrow is one of the most powerful like starter builds for, well, mm. It is a little, actually, it's a little bit difficult to start because it's a level 30 skill. But once you get to level 30, it's it, it just dominates. The crowd control on Freezing Arrow is absolutely insane. I missed an F Cryptic Sword? Where, where, where? Where is this F Cryptic Sword? Um, it's, it, the crowd control on it is absolutely Im insane. Two socket, non F poopies. Um, if you've never played a Freezing Arrows on, Freezing Arrows ons are like kind of ridiculous um, in terms of crowd control because they freeze everything. Uh, then on top, on top of that, they also have really nice AOE damage, and they can basically freeze entire rooms and shatter them, which is insane. Uh, you also don't have to worry about any monsters respawning or reviving because, well, guess what? They're dead, shattered into a million pieces on the ground. Um, I've got a build on that one somewhere. My my freezing arrows on. Um, let me see here. I'm pretty sure I got that one in here as well. Yeah, that's right here. That's my freezing arrow Amazon. Honestly, 
extremely powerful build, um, even early on, like very, very powerful uh, because of the just the crowd control. Um, you can obviously dual spec it really easy because it's only like a 40 point investment. So um, it's one of the easier builds to, uh, to dual spec. You can dual spec at Lightning um, Fury. You can dual spec it into uh, Fire, which is actually a pretty easy way to get through the game. Uh, because you run fire on one side and lightning on the other, and then you get a uh, a wizard draw early on, which is pretty easy to farm. You wanna, you actually probably want to deliberately farm yourself a wizard draw if you're running a freezing arrows on. And then, um, honestly, once you get the wizard draw, you're pretty much set. Um, you can reroll zones if you get cold immunes. It's not too difficult. And um, you can use a little bit of guided arrow for some of those cold immunes as well. Certainly doesn't hurt. The um, the fire ice spec is probably the easiest to go through the game on. Or you could do the fire lightning spec. Both of those are pretty good for like early starters if you don't have a cold sunder. Once you get a cold sunder and a wizard draw though, you're pretty much set. And you can usually kill most monsters including cold immunes with no... No problem whatsoever. I'm not sure exactly how you're going to be setting your character up, so maybe you're online, maybe you can get your hands on a cold sunder, maybe you're not online, and maybe you can't get your hands on a cold sunder, I don't know, so. Is anybody trying to put together a towel set for their sorcerers? I just found that towel's armor. I let somebody have it. They're trying to set up really powerful wolves. Yeah, they do do cold damage. You'd probably be better off with a, um, a Mang Song stuff for the kind of Um, you could get yourself a, uh, a Mang Songs for the plus five skills, and then you could run the, uh, the negative 15% cold res, and then grab the 5%, um, facet in there. And that'd probably be a pretty good way for you to roll that. Because then you'd still get plus five skills for your summons, and you would also get the negative cold res for the spirit wolves. And you could maybe even like toss in some hurricane so you could get some more cold damage that way as well. Get like a nice helmet with like plus three hurricane on it just so you can spam that in between. Speaking of Mang Songs, that's what my Fire Necro is using. Are you on online or are you on single player road? Because if you're online, you can usually just trade for a Mang Song. Uh, they're pretty cheap. Nobody, nobody really wants them. So, except for me, <laughs> I like Mang songs. That's a nice uh, FN X. Those are great for deaths. Let's go show off the fire necro. I've had enough fun with this guy. My little honking space axe paladin. Let's check out the fire necro. You're online on Nintendo Switch. Hmm. Well, you should be able to get one then. I have a Nintendo Switch. I can always broker a trade for you if you need to. Uh, I got PC and Nintendo Switch. Uh, chop. <laughs> Poor guy. He didn't even know it was coming. 
He came up. He he was he was opening up his bow. He was about to fire that shot. He was like, I gotta aim good. He should have just fired. He would at least got one shot off. Can't believe we just found a towels on this guy. He doesn't even have that much magic on. I usually use him for farming bases. He's more of a base farmer than he is a, uh, like a magic finder. Let's see what Mang Songs are going for right now. Let's take a look on Tradery. Oh, oh, that's not the right one. This one. I will blind all your little virgin eyes. Mang Song. Mang Song's lesson. And you need a 15% cold. So let's look for a minimum 15 cold. And you're looking on uh, what? Two, two, two. Where's the platform? There's a platform option on here, right? Either really doesn't matter. So there we go. We've got a 15 right there. 15 cold mang songs. We got another 15 cold mang songs. Another one. Another one. Another one. There's one right there for a mal rune. That's not bad at all. That one's been posted for a day. Got several of the 15 ones up here. If you're not picky and you don't necessarily want to get a specifically a 15 cold, um, we've got two, 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 two. there's a seven for two ist runes. Uh, there's a 14 cold right there that was posted four hours ago. Um, that was not bad at all. Wonder what he wants for that one. Hmm. Anyway, if you want this one, that's a pretty good one right there. I would offer him like an Istrun or something. See if he takes it. If you got yourself an Istrun, or if you don't got an Ist, offer him a Mal. See if he takes a Mal. That's a pretty decent one for, for a cheap, cheap do-jank. Yeah, there's a lot of Mang Songs up here. I shot you. I shot a link for it. If you want to give it a try, if he uh, if he bites on it and he wants to to trade, uh, he's on PC. I can go grab it for you, and then uh, I can I can come get the uh, the rune from you as well. I have uh, I got my Nintendo Switch right here, so I can just boot it up, and we can we can I can broker the trade for you. It's not useless, actually. Turns out, um, Mang Songs is actually best in slot for Nova Sorceresses. Uh, Mang Songs is actually BIS for Fire Druids. And, uh, actually, it's BIS for my Pyromancer. Turns out, Mang Songs is actually a lot more powerful than people gave it credit for. They just didn't re-evaluate it when Sunder Charms released is what the problem was. So once Sunder Charms came out, it changed the equation and it made negative res a lot more powerful than it was before. And they also don't consider the fact that it has plus five skills along with the negative res, which is one of the biggest issues when it comes to uh, a lot of the negative res items is that they don't have any skills. So Crescent Moon, while it's amazing, has no plus to skills. Um, you know, like Phoenix, while it's amazing, has no plus to skills. Uh, there's tons of negative res items, but most of the negative res items have no plus to skills. Mang Songs is the only one that has plus five to skills and negative res, which makes it a very effective option for skill-based characters. A lot more effective than people ever gave it credit for. Boop. Mm. To you. I believe some of the more uh, rare rolls, like the 15, 15, 15, and like the ethereal versions, are usually a lot more costly. So, 
Yeah, I, I I haven't really tried to ever get a hold of one of the what I would consider one of the more high value units. Um, not really sure what I would consider high value, but like uh, like a fifteen all res or negative fifteen all res. That one would probably be really powerful. Need some help. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, oh yeah, I was gonna check my cube. Why is my cube so full? <laughs> I was like, I was trying to see what, why the hell my cube was full, and I totally just forgot to even take a look Good in there. I was like, why the hell? Cube's got like a whole bunch of crap in here. It's got amp proc. Oh, that's about that. Colossus girdle of garbage. Got a lummy lumber in here. Jimmy, 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 Jims, Jim, Jimmy, Jim, 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 Jimmy, 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 Jim, Jimmy, 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 Jim, Jimmy, 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 Jim, Cody, Cody, I'll see your big snoot. You just, all you want is Cheez-Its. That's your whole life. You're made out of Cheez-Its. You're 90% Cheez-It. He said so. He said that's not, that's nothing wrong with that. He knows he's not supposed to take it unless I tell him yes. If I say yes, he knows it's okay. He said, that's it? You're just going to give me one? He said, that's a tease, is what that is. He said, that's a tease. Yes. You want another one? Okay. He already had pre-authorization. <laughs> he said, yes, I had pre-authorization. Will you back up a little bit and quit drooling on me? That's grody. That's, that's just, that's grody, sir. Gotta, gotta get the drool rag out. Here, let me wipe it up at the source. Let me, let me wipe it up at the source. Get all the drool all your jail meats. <laughs> there. Monster dog. Dog of monsterness. He said, what do you think that's stopping? I got drool for days, sir. You can't, I can't run me out of drool. Monster dog farts. Oh, trust me. When them monster dog farts hit, everybody knows. You guys can even smell them all over the camera. That's how bad they are. What's better out of the two? Plague, three open socket, F, or mythical? I think mythical is the best one, personally. Uh, my, my personal choice is mythical. Um, if we pull them up on the page... Swalds. I'll show you the differences between them. So here's your here's your choices right here, right? So Phase Blade has an average damage of 33. It's pretty terrible. It's the worst out of the lot. If you're making it for a mercenary, um, you don't want to use Phase Blade anyway because Phase Blades don't come ethereal, and you can't use it for a, a mercenary. So kind of a really bad choice for a mercenary in general is the phase blade, especially since the Merc can hit the maximum breakpoint without this. But phase blades are really fast, so do keep that in mind. So if you're trying to hit a breakpoint, like a really fast breakpoint, it could be helpful. Um, so on a player, phase blade might be a good choice for your, your uh, plague. On a mercenary, pretty much never choose the phase blade because it's just a bad choice. Um, the Mythical Sword has a really nice average damage of 45, which is the same average damage as the Conquest Sword. So they're both kind of like neck and neck. The Cryptic Sword has worse average damage, but it does have a much higher top end, which means it hits harder. Um, it's also slightly faster than the Conquest and the Mythical Sword. But when it comes to the Mercenary, the Mercenary doesn't care about speed. The Mercenary only cares about damage. So in general, when you're talking about the Barb Merc, you really want to choose an Eth Conquest or an Eth Mythical Sword. I do like the 
damage range on the mythical sword better than I like the damage range on the conquest. It's further apart. The mythical sword hits harder more often, and the conquest sword hits soft sometimes and also sometimes hard. I, I don't really like the really low minimum damage on the cryptic sword either. It's it's a little rough. Um, but all in all, I mean, when you're talking about like plague phase blade, pa plague phase but phase blade is mainly for players. Like if you're, you know, like a paladin or something and you're trying to use it for yourself. Um, conquest or mythical if you're doing it on a merc. Um, and honestly, if you if you have an Eth cryptic sword laying around, it's not a bad choice, but I think I would still prefer Eth conquest or Eth mythical. Hope that helps you out a little bit. Now I'm on the fire necromancer. The necromancer of fire. Oh, Pindle's got fanaticism. Armor, boobies. Mm, 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 mm. How come I'm using mages? I thought they were too weak. I mean, I'm using them. That doesn't mean I'm like relying on them or anything. My main damage doesn't come from the mages. They're just there. Yes. They're they're just there. They're there. Oh, did I get like all poison mages? That's a terrible freaking roll with the mages too. I don't have darkwood waypoint. Yeah, the frosty ones do prevent corpses. You're right. You can de-summon them. Though. So if you don't like the frosty ones, you can always just remove them from existence. You just use this little bad boy right here called unsummon, and you can just go. Boop. <laughs> Boop. 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 I don't need 18 poison mages. Stupid little poison mages. The lightning and the fire ones are honestly the best ones for the mages. All the rest of them kind of suck. I mean, if you want to get that anal about it, you can sit there and you can uh, you can micromanage your mages to hell and back. You can just sit there and keep unsummoning, for instance, the cold mages every single time you get cold mages, and until you get like a full army of exactly the kind that you want. It uh, it's a little bit annoying, but it's it's doable. Personally, though, I'm not really too worried about it. They have no other purpose other than just to be extra damage for me. I'm not really worried about how much damage they're doing or whether they're useful or whether they're even alive or dead, to be perfectly honest, because they're not there for any other reason other than just because I can. I mainly... My, my damage mainly comes from the Fire Golem as well as the Revives themselves. Um, the Revives, the Skeletons, and the Fire Golem. As well as Corpse Explosion, which is certainly not bad. Oh wow, two full, two full juvies from that big boy. I'll take them. I'll take those full juvies, son. Take that mana potion, too. I suck down mana like crazy. You unsummoned your Iron Golem? Oh man. Now that's rough. 
Hopefully he wasn't made out of something too good. <laughs> that wasn't an infinity iron golem, was it? like when my golem dies either. I mean, it's not as bad as a freaking iron golem dying, but my fire golem costs way too much mana to cast, and I get, it's really annoying. He currently costs 418 mana to cast, which is the majority of my mana pool, and he's level 47, which I can still get him a little bit higher. It's just going to take me some time. But 418 mana is a lot. <laughs> I don't like having to resummon him. He needs to stay alive. His stupid, his stupid dumb butt needs to stay alive. Shot extra strong. Ooh, save me, minions. I don't even want to go over there. Okay, he's dead. Multi shot extra strong bill rats will murder you. Murder. Ooh, a conquest sword. Three socket, not a fury. Oh yeah, that's the other thing about the mythical sword, which makes it such a good choice, is it only goes to three sockets. So you can just take it to light. Oh, that's an interesting little helmet. Three socket superior spirit mask with plus three summon grizzly. What would you put in that delirium? You put delirium in there, right? So you could get plus plus five. That would turn into a plus five Grizzly Helm, plus four Volcano, or plus, well, three Volcano, plus three Hunger. That's, the Hunger's kind of nice, too, because that's free. You don't have to go through both of the trees to get it. It's actually pretty neat. Gives you the free Hunger ability. Yeah, Ethereal is definitely better. Oh yeah, speaking of which, somebody recently was telling me about an option for my Merc, which I, I didn't actually consider at first, but I think it might actually be a halfway decent choice. Uh, I was saying that I might want to make a Hustle Sword for my, for my Mercenary. My Mercenary is kind of like the linchpin of my army. He gives me this massive level 43 enchant. And I would lose three levels of my enchants, uh, which is unfortunate, down to level 40. But I could potentially put a Hustle Sword on him and gain level 1 fanaticism. Which sounds kind of interesting, actually, because when I teleport my entire army, that my entire army would have fanaticism. So I could get a pretty nice damage bump for my Telestomps, which doesn't sound terrible, actually. Check that blue TR. Guess I just need to find a 3 socket Crystal Sword. 30% magic five tiara of luck. I keep my eyes open for a three socket crystal and we'll make it. I don't think he can wear that uh, conquest sword that dropped on the ground earlier. I think that's too high level for him, but we can check it. Let's see, can he wear it? You can wear the Conquest Sword. Okay, well, we can do the Conquest Sword then. That sounds good. I'll put that to good use. I didn't think he could wear the Conquest Sword, to be perfectly honest. Alright, what do we need for uh, Hustle? Hustle's what? Shale? Co-Eld? 
Jail co -eld, yeah. There we go. Now we got a hustle sword for him. I'll keep his uh I'll keep his hex fire in case I want to swap back. I did lose my Tome of Town Portal, it's somewhere. I don't know where the hell it went. I must have threw it away. Good day. Cody, I don't know what you're licking it and in there or eating, but it sounds disgusting. <laughs> Alright, so now we've got fanaticism on teleport. Let's see how this works out. Did we already clear Darkwood? Darkwood's not exactly the best place to test out tele stomping, but. You know what? Let's go test it on Griswold. That's a good. That's a good option. They, uh, we can go. We can go test it on a really tough, like high HP monster, and see how well it works. Out. Of course, these aren't exactly really good uh, revives, but they will do. Let's see if we can grab some slightly better ones in Stony Field. I shave my privates on the side like a Viking land strip too. Yes. 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 <laughs> this is how I always cut my hair, Kevin. <laughs> Dang it. And thank you for the fifty dollars. I really appreciate it. Get back here. There he is, Griswold himself. Wow, he just got wrecked. Poor Grizzy. Grizzy, bo pizzy, bo lizzy. That's right, his real name is Lizzy. Lizzy Borden with a knife. Wow. Full smart. Ah, uh, it doesn't have any enhanced damage on it. Unfortunate. GGM Sugar Daddy. <laughs> Alright, which nipple do you want to see? That's a trick question, because I only have one nipple. The other one was cut off in the war. I had three nipples. I was like, which nipple? Like left nipple, right nipple, or middle nipple? <laughs> or slightly off-centered jankity nipple. Where you at, little, little punk? Come back here. <laughs> I want to shave Cody. I'm gonna shave him bald. Have a, I'll have a bald Cody with the monster note. You guys can see all his neck meats. He's got like eight pounds of neck meat. Probably looks disgusting, like some sort of hairless mole rat. That's right, I said it. Hairless mole rat. What you gonna do, man? I bet you if I give you, I bet you if I give you a cheese, it you'll let me shave you bald. <laughs> One cheese it and I get to shave you bald. If you accept this cheese it, you accept the bald shaving. <laughs> oh, shaving the dog bald. He accepted. You saw a verbal contract. He's 
said, this is over. He said, do I get another one? That's the only one. He said, this, can I get a bonus if I was the goodest? There you go. There's two more. Now you've been overpaid. <laughs> and you're dripping on me again. I literally just wiped you off. Drippy boy. There's some good. It's like dripping down my arm over here. This is grody. This is grody tacular. Grotacular. That's what that is. Grotacular. Why you be? Why you be grotacular? Grotaculous. Grotaculando. Grotaculamondus. Grotacular Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. <laughs> Go grow grow taculazoid. Yeah, grow taculazoid. Go go Power Rangers. The order welcomes you. I was watching Kill Tony comedy. This guy threw a boob nipple. Tried doing my hair like yours, but go thin hair and looked homeless. <laughs> Oh man, that's terrible. You don't want to look homeless. Then they won't give you any jobs and stuff. <laughs> uh, my hair is actually like uh my hair is actually after this guy from uh from Peaky Blinders. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the Peaky Blinders. But there's Thomas 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 Shelby. And then there's the other Shelby, which is uh what's his name? Uh blah, 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 blah. I can't remember those, uh, was it? Why can I not remember their names? Shelby Brothers. It's the other Shelby brother. Thomas Shelby and Arthur Shelby. Yeah, Arthur Shelby. Wait, no, that's... Is Arthur Shelby the father? That's not, no. We want the, we want the junior Arthur Shelby. Not the father Arthur Shelby. He's got the he's got the 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 slick back and the uh, uh, here it is right here. See, he's got the he's got the hair going back like this, and he's got it shaved on the sides. I stole it from him. I stole it. My girlfriend was the one that came up with the idea. I actually kind of liked it. Not gonna lie. Every now and then in the show, you see him uh, like with his hair all messed up, like his hair is kind of like down. Like this one right here. Yeah, it's kind of a bad picture, but like, see, he just kind of has it like slicked back. Of course, he's using like a ma uh, what is that called? A pomade. He's using like a pomade for that to get his hair to slick back. I just got my tie back with like a ponytail. <laughs> God, freaking fire golem takes so much mana. I gotta cast it in town. And then I gotta go refill my mana at Akara, otherwise I literally won't have enough mana to friends. <laughs> yeah, Arthur and John, that's it. Yeah, I can come give you a hand. Okay, I'll come give you a hand. What's your uh PM me a game the game name, I'll come I'll come kill him. Let me switch over to the EU real quick. Boop. My name is from Power Rangers. What do you want, Boobus? Do you want a finger up your nose? about that? Come here. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Let me put a finger up your nose. Come here. You just want my Cheez-Its. That's all you want. You just want my Cheez-Its. Well, guess what? You can't have them all. He's like, wait till you leave the room. I'll steal them from you. <laughs> he said, I'll steal them from you when you leave the room. Power Rangers! Dear Lord Jesus, buddy, you just be globbing all over me with that freaking slobber. I'm gonna have to take a shower when I go downstairs just to clean myself off from all the dog slobbums. Shh. 
Shake and Bake? Shake and Bake wants to join the kinship? Alright, Shake and Bake. Go to your butt stinks. How about that? You got some stanky butt. I said it. And I meant it. Can I play right handed? What? Right handed black seeds? What is that? Is that a skull collector? Nah, it's a Mang Songs. DM'd me the game name. All right. I don't see any DMs, sir. I see nothing. Twenty seconds to launch rather than the typical two seconds. Yeah. Oh, you sent me a DM on Twitch. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. I never thought about that. DMs on Twitch. You smart people and your big brains. Your biggish brains. <coughs> Red right hand black seeds. What is that? Cody, quit crying your eyeballs out. You probably gotta go Peppas, don't you? You gotta go Peppas? No. Look at you. You didn't even jump up or nothing. You just jealous. Because I got Chomsits and you don't got Chomsits. What if I take a big old handful of Chomsits like this? A big old handful of Chomsits. And then I just chuck them like that. And then you gotta go find them. Wah, wah, wah. I want wah, wah. How may I be of help? I want wah, 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 wah. Wow. Like Archon staff on the druid. It's pretty powerful. Yeah. It's never going to be better than an Insight Wrath of the Dying, though. <laughs> Alright, now we go get the Erdars. I'm going to go get some Erdars real quick before we go kill. What's, what's his face? The Erdars are the key to killing uh, Uber, Uber Diablo extremely fast. Go down the palace and see if I can find him real quick. Yeah, here we go. That's what we're looking for. Alright, let's try not to look like complete knobs. Certainly don't hate a little bit of magic here. I wonder how good that'll work on Uber Diablo. He does have pretty high magic resistance. That might not work very well. Now that I think about it. It's okay. We got some Erdars. It'll be enough. Just go ahead and get our 20 pack. And let's go murder his face in.
Dang it, I still didn't get a TP book, did I? <laughs> Dang nabbies. Okay, we has the Erdars. So much prep for the Pyromancer. Yes, yes, there is prep for the Pyromancer. Ask and learn. Alright, let's go teleport on his head, murder. He killed my Merc in like one hit. Poor guy. Unfortunately, my fire golem can't withstand the fire damage from uh, freaking Diablo, which is hilarious. I don't know exactly why that is, but he just he freezes and he gets stuck and he literally just dies. Poor little poor little uh, fire mage can't handle it either. Poor guy. I don't have a full pack of Erdars, so this is going to go kind of slow, unfortunately. Congratulations! Did I not put points into the other golem talents? No, I didn't. Honestly, he doesn't have any trouble surviving versus anything other than Uber Diablo. For the most part, he stays alive for everything, so. It's really uh, due to the fact that he's supposed to be absorbing fire, but he doesn't because he's also immune to fire, which doesn't make any sense. So he doesn't take any fire damage. Um, yeah. What'd you roll? 202010, let's go. Oof. <laughs> Holy Jesus. Wah, 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 wah. Anybody else need help with their Uber de bibbly boobala bali below? Yeah, that was a really bad roll on the Annie. It really was. It's <laughs> extremely bad. <laughs> Cody, do you gotta go Peppa do this? And Cody has to go Peppa do this. We'll take a quick break here real quick. I'm going to take Cody out to go to the bathroom because he's a big monster dog and he has to go Dukas. He's got to go Pukas Dukas. Dukas a Pukas. I'll be right back. If I had conjoined twin that was dumb, that would be cool. Two-headed ogre. <laughs> it does kind of look like uh, one of the ogres from like freaking... Kevin, you just blowing me up with money today. I really appreciate it, man. What's that like? Oh, Two hundred dollars so far, man. That's freaking sick. I guess I can afford to give Cody some more Cheez-Its.
Hey, Joy, if you could have a sugar daddy, you would too. Be like, uh, what do you mean? I don't got to work for the rest of my life? <laughs> you mean I can just, I can just be your, like you can just be my sugar daddy? You wish. Wait, I'm on European server, aren't I? Boo! Boo! Boo, European server, boo! Boo! Going back to my server. And I still can't figure out why the Mang songs look silver sometimes, and sometimes it looks gold. Yeah, I figured it out, I am. It's a freaking sexy looking staff, though, I tell you that much. Yeah, uh, Hellfire is the unofficial expansion created by Sierra Entertainment. Uh, speechless. So when um, when they released that game, it was an unofficial expansion. It wasn't really like official or anything. The um, the game is very much so a Sierra game too. Like if you've ever played a Sierra title, very very Sierra. Uh, FR Martin, am I going back to Diablo 4? I will eventually, um, like, when Season 4 comes around, but I think I'm pretty much done with Diablo until the next season hits. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I like I like Diablo 4, but uh, I just... I think I'm done for the season. Next season. Ugh, Cody just farted. <coughs> Cody, that is rantankerous. Why you do me like that? I literally just took you out to go to the bathroom. You could have you could have farted while you were outside. You held that just so you could come in here and just giggle when you farted, didn't you? God dang. Them dog farts linger too. Them things be just hanging in the air like like a like a wafting feather. <laughs> Cody, stop! You better go over to the other side of the house if you're going to fart like that. Fart on the other side of the house. You ain't getting another cheese at neither. Them things are gross. With that honking space nose that you got on your face, I know you know you farted too. There ain't not a single part of that bright face that doesn't know you farted. You took one little tiny micro breath and you immediately knew it was a toot. Even the chinchillas are crying over there. What kind of dog? He's a big monster dog. We don't exactly know what breed he is. I'm not, I'm not really sure, to be perfectly honest. He's, um... What do you call it? Uh, mix. He's a mixed breed. He's definitely got like uh, some characteristics of like a Labrador in him. Like he has the the webbed toes, which is apparently a Labrador thing. He kind of resembles a pit bull a little bit, a mastiff. Um, I don't I really don't know. He seems more like a mastiff than he looks like anything else. He's huge too, about 100 pounds. Seems to be still growing too. Unfortunately. Just keeps getting bigger every single day. Foul. Jank be smelling like he just something rotten. Something rotten under there. <laughs> I 
Cody's playing with the chinchillas right now. What am I using in the helm slot? I'm using uh, flickering flame, just in a winged helm. It doesn't really matter all that much. I made it for my mercenary at first, and then I swapped it over to my head at some point. I can't remember. Ooh, skill strike. I like those. Trying to refresh my army while I have the uh, skill shrine on. All the uh, the minions spawn at a higher level if you respawn them while you have the skill shrine. Got no cannot be frozen, cause I don't really care. I have no cannot be frozen, cause I hang in the back over here, and I let my minions do all the work, and I go and I freaking twerk. Gonna, 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 gonna twerk. <laughs> gonna, 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 gonna work. this fanaticism. It's kind of neat. It seems to make a big difference when I tell these Tom stuff. I mean, level one fanaticism isn't the most amazing thing in the world, but I guess spread across an entire pack of uh, monsters like this, it certainly doesn't uh, doesn't hurt either. the whole two seconds. Ooh, nice. I Colossus. Wow. Worst rare item I've ever seen. Hey. Colossus crossbows are always worth 35k. Every single time, pretty much. I don't have any. I don't have any teleport scrolls to go sell it. I don't have any scrolls to go take it back to town anyway. What's up, ghosty boys? Ghosty boys gonna make some noise. Cudgel. That is the Dark Clan Crusher, and it's not worth taking back to town. The darkest of clan crushes. A crusher so dark and so dark and planny. Ooh, extra fast. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Hey, thank you for the follow, guys. Champion Pit Viper, down ye go. I guess they're really good at good feel, and I should probably go kill Diablo or something. I feel like that's a good, a good, uh, good bet for this particular character. Terrible. And I want these guys. Come on, Abominables, let's go. You can join my army of the undead. Jawbone visor. Garbage. Ooh, champions. Get wrecked, champions. So many elites and champions down here. It's kind of insane. God dang. All right. I still don't got a. <laughs> I still don't have my Book of Town portal. You know, it's almost as if I should probably buy that. You learn. Ow. That did not feel good. Oh yeah, Drifter Cavern is pretty nice. I should probably farm Drifter Cavern for a while. I'd like to go kill one of the bosses or something to test out this fanaticism, but... Honestly, Drifter Catford is amazing. Hello. Book scrolls. I did it, guys. I did it. I remembered. I remembered as smart. As really smart. <laughs> he 
he showed up the second that package crinkled. The second that package crinkled, he showed up. <laughs> You're a fatty. I'm going to make you do the truffle shuffle. Do the truffle shuffle. Do the truffle shuffle. He said no. A war hat. They always be giving me garbage. I want the good stuff. I don't want the garbage stuff. What's up, Beast Mode? I've only been streaming for like seven hours. Only seven hours. And thanks to Kevin, I've made 200, 200 bucks. Freaking Kevin. I will explode all your corpses and I do not care. Come back here and let me explode your corpses. One by one. One by one, I'll explode all your corpses, son, and I don't care about nothing you got to say. Immune to physical and immune to cold and dead. And I'm gonna take all your corpses from my army. I hope you don't mind. Check that Grimwalm, see if it's got my skills on it. Two sockets. Mm -hmm. It's worth 35k in the bank. I'm looking for uh, plus three summoning skills, plus three fire golem. That's what I've been looking for for a while. If anybody has a plus three summoning skills, plus three fire golem wand, or plus three summoning skills, plus three fire golem head, um, I'm looking for both of those. I'm looking for both. Looking for all the sexy blue wands with fire, gold, and the summoning skills. And when I find all the sexy blue wands, I'm going to use them to summon my golem at 5,772,865 million mana cost. No, seriously, my fire golem keeps going up in mana cost, like, insanely. It's already, like, 418 mana, and with some more plus the skills, it's just going to go up even more. I might hit 500 mana, like, just to summon my golem. Like, 500 mana just to summon one golem. I'm getting there. 
you can be part of history and help me hit the highest amount of mana to summon a golem that any man has ever summoned. The current mana cost on my fire golem is 418 with my current plus skills. 418 gold mana. So many golems, all them mana. Look at all the cost of my golem mana. For those of you who are who don't know why the fire golem costs so much mana, I can explain it to you. So the fire golem used to be used to um, TK people from inside of town. <laughs> I was one of the people using it back in the day. Basically, what you could do is you could literally just spam the fire golem over and over and over again from inside of town. And every single time the fire golem appears and every single time the fire golem dies, a explosion happens, which is unrelated to the holy fire, by the way. The holy fire is an additional fire damage. Um, and so what you could do is you could basically just spam your fire golem at the edge of town, at somebody who was standing at the edge of town, like camping the doorway. And you could PK people from inside of town with your fire golem. And, uh... <laughs> I took great pleasure, by the way, in PKing people with the fire golem. Um, for those of you who are unaware exactly what would happen back in the old days of, of, of PvP, what, what would happen is, is you would end up with a, um, a sorceress. Usually it was a sorceress who would go to town uh, and stand right at the entrance with, like, maxed out Thunderstorm, and then they would just sit there, and they would wait for you to come out. And, of course, as soon as you would walk outside, the thunderstorm would hit you and you would instantly die. Or you might be able to take one or two of them and then you would die. But but it was pretty much a recipe for death. Well, when the sorceress would stand outside like that and, like, you know, just basically almost go AFK you know, outside of town, letting people walk out and kill themselves on the thunderstorm... I would take go get my necro, I would come back and spam the fire golem next to them until they would die, and then I would walk outside and laugh at them and take their gold in their ear. And uh, and I thought it was hilarious. But apparently the developers didn't think it was hilarious because they raised the cost of the fire golem to like freaking ridiculous proportions so that you couldn't spam the fire golem anymore and kill people from inside of town. Ruining my fun. They did deserve it. They did. They totally deserved it. They deserved it. It was probably a developer that I killed using that method. That's probably what it was. I probably killed a dev. And they were like, oh, we're putting an end to this. Bunch of moon death lord moon lords down there. Moon fang the cold. Where's all the free frost damage coming from? Something I revived? Killing all my corpses. I don't like it.
Get him, get him, get him. The Death Lords. They're so freaking boss. Well, this is what it looks like. You guys might not like peak performance, but this is what peak performance looks like, my boys. This is peak performance. That's right. A full army of fanaticized, enchanted Death Lords. <laughs> What's up, PB? Sabil? Yo, yo, yo. Cruel Greater Talons of Thunder, two eighteen. How did you get fanaticism? Hustle sword. Beautiful moon lords. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna go kill something while my moon lords are still activated. Let's go murder Shank and Eldritch real quick. Gotta check that dust round, see if it's a, a J mob. Oh god, that's spicy. I don't like this. There's too many spear cats. Way too many spear cats. I'm gonna get the spear cats for my own purposes. How do you deal with spear cats as a necromancer? You add them to your army. Man, I can't believe you're still on. I didn't expect you to still be here. I told you, night shift stream. Night shift. Night shift. Oh, Actually, it's it's already sent me a while. No, I said you would think on Twitch. Uh. I said I was gonna be back at 15. Uh, what game you in? Oh, I'm in uh, GGM2. I was doing uh, IC or Glacial Trail. I just finished it, though, so I'm going to go to 3. I had a bunch of Death Lords, though, so I had to go murder Shank real quick and Eldritch with them. That was funny. I like Death Lords. Death Lords are my favorite. Alright, let's go to 3. I found a Tal's armor earlier. Nice. <laughs> Some random monster in like a dark wood TZ. It's a uh, soft core, Sora. I don't do hardcore. I can't focus well enough. My brain doesn't work that way. I have one of those ADHD broken brains. It doesn't. It's not a very good brain. 
I should probably trade it in for a better, a better model, to be perfectly honest, but they don't give good trade-in credit. And... <laughs> they said my brain wasn't worth anything. Same. Reminds me of this time my dad went to go trade in his battery at the, uh, like, advanced auto parts. Because you know how they give you, like, a certain amount of money back for your battery when you trade it in? And they were like, all right, that'll be, we owe you $32. I'm like, what? They'd be like, yeah, your battery was so good that the trade-in value was worth more than the battery you're buying. We owe you $32. <laughs> I'm like, What? We owe you money. Alright, Pendle, we'll die. Nobody like you. Yeah, I got raided earlier by, uh, uh, what was his name? Orby LeDraw. He raided me with 86 viewers. Pretty exciting. Nice. And then Kevin showed up and dropped like $250 on the stream. Damn, big Kev with the $250. Big Kev. He's doing pretty good today. <laughs> Snakes hurt. Heavy gloves. Not terrible, actually. Plus two passives with 20% increased attack speed and uh Not bad, not bad. A really bad cold rupture on the ground over there. Uh, ah yeah, I'm good. They're not trading for anything no more. They're not, they're all they're all petered out. Yeah. Good to know. I won't hang on to them unless they're like perfect ones, though. Yeah, you might get away with like a 71, but for the most part, it's just all the Dude, the, when I have a bunch of the uh, like the Yetis or the or the the whatever they're called, the the brutes, it looks absolutely <laughs> disturbing. Like the pack. <laughs> Look, look at this grotesque thing. Look at it. <laughs> you what look is, like Cousin It. Bro. What is that exactly? <laughs> so I theory crafted the, uh, the poison zon. I'm not sure if you saw that. I haven't yet. It was pretty neat. It's, uh, it worked. It actually worked surprisingly well. Now I just need... All facets everywhere. Yeah, now I just need to get a hold of, you know, an entire inventory full of 451 smalls, you know, no big deal, no big deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, simple, super simple. Super simple. <laughs> Not like the second most expensive small charm in the game or anything. Well, I think they were so expensive, we were looking it up, they, they actually can't roll, like you can't get them as a drop. They have to, they have to be re-rolled, they're re-roll only or something. That's why they're so expensive. So the uh, the other ones that are not, you know, 450 ones are probably a lot easier to come by since they can actually drop. Yeah, but you don't see anybody filling inventories with 451 anymore. That's why the 320s are more expensive. Yeah, it worked pretty good. I did it. I tried it. I did it. It was actually very powerful. Let me just say that, like, when I fired my bow. In P1, everything within range that got tagged by the shot died. Like, it was just one shot. All I had to do was just tag you once and you were dead. And in P8, it took, uh, you know, like, took a little while longer, but it still also killed everything. I could, like, go into P1 cows and just fire off multi shots in basically all directions, and all the cows would just fall down on their own. It was pretty good. I mean, good luck ever putting that together and online, but 
I don't think I would ever try to do that. I, I figure realistically it might be like one or two 451 smalls, and then everything else would be like, you know, 250s. Uh, like one, 200 smalls, like maybe nah, like you'd, some you'd 150s. you be able to get the 313s pretty easily. To be maybe honest. some, yeah, some 313s. Like, it'd be a mix of everything. Like, everything I could get my hands on. Because I need a lot of them, so it would be a mix of everything. Were you have a problem with the attack rating? No, I only have the 4,000 attack rating, and it didn't matter because I could just fire off multi-shot and... I just fired it off a couple more times and everything would almost always get hit. It didn't even matter. Even like things like Diablo, I just fired off a couple multi-shots and I was fine. I probably could have just used Guided Arrow for Diablo as well. That way I didn't even have to worry about attack rating for him. Uh, yeah, for sure. You could have done that. Which I didn't do, and I still killed him. <laughs> and without minions interrupting your damage. It was actually kind of crazy. So in P1, I did the I did the like the dual plague Marmer. He was completely useless in P1. He couldn't even get to a monster before the monster would die from poison damage. <laughs> like he couldn't even run over there fast enough. But in P8, he was actually quite useful. I'm like your one of your minions that has a minion. Just teleport with me. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm in the herd. <laughs> random fireballs. Random fireballs out of the herd. I already have random fireballs coming out of my herd because my other minion. No, you have fire bolts, right? Fire bolt and fireball. Do they I got shoot both. Fireball? Yeah, they got fireballs. Oh yeah, your merc shoots fireball. Two thousand seven hundred and seventy-seven. Mine does a little more damage than that. Oh yeah, way more. Okay, I think that's clear. Oh wait, no, there's still something down here we missed. Yeah, I got on a little hot streak there for a little while. I found a Tals, and then I found, like, a, a, a Foul Rune, and then I found, like, another Rune, and uh, I found, like, a, found, a, found a some other little things. I mean, nothing too fancy, but it was, like, all of a sudden stuff, stuff started dropping. I Trav at all. <laughs> Trav is a pretty good place to farm. Uh, it's like a game was just like, you've been in Trav for way too long, so you're just never going to find anything oh, unless no. you're in Trav. Oh no, my, oh no, my arachnids, it's down to one defense, or one durability, no, 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 my arachnids, my beautiful ethereal arachnids. When it shatters, I shall cry. Go to the stash, Jim. <laughs> what do you got? Kind of, it's just the arachnids laying around. Maybe. Maybe. Might have found it while I was farming trap. Nah, it's impossible. When it's TZ, it did well. It doesn't happen ever when oh. I'm around. Oh, look at that beautiful thing. It doesn't have 198 defense like mine. Yeah. But it won't break like yours. <laughs> Your arachnid's mesh won't break like yours. Wait, my my arachnid's mesh won't break like yours. Yours looks like a cheap Fisher Price toy. No, yours is a cheap Fisher Price toy. <laughs> That's why you only got to use it for four days. Hey, it's been good for the couple days that I've had it. <laughs> I'm gonna wear it till it breaks. And then you oh, know what? Yeah. Then you know what I'm gonna do with it? I'm gonna drop the broken one in in uh, the, the next swappy, swappy game. game. <laughs> <laughs> You're a savage. That's so rude. <sighs> Every single person is gonna, gonna pick, pick it up. Like, oh, they are. Right. They <laughs> are too. They are. Oh, it's so wrong. Uh, 
feel you too so can late. join the kinship and be trolled by us. Facts. I mean, every time we call out, uh, I found a perfect sunder, you're going to have to be leery. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. All because of the first ladder where everybody was like, 90 is perfect. 90 is perfect. It's a perfect one. Is it perfect? Is it 90? Yes, bro. Yes, here. Do you want it? I'll trade it for you for a lower. How about that? You know what? I'll no, trade I'm it not. To you for you your know what? 70. You know what? That? I'm I'm not letting it go for anything less than a burr and a 70. All right. I need at least a minimum roll on top of this to make it worth my while. You got to replace my sunder with a minimum roll. So I figured out what happens when I get rich on ladder. I wow. make a character, I play it for two days, and then I give it to somebody who's also playing that character. <laughs> <laughs> I did it with the bows on. I gave it to Envious. I was like, oh, Envious is playing a physical bows on, huh? Oh, well. I might have some things for you, man. Start showing off your physical bows on. You're like, well, my physical bows on is kind of faithful. Ha ha ha. And, oh, no, uh, I, I sold Faithful for a lot. I know you Faithful. sold two of them. I know. <laughs> I mean, if you roll for a really low, good low faith, price I mean. of two jaws and two ohms, I made ten burr runes. It was very nice. Well, it was five burr, five jaw. But, yeah, either way. I need to get myself a bramble. I want to... I kind of want to add some, uh... Some, well, I need to add... Well, no, not on this character, but... On my pally, I wanna, I wanna swap over to the Act Three Merc on my pally. Yeah, you're looking at the next raffle character, by the way. Babe. Oh, your fire, fireball sark. Yeah. Fireball sark's pretty nice. <coughs> you got a towels to add to that yet? Uh, towels, towels, towels armor. Right now. I mean towels armor. Yeah, I'm rocking three-piece tiles right now. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I could add it in. I don't know how I'm going to do that if I'm going to put the Phoenix in and do, like, the full damage setup. Or if I'm going to do the tiles three-piece with the almost perfect spirit shield. What's up, Hot Wheels? Well, thank you, sir. I'm glad you like my contents. I'm glad you like to watch me play Diablo. Holy Jesus, that's spicy. It's all good. I'll just drop some meteors over there. It'll be fine. Oh, those are hydras. Whatever. Hydras There's a lot of stuff over here. I'm just resin. The mite aura in here, too. I don't know where the mite aura is coming from. Open my hydra to fight stuff off screen. <laughs> off screen hydra mode activate. Why do I got a low quality Shaco in my inventory? <laughs> the hell? That's what you get for not having slash no pickup. I know. I started running always on, like, or toggle, so that, I, I, I don't know, I, th I thought about it one day, and I'm like, I'm sure people want to see what's on the ground that are watching the stream, so, it's not necessarily for me, but it's for you guys, so you guys can actually see what's on the ground without me having to press the button. Yeah, well then you, you know, you don't get to ID some of the good loot sometimes, because you're full of randomness. I know. Like, hey, what is this? Cracked huh? dust shroud I've been holding on. I'm pretty, forever. I'm pretty fast with picking up items. I come from the days of of uh, freaking picket bots and, and all sorts of other stuff, and you didn't, you didn't have to run a picket bot yourself, but you needed some fast fingers. <laughs> you just needed to be really fast. When I'm playing with a group, I usually let other people pick stuff up. But as soon as I feel like hoarding the items for myself, they'll be like, dang, Ginger, I didn't even hit the ground. Yeah, usually when we're doing big runs, I'm usually one of the high damage output people, so I don't even look at the, on the 
ground. Like that's I'll a, I'll toggle every now and then. That's a nice for one. For the most part, I'm just like eleven uh, percent sapphire. I'm gonna grab that. I replaced one of my five percenters. Nice. Is that it? I think that's it. Uh, oh, there's an area over here. No, that's just the doorway. Huh, of course. Okay. Yeah. Oh, one ghosty. Can drop it. Three urns. Precious urns. Ooh, has a champion snake over here. A Jared stone. Holy crap, look at the lightning damage on that thing. Why how, Why the freaking orbs get such high lightning damage numbers? Because they want you to whack stuff with it. I mean, like, there's got to be a build in that. If we, like, find some sort of really sick, like, orb... We gotta, we gotta like make a, a sorceress around it. Like, uh, like if we find like a dual leech, it have to be a dream sword. Dual right? leech, like, ITD, like freaking like three, because like you can roll three elemental damage rolls on there, so it's got like seven hundred lightning, seven hundred fire, and like seven hundred cold. And then uh, I don't know, like you could get freaking all sorts of crazy stuff on those stupid staves and wands, and that doesn't even make any sense. It does not. Wands too. Like I've seen some crazy wands, like wands that would that literally are so good that even as a melee character, you are tempted to put them on. <laughs> You're like, hold on, how much elemental damage is that? Dual leech, freaking ITD, freaking fool's mod. Like what the? We're gonna put meteor back on because I want things to go. Blue. Drop some general grievances. But apparently my merc died. I had no idea. That was a war fist on the ground over here. A rare war fist. Ethereal, ethereal grievances with faster run, walk, dexterity, cold res, poison res, and poison length reduction. Not enough mana. Alright, let's go. Those war fists suck, by the way. Ugh, Cody just farted again. Cody, why does it smell like you just pooed yourself? I don't even understand. Like, he literally farts and it just, like, straight up, you just be looking around the house, like, for a turd. <laughs> All those cheeses you be feeding. I mean, I just started that today. He hadn't had time to digest those yet. Just ran into like six dead ends right there. That was terrible. <laughs> uh, play just a pair. uh, yeah. The, uh, oh, outer steps. Outer steps is pretty good. Let's go to outer steps. If there's no, uh, <laughs> sorry, my eyes are watering. <laughs> if there's no glooms in the other place, damn, that shit was <laughs> spicy, huh? <laughs> it's terrible. It's so bad. Even with the shirt, it's still getting me. Cody! My nose is all clogged up now. I'm surprised it didn't clear your uh, nostrils. Full sinus clear. <laughs> Don't laugh. It can happen to you too. This one's bad. It's lingering. Either that or he just keeps refreshing it. Like poison damage. I am much weaker out here. All these darn fire demons. Is it gone? <laughs> God, my eyes are literally watering. This is terrible. Oh! 
What's up, Blue Beluga? You were watching my Reveal playthrough. That game it was really, really fun. I was very, much very surprised with that game. I liked it a lot. If you guys haven't checked out the Reveal gameplay, it was only four hours um, for the whole game, which was kind of short, actually. Um, I don't know why it was so short. It was a very good game, though. Very good. Freaking, like, it was one of those games that, like, straight up mind freaks you, like, to the point where you think things are one way and it, like, turns out to be something completely different. Yeah, I, like, feel like I do way less damage. Yeah, these monsters are all, like, fire immune out here. It's pretty rough. Yeah, but then I hit someone with a meteor and things just go boom. Like, boof. Well, meteor's part... Well, doesn't it, doesn't, I'm trying to remember. It's burning damage, and then it's also impact damage, and then... I don't know. Are there any Gloams up here? We got Let's Doomcasters. Nope. Corpulence. No oh, nice. I like Planes of Despair better anyway. When there's no Gloams. Yeah, we got a nice super unique. Wait, is he still here? Oh yeah, let me um, let me link the Reveal playthrough if you guys want to check it out later. I thought it was a really fun uh, fun stream. Let's go get a giant mob. <laughs> oh 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 yeah! Oh, I found him. Oh, beautiful. There we go. That's the playthrough right there for the Reveal game. I got a really cool comment on there from that video, too. Somebody was like, um, they said, normally we put on your streams when we're playing our games so that, um, you know, we have something to watch in the background while we're both playing our games. She's talking about her and her husband. And then she said, halfway through your reveal stream, we realized that neither one of us was watching, we're playing our games anymore, and we were both watching the stream. Mm. I thought that was pretty cool. It really was that kind of game, too. Like, you get freaking sucked into the story. And you can tell this is not as good for us, because the fire damage is not as good here. Oh, okay, I'll be right back. I mean, it's okay. We're clearing it. It's not like we're not clearing it, but... Oh, but I, I could just make that all change in two seconds. Pop, 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 pop. I just hop on the Barbarian and give your all your minions my fanaticism and become dead. <laughs> <laughs> you got a you beast know. axe? Oh, my Barbarian is just otherworldly right now. My mark is rocking two last wishes. At level 34, my aura. Two last wishes. Yeah. Bobby Billions. Literally Bobby Billions. Where's your uh, Superior Ogre Mall? Six socket Superior Ogre Mall. Not as. <laughs> Where's your uh, submarine yacht, Bezos? <laughs> I ain't got one of those yet. I'm working on it. That'll be what happens when I get the tiara for the bows on. Jack it up a 40 feet. Yacht. Purpulents are such weird monsters. My whirlwind damage is crazy. Dual last wishes, I would think so. What's that, like 100% CB? Uh, for him, yeah. Uh, he's got 66 and 65. But with your enchant, I'm at 5k whirlwind. <laughs> 
5k attack rating? No. No, what's your attack rating? Uh, 11k. <laughs> An L rune, boys. And I can't even calculate the damage with the grief. No, it's hard to calculate the grief damage. So, like, my grief hand is doing 3k, my beast hand is doing 5k. I like one tap this stuff. You put in, you got the, the beast in the offhand for the increased damage. Yeah, I got it in the offhand for the fanaticism for sure. Like I wanted to have might and fanaticism, and the only way I could do that was either with an act one mark and me holding one last wish, or get a humongous might aura from an act five mark. It'd be interesting to. I guess Build I could have like got Concentrate, a, too, and worn the I was going to say that. Act two might it'd, be, it'd be interesting to see what a Concentrate, like, Barbarian would go like with that. Like, Grief main hand, <coughs> Beast off hand, and then, like, Might Merc. You'd hit pretty dang hard, that's for sure. I already hit pretty dang hard. That's sweet. But Concentrate gives you, like, massive defense bonuses. Pretty much invincible at that point. Yeah, it's the what can't be staggered or stunned or uninterruptible attacks, whatever it is. Oh, is there more to clear over here? Yeah, we do. Unless you clear it. From over here. When you got to the part with the wife blindfolded walking around, then she ate your face when you turned around. I saw it coming, but still freaked you out. <laughs> Dude, she's really creepy looking. She's really creepy looking, right? And I don't know why my wife looks like that. And I don't know why she, why, why he was like, Is that you, honey? I'd be like, nah, that ain't her. Like, she, she looked like a, she came out of a Stephen King It book. Like, what the... That is not your wife, okay? It's like, honey, why are you wearing a blindfold? Like, boy. Let's just watch your minions kill stuff. Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
heaviest of booties. And the booties are booties. Storm blazers. Most yeah. yeah, honestly, it seems like if you want to find tri rests, you're better off farming like normal difficulty bale or something. Cows. Yeah, cows. Like it's it's it feels like the tri reses are low level boots. They're not they're not high level boots. The high level mods actually just interfere with them and make them worse. Yep. Because like if you want a pair of like faster hit recovery tri res faster run walk boots, they almost always inevitably end up being like level twenty nine. Which is kind of crazy. That makes no sense to me, but... But that's where you find... 120 the res, faster run walk, and faster hit recovery. Those could be on level 29 boots. No problem. Yeah, I just had an interesting idea. So you know how when you re-roll a, um, a rare item, the rare item always goes down to the base eye level of the item that it's capable of being. Does that mean that you could potentially re-roll tri -reses if you re-rolled, say, like, I don't know, like a nightmare item that has, like, a level 30 eye level? Probably. You just take a pair of boots and just re-roll it with skulls and see if you can get tri -reses that way? I mean... I think that's pretty much it for this one. I don't see why that wouldn't be the case, or why that wouldn't be possible. I mean, it, you'd first you'd need to find a rare, or you could imbue them. You just imbue them. That would work too. Just find the the right eye level item and imbue it. Yeah, what well, would you want? Woods, probably. I don't know. Um, does what are Ariet, silk sweet, silk sweet mesh boots? Does Ariat Summit have the eye level of of, uh, of items, or does that not have the eye level listed? I have. Idea. It has the level requirement, but I don't know if the level requirement and the eye level are the same thing. Oh yeah, here's 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 the guys here. Oh, I can't link the year. It's right here. Electrify. Who's electrify? Electrify the year. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got squ I got uh, I got chugs here earlier. I was kind of excited about that. He's level ninety nine. <laughs> Oh, it's a little 99 dueler pally. I smoted him with Oh, my, yeah, on your smiter, I right? I smoted him with my North Star. <laughs> yeah. It's the best thing about smiters in PvP. They always got a chance to beat you. Always and forever. Oh, he set up really good, too. He's not using a Grief. He'd probably <laughs> be better off with a Grief in PvP, but... GM. Yeah, I think, I think Grief is bad manners. Um, well, Astreon's is bad manners, too, so... Astreon's also has grief damage, and it also has slows target, with a pair, which apparently both are bad banners. Yeah, too much slows target is BM. <laughs> Astreon Unless comes, you're a whirlwind bar. Astreon ahead, comes with all of it. So my, so, so my spins hit you more. Go ahead. I dare you. I double dare you. I don't think that worked anymore. I thought the way they changed it, it changed, it changed the way that it worked now. So now it actually does affect the speed of your attacks. Maybe it does. But I'd still rather be moving slower through the targets. That's why I don't mind getting through. Like when Holy Freeze happens, I'm like, oh yeah, she's about to die real fast. Because I get to hit the same target multiple times instead of speeding through the whole pack. All the tri reses he's found. Somebody at TV Viper said all the tri reses he found have been sub 30. Really? Oh, we got a got a, a gold wrap from uh, from Pindley Pindley. Fifty-five percent gold wrap. I don't really think you get sponsored here. Why don't you consider playing PD at? What's PD at? PD two. I'm not really a big fan of PD two to be honest. But I feel like they changed the game too much. I I don't I don't know. Oh my gosh, that's an Astrions. Nice. Where'd you find that at, you little hacker? A 372? With 284 ED? Where's Astrons? Oh, it's right here. I no believe. I no believe. 
Peaks right there. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. A lot of people who want those these days. I'll raffle it. Or I'll make my own North Star Smiter. The northiest of starriest. And then just raffle the whole thing off. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good idea. We probably should do that. Raffle off an entire North Star Smiter. Yeah, there's enough of them. There's going to be lots of people in it. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. We got the first piece. I'm sure I got a G face somewhere. It's mainly plus the skills, so Arachnid Smash. We need Goblin Toes. Those are pretty easy to come by. Um, we need a Principal Armor, which is just a Gull Rune. I mean, that's like nothing. Um, a Haas. I think that's probably the only other piece that's actually kind of expensive. Uh, plus the uh, skill helmet, you can do Shaco works. You can do um, a plus two circlet, uh, plus three combat skills. There's a lot of op options for the helmet, actually. Oh yeah, that's right. You want the goblin to instead of the helmet. Well, it, it basically gave me the ability to add more plus the skills. Yeah. That way I just sacrificed a little bit of run walk. Which didn't really matter because I basically just charge everywhere with that build anyway. Yeah. It's, it's, and it's you don't even have to worry about run walk on that character. You just you literally just put an insight on your Merc and you do like the triple regen so you don't have to worry about your health ever going down. And then you just charge everywhere with your infinite mana pool. Of despair. Oh gloms, gloms. Yeah, I don't have the lightning res for Gloms, unfortunately. I got 5% lightning res. I will die. Oh, I broke my good weapon. I gotta run away. The only bad part about being an axe wielding barbarian. How are you breaking your beast if it's on your offhand? I were one. Oh, yeah. That would explain it. Yep. I thought you were berserk. Ah, uh, I do both, especially in Trev. An axe of Fekmar. What do you? I find the axe of Fekmar, and you find the Astrion's Iron Wolf. <laughs> I don't think that's fair. Uh, that's plenty fair. They're both probably equally as rare at this part in the game. I found a Rizot's Keen earlier at the same time as I found my Tal uh, uh armor. I was like, I was like a Rizot's Keen and a Tal's armor? <laughs> Two items that are like equally as rare at this point in the game. Ha 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 Teleport on your head. Teleport on your head. Oh, I found Izzy. Oh, I found Gloams. I found Gloams. I'm bringing Izzy to you. Oh, I found him. Oh, he died real fast. <laughs> uh, we probably don't need a pair. We probably got a pair lying around, so. Ooh, Gloamies. Hey, Blackheart with this sub. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Blackheart underscore Scarecrow Scarecrow 66. Keep the vicious cycle alive. I remember one time I PK'd this guy. Very similar reasons to what you were talking about earlier. I can't remember what season it was. I think it was four. Like, the guy, like, would not stop doing something in our game, and I kept telling him to stop, and he wouldn't stop. And so then I went and got my high-level character and PK'd him. And then he cried about it. Why would you PK me, man? I was just doing stuff. Yeah, but we want to do that stuff. We're just not there yet. And we don't want to make a new game. How about you go do it in your own game? No, I want to mooch off of your game. One of my favorite things about this area is that a lot of these little areas are impenetrable from any attack whatsoever. Like these little, these little, like, gulches or whatever you want to call them. Like, you can't shoot lightning across these. So whenever you're fighting Gloams in these areas, if you pay attention to these little these little areas, like um, like these right here, 
you can use this little area and the clones will be on the other side and they can't hit you because attacks can't cross these little these little gulches. It's weird. Yeah, bring the bring the gloves over here. Like here's a, here's a little gulch right here. They they literally can't hit you across this. Uh, let's see. There's another gulch. Here you go. Look. See. See the the gloom literally firing at me and the lightning just dis this disappears right here. These these little areas are not. You can't you can't use any attacks across them. There's quite a few of them in in this area. Like a lot of them, actually. And you can always use them to your advantage. You just gotta pay attention to them and realize where they are. They work really well against the Glooms too, because the Glooms try to shoot at you anyway, even though they can't shoot across the gap. Because they don't realize that it's a inaccessible zone or whatever. I don't know. A wall? It doesn't look like a wall. Or you can spin as fast as possible right into their face. I don't like doing that. That's an extra answer. Hopefully they die. I mean, I can hit I them with my Mang Song. I mean, you could. Right? We go plunk. I just res all the gloomies. How about that? Oh no. I mean, yeah, Malora Resnick rents her. Lightning's good. See? Res. Then they turn white. No, they get the aura under them. That's how I know they're friendly. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, bank on that. It might just be an elite pack with Auras. That's true. Oh, like, oh yeah, those are the mighty fanaticized ones that are on my team. Oh God! It burned so bad! Take my glooms down here and murder some more steps. Poor Corpulent. Get wrecked. Ort rune. And orty bo -borty. Oh, Everything's dead over there. You done killed it all, didn't you? You done killed all them dudes. Didn't get this skull pile here, though. You missed that skull mode pile. Activated. You missed that skull pile, dude. That was a good skull pile. You did that good gold in there. Oh, Lord, I missed the chest, too. That's a pile of skull. Oh, an elite. Oh, my God, I'm dead. Skull pile over here till you miss that one. I deal too much damage to, to, to die to this pattern. I only have, like, 2% mana leech. My mana is never missing anything. While I'm There's a big old elite pack over here, eh? What's up, Blade Eater? It's a good thing I don't shoot blades. Is your uncle's name Butterknife? <laughs> Butterknife. They call me Butterknife. You don't want to know why. Maybe you do. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Butter, butter knife Joe. <laughs> butter knife Joe. Got any of these cool charms? I do actually, but they're on my pally then. <gasps> How rude. I, can't carry I got some really good ones actually. My paladin's been rocking like some freaking sexy ones this season. I've got an 1172, a 1058 with gold find, a 762 with life, a 745 with life, a 1076, 976, and a 765. I want to play my paladin for a little bit. I don't think I'm back. I'll make number uh, seven, but I'll make it with my paladin. Uh, D, what level is your paladin? Um, 93. Oh, hurt. I get to see you bonk things with might and fanaticism. So these are the really cool ones I got this season. So I got this one, which I really like. 
I got this one, which I really like. I also oh, yeah, got good... I also got that one. Now that mm. second one is. And I got a bunch. It goes of... to ten seventy six, obviously for five life, but. That that ten one with the dex is actually even better because five dex is equal to five attack rating per dex point, so that's twenty five. So that's seventy, what eighty, ninety. That's ninety six. So it's a ten ninety six is what that is. It's pretty. It's pretty freaking sweet. Where can I take you? All right, we'll be murdered. I'm gonna go murder some stuff today. <coughs> Let's go see what your damage is like with both of my orbs. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna beef my physical up tremendously. My elemental will stay the same, but you'll get, you're gonna give me like nearly 20k physical. Seven seventeen k physical. <laughs> or set well, I, well, it's a combination. I'm just gonna watch so. you punch stuff. Punch, 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 punch. I can pretty much just one shot everything here. It's not a big deal. At this point, I'm almost up to 10k with your auras, like min, min. almost 10k min. <laughs> 9,674 min. Oh, that's so good. But at again. Oh God, what is hitting so hard over here? Holy Jesus! You got slain by a trap soul. How did I get slain by a trap soul? <laughs> what the hell? Dude, whatever was over there hit like a mag truck. Oh yeah, I should probably like put down a portal. Oh yeah, that'd be nice. I like those. What's up, Genie? I just got wrecked by a big old pack of do janks. Oh yeah, they were fanaticized death lords. An Adagan wraith scythe. I'll chop everyone. You know, hold on. Enchant. Now I shot over one of you guys. 10k freaking attack rating suckers. I don't like that amp damage on me. Go away, amp damage. Oh, they almost killed my Merc. That's kind of crazy. Crazy the radius. Oh, it's an ethereal thundermole. Anybody want a breath of the dying base? It's a fat breath of the dying. <laughs> you could have a big old honking space hammer. Space hammer. <laughs> oh, I got an epit next in my inventory too that I was holding on to for somebody. I actually really wanted to try out a. Uh, I wanted to see if I can get my hands on an ethereal champion axe that has uh, five sockets so I could make a death in it. I thought it would be neat to have like a, an alternate weapon. Non-ethereal. A death alternate. So you can put a shield on and like have resistances and block chance? Oh, no, no. Uh, no, a two-handed. He's like, no, no, no. A I two would a, a two-handed two one. <laughs> a two-handed death axe. I just wanted uh, one with crushing blow on it just to see how OP that would be. Zoom me, zoom me, zoom me. Ow, 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 ow. Still can't believe you died the I don't even know how that happened. Whatever he did, you blocked it with your face. I did. I did block it with my face. <laughs> wow. Terrible small jar. Is it Jared Stone? It's not. Blue Jared Stone of terribleness. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Silly monster Joe. <laughs> Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Butter knife Joe. Oh look, it's the worst spear in the game. Stupid, stupid, 
spear with no enhanced damage on it. Is that a necro head? Aww, no plus three plus, no plus three, no plus two plus three. Oh, next area. Okay. I don't care about Gloom no more. I'm on Mr. 90% Lightning Res. He don't care about no elemental damage. He could, they can suck I wish it. I was on 90% Lightning Res. I just got the puny little 75, you know? Yeah, being a Vengeance Paladin, I get all the... I get all the, the passives, and then... Uh, Fortitude also gives you 5% max Lightning Res, so... So I get that too. Triumphant Eldritch or Where the Gloom's at? See, so y'all scared. Oh. That's what it is. Yeah, they ran away. Y'all scared. They're definitely not ready. They're not ready. They're not ready for your jelly ginger. Uh oh. Converts in the pack. Watch out. Don't one shot yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Or do one shot yourself. I mean, you could also one shot yourself. That would be funny. If I fought myself, I would probably one shot. Oh, hello, Iswal. Chop, 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 choppy, chop, chop. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> that was hell, player two, Iswal, and he just got wrecked. All I said was choppy, chop. I didn't even get to do the full choppy, choppy. See, that's not that's not nice. Choppy, 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 chop. That's the best part of it. Chop, choppy, chop, 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 choppy, 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 chop, choppy, 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 chop, choppy, 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 chop. A carnage helmet is blue. Mm. I look at that. Oh, I can't look at that. <laughs> Drop the astronauts on the ground. <laughs> yeah, it's for peasants. I don't need the astronauts. Mnemonic? What is this Johnny Mnemonic modifier? 65. It's mana based on character level is Mnemonic. Love that movie, Johnny Mnemonic. It's one of my favorite movies. That was before he ever became Neo or anything like that from The Matrix. It was a great movie. Like me and my one axe now? One axe gang. So you got a grief rolled in an axe? Is that what you got? Yeah. I love the Zerker axe. He just looks so much more badass. Uh huh. Not as badass as a champion axe, though. <laughs> I don't know. I get two of them. And chomp, then if you chomp, go into the chomp. old graphics, I look like um, humongous with two tiny little axes. Oh, mine looks like a. <laughs> mine looks weird in the old graphics. It looks like a. I'm coming back. I want to see. In the old graphics, it kind of looks like one of those like one-sided big giant axes. Oh yeah. See, I look like a big old dude with two tiny little axes. <laughs> Your little tiny What's hatchets. Up, Your little What's tiny up, hatchets. <laughs> Plus four strength. Chop 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 chop. No, oh, a blue great hover. Mm. Oh, it sucks. Yeah, we can both just punch one thing at a time in the face for the rest of the game. Hey, it works. What's up? Hey, when you can one-shot things really fast, it, it works pretty well. Did you see Chunk's freaking um, Breath of the Dying Archon staff that we rolled? Yeah, yeah. That's a, that's 390. Crazy. It rolled 390. That's crazy. I need to roll two... Uh, I need to get two Berserker Axes with 15 EP in here. I'm just gonna roll two e bodies. <laughs> and you're gonna have one big ol' honkin' Space Axe, and I'm just gonna make Frenzy Barb with two e bodies. I put all faster run walk charms in my inventory. <laughs> Is this gonna be a Sanic the Hoot check time? 
You gonna outrun teleport? Oh, bro. It's hilarious when it happens. Dude, have you seen how fast Sonic the Hedgehog can go? Like, there was a couple, uh, like, I did I did some runs from, like, Frigid Highlands down to, um, to, like, the back to the Haragoth. And I swear I could make it from Frigid Highlands to Haragoth in, in only, like, a couple seconds, it felt like. I was just, like, back in Haragoth. I'm like, well, we're back in Haragoth again. The only limiting factor was running into stuff and getting stuck half the time. That was a gem try. Uh... Nice. What do you have for gems? I have uh, Let me go ahead and grab one. a ruby, a topaz, and a sapphire on me. Uh, I got a ruby. Let's do a ruby. <coughs> I like rubies. Rubies are nice. Choppy, 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 chop. Oh, I chop. found it. Chop, chop. Oh, that's city. Oh, damn, never mind. I lied. I didn't find nothing. He found nothing. You want to see me play hardcore? Hmm. It'll be really short. You want to go do a run, go do a run right now? <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be really go short. Die? It'll be really short. We'll make it to Rock and Mishu, bro. It'll be short for me. <laughs> Somebody will probably just ask me a question in chat and I'll die looking at chat. <laughs> I'll look over at chat over and it. I'll look back and I'll be like, oh, well, that's it, guys. And died of what's his day cold. Oh, what's the dude in the Den of Evil? His name again? Do you know which one always kills me? Uh, early on, it's like a really early killer besides Rocket Nation. Freaking Cold Crow in the cave. She's like oh, the first. Yeah. She's like the first monster like ranged pack that has uh, Cold Enchanted, and she will lock you down as a melee character. Like you didn't need nothing you can do about it neither. <laughs> she just locks you down and and puts you down. I, for, I always forget, because I go farm her for the gold dagger, but I go in there, I for, totally forget she's going to whoop my booty cheeks, and then literally she whoops my booty cheeks, and I'm like, dang, I forgot she was in. <laughs> Why? Why? I gotta go get my body to do the walk of shame. The walk of shame. Hello? Superior articulated man. Uh, are we moving on to new game? Yeah, it's new game time. It's I don't teleport as fast, so I can't just be like, oh, did we miss something over here? Miss something over there? No? Mm -hmm. No, no, it's good. No, no. no. <laughs> I guess it's morning time. I should probably take a vitamin. Oh, I found these the other day. What do you think of these? They seem pretty good.
<laughs> Kevin with another fifty dollar. <laughs> Kevin be dropping the bombs on me today. All right. Play a music video. I can't really play a lot of music on stream or I'll get copyright strike. What do you want me to play? Not here. I was like Twitch streamers, I think, have a little bit of, of an edge on me. Apparently there's some sort of thing they can do where they can like split the audio in between like two different tracks and then they can like play a song and then the track doesn't get saved into the actual video when it goes to a VOD and then blah blah blah. And long story short, they get to like bypass copyright strike stuff. Which I can't really Jeez. do. Yeah, I don't really think it's actually still, like, legitimate. I think it's still actually against the law, but they just kind of like, it's like a way that they bypass the automated check system. AI video? AI music? What? Oh, what would you think about those uh, jabs I posted? Oh, didn't see them. 2, 4, 30. That's pretty good with man leech. It's not bad. Yeah, they're pretty good rolls. They're ceremonial jabs, so I guess you can upgrade them. It's like literal titans without faster run walk. Plus the stats. Only titans have what? Life leech? Instead of mana leech. leech. I don't know, mana leech is kind of nice. If those had rep on them, they'd be sweet. Gosh, just like walk through all those monsters. I just kind of punched them all in the face and they all fell down. It's great, I love it. GTs. <laughs> it's a flame rift. <laughs> Stupid ugly flame rift. Oh, long staff? F. No, st no skills. Those are the ones you want. Auto roll four sockets for an ICS oh, base. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a rap, dude. Oh, yeah, that guy that does the, the political rap from Canada. I've listened to some of his stuff. It's pretty good. He's a Canadian who wears like American flag shirts and does like American rap. And then he jokes on himself for being a Canadian. Never heard of him. I don't know if he actually has a record deal. He's just like he's just on YouTube. It's pretty popular though. For YouTube, use this on. Yeah, die, Mr. Stone Skin. What's over here? Little bitty bag. What was his name again, Kevin? Not even I can't remember not. his name right off the top of my head. I'm bad with names. I still remember this time I felt really bad. This guy came up to me, like, randomly. He was like, he was like, Daniel! And he's like, he knew my last name and everything. He's like, I remember you. He's like, we used to play Power Rangers on the bus. And he's like, I could not remember this guy's name. Saved my life. I felt so bad. But I knew exactly who he was. And I still know exactly who he is. I just didn't remember his name. I was, you. You. I'm over here like, yeah, we used to play Power Rangers on the bus. Like, I was always the Green Ranger and you were always the Red Ranger. He's like, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I still don't remember your name. <laughs> And he told me his name, and I still don't remember it. And I feel bad. Wow. 
Oh, Sun Spirit? Anything good on it? Mm -hmm. Armageddon and Cyclone Armor? Mm -hmm. Meh. Cooley. I just got punched in the face by a trap soul. Cooley survived his surgery? What? I'm trying to post it in here for you. There's the videos Kevin talking about right here. I'm gonna post it in chat. Well, our chat? Ah, uh, YouTube chat. Oh, I'll put okay. it in Twitch chat too, why not? Wee wee wee. Did we miss something? Are we blind? Am I blind? Mm -hmm. Hello, person. Hello. Who is that? It's Rag. Oh, the guy that's been avoiding us all night? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> hey, come here quick and give me all your auras, Bob. I just got a combat trine. I want to see what I get. <laughs> I got 18k attack rating. Now I have 22k attack rating and 18k damage. <laughs> I need to go bonk something. This is bonk worthy. There's nothing left alive, though. I think we killed it all. Yeah, where's the next level? Oh, it's, it's over here. It's over here. Shit. Aha! Bonk, bonky, bonk, bonk, bing, bonk, bing, bonk, bing, bonk. I freaking love combat shrines as a, as a melee character. And then as a mage, you're like, ew, a combat shrine. Hey, you don't even look at it. Ew, get it away from me. It has cooties. I just four shot this freaking elite over here. Poor guy. I see you got the Power Rangers over here. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Blue Ranger, Red Ranger. You defeated them. They're going to have to go evolve and get bigger weapons. Did you see how fast I just murdered his wall? <laughs> I didn't even do anything. It looked like I whirlwinded one time, but he was dead before I got it. <laughs> Hottie oh. Cookie Fay playing Divinity Original Sin 2 on Twitch. I heard that game's pretty good. I think I played through it at least once. It's been a long time though, so I wish before I was a YouTuber. My memory's terrible. I'm told it's pretty much just as good as like Baldur's Gate 3. I always have trauma, so much trouble keeping the Divinity games separate, though, because there's so many Divinity games. And they're not all... Um, what is it? Top-down um, RPGs? Some of them are very much so not like that at all. Like, there's that one where you're literally a dragon. That one's kind of cool. That one's completely weird and different than all the rest. At some point, I gotta go check my Xbox Game Pass again and go see what they got on there. Because my buddy told me there was like three or four good, different style RPGs on there that I should try, and I gotta go. Hmm. Purple has got some big boy HP, I'll tell you. I think out of all the monsters in the game, I think Corpulence might actually have like the highest HP out of all of them. Like base. Corpulence, you think? Yeah. Have you ever like hit like a P8 Corpulent? They got some chonky boy HP. Especially when they're champions. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Do 
Dude, how quickly I burn through his wall, though, is insane. Especially considering I don't even have any crushing blow on the like right now. Well, maybe. Don't well, need crushing well, I've got like nine percent CP, but that's hardly going to do very much. Yeah, it's not like you're going to nine percent him every time you swing. I know. <laughs> Did we get all the middle stuff? No, I think we missed the middle. We went. We went edges. What's up, Wraith Slime? Wraith Slime? Yep, Wraith Slime. What are you playing, Ragarn? You want to come in here with us and make a P3? Sure. Just in GGM 8. Okay. I think we're about to go to 9, actually. Yeah, I think we're about to go to 9. We just, we almost cleared this. Hello, a little hiding pack in the corner. They were hiding from us. You see this? You see them hiding? Yeah, they got from scared, us? you know? Click on my skull pile. They saw pile. your big honking space <laughs> axe, and they ran away. <laughs> Morning shift coming in. That's right. Morning shift. I don't shift. know which one I like better. Your two-handed axe vengeance paladin or Squiddy's two-handed sealer? <laughs> well, freaking uh... Seal. Freaking uh, Fiji, or how do you uh, how do you say his name anyway? Um, he gave me the idea to actually try out some other two-handed variant builds. Could be could be a whole whole line of two-handed paladin builds coming in the future. Are you gonna do a sacrifice one? I was thinking about uh, trying out and the two-handed holy to freeze paladin, the and then. I don't know. No. What? Blocked the way? <laughs> Our what? biggest enemy stabs. <laughs> what? Blocked the way? <laughs> That's what I heard. Hodor, move your ass. Are you a caster? Trappy yeah, trappy. Oh, lowercated now. All right, I'll be nice. <laughs> Thank you. What are we being nice about? I finally used battle orders. <laughs> we don't need that. We didn't. But now the squishy assassin is yourself. Squishy how is assassin. he squishier? How is she squishier than me? I have a two hand, a two handed pal. Oh, an archon play. Ooh, three sack at four thirty nine archon. Anybody need an archon for some do jinks? Oh, can't we make the principal in that? Yeah. Gull. Gull something eld, I can't remember. Principal is... Oh, I forgot. Is it Malgul? I'm terrible at uh, saying the frickin' I tried to type it in for the bot. Failed horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Misspelling things. Oh no, I didn't misspell it. I got it right. Uh, Raul Gull Eld. It's really cheap. It's super cheap, actually. Raul Gull Eld. Uh oh, it uses one of your precious that. Raul runes. <laughs> I know, right? I've got Elds if you need an Eld. Oh, look, look at that. Death Spade. No, that is a fantastic weapon for, like, the night. Oh, no, no, no. I was thinking of the Butcher's Spade. There's a cask. That would make a pretty good blood helmet. Small chammy. And the survey says garbage. You know how these uh, these little lurkers always like when you hit them they, they get knocked back. Yeah, that doesn't happen to me because they die. When I hit them with the axe, they're dead. There's no knockback. <laughs> There's just knocked down. 
I could one shot him to. Oh, I just didn't. Holy crap. He was at one HP. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so tough. <laughs> I looked at his bard, it was empty. How oh, there's champion dead, ones bro? over here. There's champion ones. Haha, uh -huh, one shot that champion. Come here. No, no, no. Stop knocking him back. Gotta chop him. <laughs> can't knock him back if he's, if he's getting chopped. Can't chop him. Can't chop him. What, Earth Spirit? It's like in the fire it. burning over here. Huh? Holy <laughs> Jesus, that's actually kind of nice. Uh, oh, it's this way. Next what would, level. What it's would this? this way. What would this be? A fire claw droid? Check this out. That's a pretty good roll. And, and it's an Earth Spirit. That means it's an elite base. Okay, hunger. That's weird. Three hunger, three volcano. Be like a what? Like a a melee fire claw droid? Oh yeah. Oh my God. Okay. I'm gonna die. You'll be fine. You're not gonna die. You'll be come out here and enjoy the lightning. No, seriously, come out here and enjoy the lightning. Play in it, dance in it, dance in it. Look at your lightning run. Ninety-five, only. <laughs> only ninety-five. It's no big deal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'll be fine. Dance in it, play in it. Let it soak it into your very being. You'll be fine. Yep. I don't care about these guys. They suck. Treat it like it's sunbathing time and yeah. just walk right through it. Uh, just so good. I'm an Naples. Right on the Naples. I always kind of wondered about that, by the way. Like, what if you were, what if you had a bunch of piercings and you get struck by lightning? That's got to be bad. <laughs> That's got to be really bad. <laughs> it would be funny to watch. <laughs> Afterwards, you just see electric nipples. It's gonna be really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Work room. Yeah, we gotta socket the uh, Astreons too and put a put a shale in it. Shale, sod. Well, yeah, I mean, well, if we got a sod land, I trolled, did you uh, get a nice one? Chunks. He, we found a plus three Astreons earlier. Nice. Like literally in this TZ. Yeah, in this TZ. Oh. I actually think it was the first run that we did. Hmm. Might have been the same. I don't know. I'm not sure if mine I, I is plus right. two or plus three. I'm not sure. Oh, gold planes in the cave. Oh. That one's kind of fun. That's basically the pit. I see the sun is getting brighter and brighter. Dang it. Stupid daytime and stupid daytime stuff. I've got to adjust my camera all the time for the stupid daytime. How dare you whirlwind all those people to death? <laughs> they just don't die in one hit, bro. They don't got no life. Damn. I'll just stand here and see what happens. That's why I went with the faster weapon over the higher damage weapon, because a lot of the monsters in the game, it's just overkill. It's like way overkill. And then you realize that when you see him hit Iswal time. Boy, I killed Iswal in five spells. hits. I killed him in five hits. It was like five hits and he was dead. Can't believe how fast I killed Iswal. Iswal's a meaty boy. For elites, he's got one of the highest oh, yeah. HP pools. Yeah. Yeah, this zone is like my best friend. Just whirlwind everything, guys. Everything here has such low HP by comparison. I need a key. Oh, no key. It's terrible. Oh, I have a key finger. Oh, put your key finger in the keyhole. Yeah. There's another one over here. Oh, yeah, we got an assassin with us. We don't need keys anymore. Nope. For plebs. Is 
the only bad part about coming outside of trap. When you're an axe wielder. Really oh. Chop, chop, chop. 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 An eth decapitator? Chop. It is an eth decapitator. Mm. What's your roll? Oh, one socket. Terrible. That's a tease right there. For it. All that is is a tease. Oh, I see a lock. There's a locked chest over here. It's terrible. Hey, assassin, you got one job. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going back. <laughs> it's back here. <laughs> it's this one right here. This one you touched one me wrong. Job. Touched me one wrong. One job, man. All right, let's go into the cave. I tell people that all the time when I'm teleporting as a sorceress. And there's like a barb in there. I'm like, don't get mad at me. Get mad at the barb. He's got one job too. Mine's to teleport. His is to battle orders to teleport. And he's not doing his job. Get mad at him. Okay. Blue Shaco. Terrible. What's my paladin's woodcutting level? Oh man, he's already capped oh. out. He's Grand Master. Yeah, same. He's He's got the freaking like the, he's got the little apron like in Final Fantasy XI when you max out your thing and then you get the apron. Oh yeah, that's why. I don't have run walk on my boots. That's not true. Oh, I just charge yeah, everywhere. Who needs run walk when you can charge everywhere? I could teleport everywhere, but uh, why do that? That's the fun in that. When we can kill everything. Oh, we murder everything with prejudice, so who cares? <laughs> oh, hold on. Champ pack. Gotta hork it. Gotta hork it. I'm forgetting horky. to do this. And I gotta do hork it, hork it. I want to do her get You know, with my two six instant crystal swords on swap, but just mm -hmm. forgetting to work mm -hmm. stuff. <laughs> well, you know, when you're rich, you know, you don't have to. I'm not that rich anymore. I still got some stuff, but I like gave all my stuff away. I've just been giving it to everybody. Blue Sawaya? Ooh, and a burnt wand, too. Mm -hmm. I'll check that. Level. It's excellent. <laughs> wow. Wow. Fade, Blade Shield, and Dragonflight, and it didn't roll any of the cool stuff? You, yeah. sir, got trolled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you played with me before? Nope, never. Not even no. one time. <laughs> it's first time ever. <laughs> it's my first time, too. <laughs> Unless I'm not broken. Well, my brain is broken, so. It's out of warranty. They won't fix it. We're gonna get a high rank. Or a green rank. I'm waiting on it. Oh, what's your MF, by the way? Uh, a lot. Oh. 652. Yeah, okay, so I'm not popping. No, no, super chests aren't affected by magic fine, doesn't matter. Okay. You can pop as many super chests as you want. Sparkly, <laughs> sparkly rare super chests are, uh, are on their own wavelength. New game? New game? No? Yeah, I think we're on new game. Yep. Number 10. <laughs> Cool, I get to repair. Ten is the tenliest number that you'll ever ten. Number ten. Today's episode of Ginger Gaming Mentor was brought to you by the number ten. Anybody want this? The order welcomes you. What do we want? Is. What is this? What is the this? It's a treachery in the shadow place. Oh, no. no. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. I'm it's pretty much F I'm pretty much set up like on all my gear at this point. Ooh, a blue archon blade. 
an ethereal blue archon plant. So I'm going to use this ethereal archon plate to show you guys something real quick. If I have the, uh, oh, it's a grand charm. If I have the gems to do it. Uh, when you re-roll a ethereal item, if I remember correctly, ethereal items will lose their ethereal status when you re-roll them. It's actually kind of neat. Target objects, this grand charm. Ooh, it's ugly. I'm going to show you guys. Watch me get a J-Mod by accident. <laughs> Amrune. Alright, so here we go. We got three. Alright, we take our little Archon plate of the of the etherealness. And you re-roll it, and look, it's no longer ethereal. I don't know why that why why it does this exactly, but you're not allowed to re-roll an ethereal item, but you can re-roll an ethereal item, and when you do re-roll an ethereal item, it becomes non-ethereal. It's a it's an interesting quirk of the, the way that the system works. Strange. Greetings. So as an example, like oh dang. Like I need to use a RAL rune on my armor. <laughs> my you're armor's using RAL rune? It's almost broken. I got gold. It costs. <laughs> to repair my armor, it costs 879,616 that, gold. That, that's, that, that's chump change. That's chump change. I'll wait till it breaks. It's not a big deal. Anyway. <laughs> Now, I can't remember what it was that we were re-rolling one time, or uh, using for recipes, or there was a bunch of different things. But, like, when you use an ethereal item for crafting recipes also, it converts back into a, a non-ethereal item. Three socket, five eleven, non-F. Hellforge. <laughs> What's up, Lancer? I heard you want to be a Lancer. Would you want to be a dancer? You know what I was thinking about doing, Ginger? What? I'm a max strength barbarian. I was a really, really, really contemplating putting an enigma in a sacred armor. <laughs> what, for even more strength? No, I'm max strength anyway. Like, my base strength right now is 250. Yeah, but even more strength. Because you get even more strength from enigma. Oh yeah, I'm already wearing a nigga. It's just an age player, like a clip. I could have made it in the sacred armor. Oh, okay. All right, all right. I might do it. I just gotta find a perfect sacred armor. Freaking sunlight. Sun no ED though. I don't. I don't want any enhanced defense. Actually, I might with a sacred armor. Right here. Oh, what do you got on you? Here. Heck yeah, give me that. I won't say no to no perfect amethyst. A cold rupture, what's that? An 80? Yeah, that's ugly. It's a Hyperion Javelin. It's garbage. Hatchet, hands of garbage. Where was the way down? It's over here. You can see it on the map. Wee. Superior Scarab Husk. It's gotta be, uh, okay, that's not it. It's gotta be this one, though. Like if this is three hobo. socket, do we make a hobo? A three socket hobo? Well, Princi yeah. Principal doesn't have any armor on rating on it, unfortunately, so you usually want to make it in something that has decent armor. Yeah, or we could make a, make a hobo. Hobo. Want free stuff? Gotta look like a hobo. Hobo. Gotta look like a hobo. Everybody always uh, asks me. They're like, they're like, is this dust shroud good for an enigma, or is this dust shroud good for this? And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, it's perfectly fine. If you want to look like a hobo. <laughs> I found it. I'm in there. I'm in here already. Killing stuff. In there like swimwear. 
in there like gym wear? What? What? What's gym wear? It's weird that you know. It's not even here. Ball, 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 ball. Chop, choppy, choppy. I'm down here, chop, chop. Chopper, 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 chopper. That's what it's going in. Oh, it's ethereal. What's up, Omac? Oh, demon head. Blue demon head. What is it? Three, 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 three. Ow. The zombies are being mean to me and they're molesting me. You want necrophilia to come take care of that? <laughs> 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 they're, they're being rude. They're being really rude. I don't like it at all. They're being angry, labor, labor. Hello, person. Oh, it's Nico. What up, Nico? Hello, Nico. Nico. Hello. You trying to come make our game P4? Sure. B B B B B B B B B B B Superior Gnarled Staff. A gnarly gnarlo. Hydra and Glacial Spike. Everything's already dead over here. Well done. What are we missing? Level two, right? Aha. That was a big pack over here. I chopped that guy and a big giant axe fell out of his butthole. I don't know where he was holding that thing. <laughs> I mean, it was great. Like, that thing flew through the air, landed, and it was like, his prison pocket. His prison pocket. What was it? I was watching something, and the guy was like, uh, he's like, that, that, he said, you can't take that watch. That's my grandfather's watch. He smuggled that through, through World War II Germany and the prison of war camps. And it was like, as soon as he said it, everybody was like, wait a minute, where did he keep it? Ew. <laughs> wait. Because he, smug oh. he smuggled it the watch in his prisoner of war pocket. It wasn't the way down. Is that from... I can't Pulp remember which Fiction. movie it was from. Is that from Pulp Fiction? I don't know. Maybe. When Bruce Willis was a kid? I think it might have been Pulp Fiction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it? Oh, I can't think of his name right now. Prison pocket. Oh man, he's got like the most, one of the most recognizable voices. I just can't think of his name. I'm a pleb. Boneheart the hungry die, Boneheart. I don't think having a bone heart would work very well. Maybe that's why he's dead. Christopher Walken was the dude who said the line. Where are we go? It was Christopher. TV Viper also said Christopher Walken. Oh, we got the rare dude, Jake. That's odd. Why is there a blue amulet there with the rare stuff? Amulet should have rolled rare, too. Plus two combat skills, Barbarian Grand Circle, Grand Crown. The Dire Cowl. New game? Yep. Yep, new game. I can't see anything. The sunlight is blinding me. <laughs> <laughs> the sunlight is in my eyes. I cannot see, but I want some fries. I like fries. The ring was a the rare ring that dropped was halfway decent. Six percent mana leech, thirty mana, two reses. Got some chain lightning on attack too. That would have gone good, gone, gone good, good, good. I'm a Thor barbarian. Good, 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 good day, you know. Oh, ginger. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna chop you. Uh, let's see what happens. Oh, you got a grief. You're probably just gonna be better time. than me. Oh, 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 that was a charge. Oh, that, was fat. that was just a charge. That wasn't even a regular hit. That wasn't my. Back. Hold up, hold up. That we wasn't a vengeance. Uh, here, kill my mercenary real quick. Oh, right, well, well, actually. Oh uh, yeah, where's your mercenary? 
Oh yeah, you're, you're, you're dead. Kill mine. Oh, he's got two last wishes. He's gonna be rough to kill. Yep, real, real rough oh. to kill. <laughs> All right, hit me with a vengeance. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh dang! I actually hit you. I'm kind of surprised. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great! Hit, hit me with your big old honking grief axe. Uh. Oh, dang! <laughs> That's some pretty good damage on that freaking grief. Yeah, and that's missing. What do your resistances look like damage. with my vengeance on you? I am overburdened. Oh, with your conviction? Oh, I'm Our at negative yeah. 100 cold, negative 67 <laughs> lightning, negative 38. I got positive, positive poison resistance, though. I don't think I can hit you without the enchant, though. I think the, because my attack rating is only 5,900 without enchant. My defense is only 7k, though. When I throw enchant on, I go up to 9.5k. It's not as bad. Let me get rag lady. That's it. I'm coming for you, <laughs> rag lady. I'm coming for you. <laughs> no! Stop Get him! Me. Get him! <laughs> no! <laughs> I was just charging. That's all I did was charge. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> wow, it really chases you? That's kind of crazy. You teleported away, and I was just i was just chasing <laughs> yep. you for a while. <laughs> like, it wouldn't stop. <laughs> that jank was just like, I'm coming for you! Oh, my gloves are almost broken. What? Two durability on my gloves? I gotta go repair my gloves. Can I one-shot you with Berserk? Maybe. If you hit me. I don't know Magic damage is pretty is pretty powerful. My Berserk is better attack rating than my world. And I have one point wondered Berserk. Good day. Silver egg. Come on! <laughs> I didn't even mean to hit you! <laughs> oh, the thorns! Where are the thorns coming from? That hurt. <laughs> I don't know where is it coming from. I don't know, it hurts. It's powerful. Oh, Nagel Ring. Attacker takes damage of three. Let's beat you with this hammer. Ow. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> Come here, rag lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <close one. laughs> I'm gonna hit you with conversion. I'll convert you. And then we really start dueling, and stuff gets fun. Do, 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 do. It'd be hard to hit you while you're whirlwind, and you could just keep whirlwinding, and I would have trouble hitting you. <laughs> I don't have enough defense to block your attacks. Oh god, the sun came in and blinded me again. Yeah, no. In no way. I can't tell you. Alright, let's get back to the level one. That was fun while it lasted. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I can't even get my body. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I'm sorry. I had to. It was important. Oh yeah. It was important, yeah. It was very Ooh. important. Alright, alright, Let, let's party back up okay. let's, let's... <laughs> Invite You guys gotta invite us. Yeah, you guys no, are in the way. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. You don't want to invite us? Alright. <laughs> okay, Ginger me and you can party up, okay. right? You can party up. <laughs> <laughs> and then we can go fight the cold plane. Okay. Give me this. Give me this dog snoot. I'm gonna and take this big dog old fat snoot. melee characters. I'm take this, and I'm gonna. Yeah, I don't think you're killing me anytime soon with my ninety percent lightning res either. <laughs> Swing. I gotta turn down my like max brightness just to even freaking deal with this sunlight right now. Oh, I gotta get my merc back. Can't believe you one shot my merc. Well, I mean, that's actually the thing I'm most impressed about. Negative resistance. 
That's the main problem with Vengeance and PvP is it's really hard to build a attack rating. Like, normally you don't build attack rating on a Vengeance Paladin. So if I did a PvP Vengeance Paladin, I would need to build, like, some massive thick boy attack rating. Because negative defense doesn't really work in PvP. I need those. I need those thick boy numbers. <laughs> What's up, slap rag? You want to go fight, bro? <laughs> oh, he brought his paladin out here. Okay, where's your versus? Let's, right. Let's go. He's got more That's defense. I might not be able to hit him. Oh, <laughs> I hit him for half of his HP before he killed me. Then I need to just. Charged. I need to charge spam you. That's what I need to do. I can actually hit you with charge. Ow, your merc is rude. Let our merc fight. Let the mercs fight. Bye, merc. You're not supposed to have your merc. Come on, man. I can't even hit you. you. No. I don't have the attack rating to hit him. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I told you. I don't have the attack rating to hit anybody. Not here. With his beefy holy shield. <laughs> you and your holy shield, pally. Yeah, yeah, you're not so big and bad when the barbarian hits you, huh? I'm gonna put my enchant on. I had to try, man. <laughs> Come on. Pick all my stuff up. All right, go ahead, guys. Uh, I'll let you fight. I'll let you duke it out. Oh, <laughs> one charge. <laughs> oh, all righty then. <laughs> <coughs> well, not here. I mean, when you got a big giant honking space axe, you gotta be careful. Mm -hmm. Ear in my inventory. I don't want that ear. I can't see anything. The sun is blinding me. <laughs> and I'm a ginger. It hurts. It hurts my eyes. <laughs> you both? Okay. <laughs> well, you. <laughs> well. <laughs> I think you got him locked in a block, a block lock, Bob. <laughs> and then, literally, while he was stuck in the block block, I killed him. <laughs> that was pretty rough. I saw him go like. Tee -tee 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 -tee. <laughs> and then, literally, while he was tink 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 tinking the whirlwind, I just hit him and killed him. Let me just see. It this doesn't do anything nothing. to me. I'm not a demon. Yeah. Are you a North Star Smiter? Yeah. Yeah, no wonder you're freaking punching me in the face. Yeah, you could smite me to death. You could just stand there and smite, like, hit the standstill button and smite, and if I whirlwind through you, I will die. Yeah, it's uh, because your Watch, defense is you. way just... higher. Yeah, stand there and hold uh, the standstill button. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to run like, in PvP. You wanna. You wanna actually walk in PvP and then charge. Watch. That way, your defense actually works. Oh, you didn't get me. How did you not get me again? That's weird. But see, notice how he whirlwind through you like three or four times before he actually got you. So when your defense is active and your block chance is active, you got a lot better chance of surviving the whirlwind. Were you locked on me? Like, were you hitting the standstill button no. and locked on me? Try locking on me this time while holding okay. standstill. Okay. Oh, yeah, use your holy shield, too. Don't forget. Don't forget oh. your holy shield. Fuck it. Yeah. All right, now, yeah. Yeah, see? That shit hurts. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> yeah, you, you're at um, your strongest you when, you're, when, you're, when you're standing still, basically. So, or, or when you're walking. So when you're walking, you get your full defense and you get your full block chance. When you're running, you don't get your full block chance and your full defense. What if I just... I'm, like, trying, not to be in... I'm trying not to be in this fight. Ah, no matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, all right, Ginger. Let's see if I can do it. I can't see. Not in do town. what? Not in town. Oh, you gonna, are you going to try and one-shot me? <laughs> Not in town. A little berserk, little berserk one-shot? Not here. Not here. Two little berserk one-shots? <laughs> you were at half health, though, weren't you, Rag? Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. 
Why are you whining for, Mr. Boobus? Here, let me let me whirlwind you with my instant phase blades. Chop, choppy, chop, 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 choppy, 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 chop. I can't hit you very often, but I can chop, 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 chop. I can't even hit you. Like when you're with your with your high block chance and everything, I like I need enchant just to have a chance of hitting you. <laughs> I'd have to get like 20k attack rating to to really set up a PvP vengeance paladin. Cody, what are you crying for? You always cried in like a little baby. Baby. You're just mad because I got chomsits and you don't. That's all is to it. You just mad that I got chomsits. What's the ED on your Astrions that you found? Uh, 380 something. 380? Better than that or one. But the flat damage isn't. Your flat damage is better. Yeah, the flat damage is what matters for Smite. It's not the... The raw damage doesn't matter at all for Smite. Not here. I can't see nothing because I'm blind. Alright, alright, alright. Let's party back up, guys. <laughs> for real this time. <laughs> he had to bring his Smiter out here. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted and to get to at least bring one game, okay? <laughs> Oh, I gotta get my Merc. That Might is way too good. Oh, Level 30 for Might. Why can't I enchant myself? Oh, there we go. I can't even see my monitor anymore. The sun is blinding me. I'm not used to gaming at this particular hour. Yeah, at some point, I'm gonna have to make the Might Act 2 Merc with the Concentrate or see how it goes. Oh, look at the field of ears. A field of ears. Mm -hmm. No wonder no one ever listens. <laughs> we keep chopping their ears off. <laughs> Do you go up or down? Can see it now. Can you see us now? Yeah. Put up a poor talus. God, I feel like I need a hat. Like literally to keep myself from being blinded by the sunlight. I got a Streamlabs hat they sent me. Let's use this one. There. Now I'm no longer blind. It's almost like hats were meant to do that. You ever see that picture of the guy who had a hat on backwards at like a, a stadium while he was watching like a football <laughs> with game? The sunglasses with... on his head, holding his hand out to keep the sun out of his eyes. Yeah, he had his hand over his <laughs> over his eyes like this, with his hat backwards, and the sunglasses were on his hat. We're like, dude, <laughs> you have the tools. You have multiple ways. <laughs> you have to keep the sun multiple from entering ways. Your eye sockets. You've got the glass. You uh, you know what? You know what? Just let the guy do his thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where's Nico? Um, running around doing my own stuff. Yeah, he didn't have to be with us. Player count I is player a lot count of is player corpses, count. So. I mean, Bob's not really horking anyway because he's lazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I'm too dizzy to hork anything. Okay. You're too ditzy to hork. Yes. That's exactly what he said. Yes. <laughs> Sweet. I think this place is clear. Caves over here. We burn, burn, did burn. Oh, got lots. What are those? They suck. Burn. Was it on the wall this time? No. No. It's right here. 
Oh, she ate it. Oh, there it is. It's hiding. I gotta like put my head down just so it blocks the sunlight. The sunlight's coming in like almost perpendicular. <laughs> Freaking evil. What's up, Cold Crow? I orked him. He dropped some stuff. Dropped some things. And a couple rings. And a couple dude janks. Oh, I guess I could just do this. Be right back here by himself. <laughs> Poor me. <laughs> You got burst to speed, you'll be yeah, fine. Yeah, you got burst to speed. Ooh, Grand Charm. And the Grand Charm is... Uh, it's okay. 98 attack rating, 6 to life. Six. It's kind of meh. Ethereal Cryptic Sword. Mm. That's a good murky weapon. Wasn't uh, Chunks asking for an ass Cryptic Sword? Did he ever get one? I gave him my plague. Oh, he wanted a plague. Yeah. Uh, my mark upgraded to his second last mission. I'm like, here you go. You can have it. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> my flawless emerald. <laughs> I don't even know <laughs> how much stuff I've given out this ladder. It's a lot, though. Somebody yeah. who, somebody who is an assassin. Oh, it's joy. Oh. Hello, Joy. What's up, Ultraconic Adam? What's up, Joy? Ooh, there's champions up here. Choppy, 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 chop, chop, choppy, chop, 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 choppy, 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 chop. Is that it? There's a blue giant thresher. Sucks. What are all these random zombies y'all left over here? It's terrible. Messy, y'all messy. Leave it random times. I think that's pretty much it. Nerd. Cody. All right, I'm gonna give you a twenty dollar bill. I want you to go up to Taco Bell. I know, no, a Burger King. I want you to get me a croissant, which, all right, and a large hash browns. You can get yourselves a uh, sausage, egg, cheese, and uh, I think they got them little French toast thingies. You want some of them little French toast things with the syrups? You want the ones with you the syrups? You gotta give them the keys to the car and the sunglasses. Though. All right, that can be cool. Here you go, buddy. You go ahead, and take my car, go get some of them dojanks. All right, I give you the twenty. He's like, oh, keys? <laughs> you don't don't lick the keys. You use these to drive the car. <laughs> All right, and go get me some sausage biscuits. You know what? Just go get like 10 sausage biscuits. We'll share them. I get five, you get five. Dude, we just <laughs> never hear joy. <laughs> oh, I don't know why we can't hear joy. Oh. <clears throat> you do not have enough joy in your life in order to hear it. All right, I'm going to go kill Travis. Cause killing trap. I'm gonna go kill trap too. I'm gonna, you know, make myself a sandwich. I'm gonna 
have a trainer to, to give me the... So that I can train Cody to go get me some Burger King? Oh, a Mighty Scepter. You see the almost Haws down here? That's a pretty so solid Mighty Scepter. 294 with a 92 roll on the on the grief damage. That's pretty nice. That is real nice. What the heck is the cap I'm wearing? Uh, it was sent to me by Streamlabs. Has a Streamlabs logo on it. I got it for free. Because I'm such a big streamer. <laughs> Use my streamer credits. Is Streamlabs my official sponsor? Nah, they just give away merch. They just like to give away merch, that's all. Oh, come here, come here, come here. <laughs> but, I, but I like having less than 3,000 HP. No, you don't. There's a Maiden Jeff. I'm gonna put on basic attack. Even my basic attack does pretty good damage. Mine does not. This guy's immune to physical. It's not immune to vengeance though. Streamlabs sponsors anyone because technically they're a company that does like streaming technology. I don't, I don't know. A four socket Aegis. All right, we need to roll a 35% spirit in that so we can drop it in the swappies and troll people. Again. Again. <laughs> like, wait a minute. We gotta find a four socket Colossus blade. So we can roll spirit in that too? Yeah. <laughs> Way better. <laughs> oh gosh, a spirit. Nice. What the f is this thing? What? You, thought you said you wanted a spirit. I got you a spirit. Hey, I wanted to jump on his face Not and kill him. Alright, spirit, let's go. It's what? Tau, ball, fort, aim. Alright, let's go. Come on. 35%. 35%. Oh, it's a 27. Failed unique archon plate? Question mark? Nope. Oh. Legend sword? Two socket? Oh, I see you there. Okay, that was kind of cool. I charged back to that freaking fallen. I hit him, and the twisters came out and freaking like stunned all the monsters. It was freaking amazing. It looked like I charged, and the twister came out on the charge. That was great. I love carrying wind. Oh, it works really good with this build because I don't have the. Uh, I just really don't have the like the defenses, so it kind of helps me mitigate some mitigate stuff. the damage a little bit because the monsters aren't always you know ripping me to shreds. It's very useful for a two-handed paladin. Kane, identify this archon blade immediately. It's garbage. Hello. I can't win with the sunlight today. 
keeps getting brighter and brighter to the point where literally I can't even modify the uh, stream to be dark enough. I just got like weird green like matrix looking stuff coming down on the top of my my camera. <laughs> I'm using the wrong aura. I was wondering why things were, were only dying in like two or three hits instead of one. You know, we get really rich by the end. We start rolling like freaking last wishes in a crystal sword. Just drop it in the now sloppy. Roll just for lulls. Work, work oh, that boy's ethereal. He had ghostly skeleton. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Little ghostly skeletons coming straight for you this time. Pumpkin space sex do do do. Yes, the sun, my greatest foe. I'm a redhead. Del DP. I mean, ain't no more freaking Dragon Ball coming because Kira's dead. And I'm sure some company will pick it up and and ruin it. I was really hoping on a continuation of Dragon Ball Super, but I guess we ain't getting that now. And if we do, it's probably going to be crap. We still might get up to the end of the manga. Like, that would be What was the last manga that he wrote? For Dragon Ball, there's what, two books after the tournament, I think. And he died to one of the dumbest things, too. Frickin' blood clot. I thought freaking Dragon Ball was gonna go forever. I probably still will, to be honest. He died kind of young, too. He was only like 64 years old. 68, I think. He, he must have had something happen. I hear a lot of the times when it comes to like that type of thing with like the blood clot, it's usually due to some sort of injury. Like you have some sort of really bad injury and like a blood clot forms inside like the blood vessel and then it's like a ticking time bomb for years it just sits in there and then eventually like the blood clot kind of like breaks free and travels down your blood vessel until it gets to your heart and usually kills you or goes into your brain or something <laughs> I catch up 
joke. <laughs> Somebody in the background there. He said, yeah. <laughs> Got that he evil. Saw the big old honking space axe and was like, Meh. Got that evil, evil uh, villain, super villain laugh there. <laughs> he, he is definitely an evil villain, that is for sure. Oh yeah, I forgot. Dragon's Dogma 2 came out, didn't it? God, I need to play that. What day, did Dragon, what day did Dragon's Dogma 2, Dogma 2 come out? Because I gotta freaking get that. That's how you I told 13? everybody. Yeah, we're on 13 right now. I told everybody I was gonna play that game when it came out. Okay, oh, so the people must be playing it on, like, beta or something like that. That's probably what it is, because it doesn't come out until the 22nd, so we got, like, 10 more days. There must be some sort of, like, pre-beta or alpha or something going on. I don't know. Let's take a look. We lose Bob and Nico. Mm -hmm, maybe. I'd lose me. I've been on for like 10 hours. Hmm. hmm. 70 bucks on freaking Steam. And I still can't save my dang birthday into the freaking thing. I'll start fighting people. Like, you have my credit card on file. You know what my birthday is. Can you stop asking me, please? No. Don't eat my merc. Yeah, so March 21st. Nine days. We're coming in nine days. All right. What comes in the deluxe edition? Is there anything special? Pre-order bonus. Superior weapons. Quartet. I freaking love me some Dragon's Dogma. I thought it was an amazing game when I played it the first time through. Hopefully the second one's just as good. Doesn't Dragon isn't Dragon's Dogma online? Do you guys want to play Dragon's Dogma with me? Dragon's Dogma two. Uh, it is not multiplayer. Can anyone help you kill D-Clone on Asia? Yeah, sure. We can come smack his booty real quick. Mm -hmm. I can come smack D-Clone's booty. What's your game, Namnes? Shoot me a message on Twitch. I'll be right there. Only I could see. Oh, what's the name? I'm here. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Cody, you ready to go? 
He said, don't you say that to me. He said, I'm always ready to go. He said, I know the word. He said, I love the word. That's my favorite word is go. That's my favorite word is go, go, go. Go, go, go. I need to get my freaking um, curtains from downstairs, I guess. That jacket's bright. Blah, 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 blah. No? No. No? No. I see no messages. You just got the song out of your head, Joy? What, the Choppy Chop song? I can help you out with that. Chop, choppy, chop, chop, chop. Oh, choppy, choppy, chop, choppy, 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 chop, choppy, 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 chop, choppy, choppy, chop, chop, choppy, 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 chop. Chop. Hold on, I need an instrument. Come here. Come here. I need a dog instrument. Come here. Come here. Come here. Are you ready? All right. Dog instrument. Open it up. Open up my slightly. There you go. Chop. Choppy chop 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 choppy 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 chop choppy 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 chop choppy 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 chop Lick right in the mouth. That's what I get too. He said, that's right. Now give me some more cheeses. Or else. Neighbor called the police on you for using bin bags, bin bin bags to keep the track of the light out. What? Why don't you get some blackout curtains? Oh God. <laughs> monster. You're a monster. You're a monster. Mr. Kubus. You're a big and mighty dog. You got the monster hair for days that falls out like it's made of little pine needles. And you snore and you snoot and you growl and you hoot. Just like a big monster dog. <laughs> and these are. You need help or what? Come on, man. I'm already. I'm all ready and everything. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. All you gotta do is let me know the game, and I will come and kill the D clone lame and knock his legs out from under his head, and watch him go down right to dead. Do 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 do. All right, I guess not. Give him a dang cheese it. Alright, Cody it needs to cheese it. Hold on. Cody, you want this cheese it right here? You want this one? How about this? Yes. You can have this cheese it. How about that? You want this? Gotta be a shark. Gotta be a shark. Oh no, it's a shark. Oh no, it's a shark. Oh no, it's a shark and shark. Oh no. He said, I'll be a shark. He said, don't tell me, but I'll be a shark. Except for a cheese it, I'll be a shark. You want to sniff in the box? You want to huff it? Huff the box. Stick your nose right in there and take a big huff. Go like this. Come on. Get your huff. Huff it in there. Got to huff the box. <laughs> I swear you look at that box like you love it. Like it's your, like it's your, 
like it's your friend, your your lover. You're like, oh, the cheese it box. It holds all the cheese its All the cheese its I got slobber all over everything. The keyboard, the mouse, the mouse pad, the chair. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Cheese it boy. Wow, 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 wow. Look at all these games I don't even know the names of. Except for that one. I think that guy's on the wrong server. I was all hyped up to kill a D clone, too. Ain't no D clones. Maybe this game's got a D clone. This game's gonna go on for like four hours. Hmm. Hardy dead. Hardy dead. A lot of the times, games like this that have been going for multiple hours, there's very few super uniques left. Let's go for the old standby, which is Arcane Sanctuary. Nope, somebody's already been here too. The portal's active. Interesting. Okay. Um, let's try Bone Ash. Bone Ash is usually one that uh, people skip. Wait, no, not that, not that one. Inner Cloister. Door is closed. Good sign. Although they could teleport by. <laughs> Poor Bone Ash. I just chopped him. <laughs> one chop. He just got disintegrated from existence. That's great. Mm. Uh, enjoy the dog farts. I will enjoy the dog farts. I will. Chompy chomps the Goliath gas clouds. No, Cody's over here. He's fart. He's like farty, 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 fart, fart, farty, fart, 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 farty, farty, fart. Ooh, a sextant trophy. Ah, uh, Bloodborne. I think it might be time for me to move on. It's been a good stream. It's been a nice 10 hour stream. We should end it with a raid. How about that? I need a key. Let's end it with a raid. I always forget to do raids, but let's end it with a raid. Not let's here, see. Let's town. see who's online on Twitch, and I'll uh, I'll hop in and I'll raid. Prepare yourselves. All right. Let's see who's streaming Diablo two. Hmm. <laughs> I got a Skulder's Eye in Hardcore. Oh, nice. It's already socketed with a P Topaz for an East. <laughs> Natalie J Dog. Sakarak. Dark Nasher. General Bardock. <laughs> oh no, he's probably sad. <laughs> hmm. That guy's French. Let's check out Natalie J Dog. Clip won't delete it, seem hidden.
Mm, 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 I only mm. have old characters on Facebook, which I basically don't use valid. Snapchat also recommends your friends to other friends. Yeah, see, that kind of stuff could never happen to me, so I'm Gucci. Because my Snapchat is my personal Snapchat, and I don't, like, advertise my account on there. It's also the account is different name from my Twitch, so I'm Gucci. Ginger, what up, Ginger Gaming Mentor? Do you want to mentor me today? Are you my senpai? Mm -hmm. Senpai-chan? <laughs> uh, I basically don't use, yeah, I got you. Snapchat also recommends your friends to other friends. Yeah, that's fine. Like, my Snapchat is fine. <laughs> Emilio died. Hi. My goodness. Kinda wasn't expecting that. Hello. Welcome on in, Raiders. Ginger, thank you so much for the flocking raid. Insane. With uh, with the games being <laughs> short and uh, I got it. Only burning I gotta correct my posture. Uh, hello, welcome minutes, on in Raiders. Figure, if you, know, you don't know let's, me, let's go play another game. My name is Natalie, and I the, eat um, ass. Wow. Eat ass like a fucking animal. Wow. So this How is you a, doing, this is another Ginger? Interesting game. It's quite an intro. <laughs> That's kind of my thing. Well, welcome <laughs> on in. How was your stream? Were you playing Diablo? Or were you playing? Insane. goat love emote <laughs> just got a bunch of shout outs for you oh, i don't know who you are but thank you so much for the raid shout outs that goat love emote is you just, i know because it looks like a goat that's like yeah, on a heart but it's actually man. eating ass i love it yeah, gonna lurk for now i, I love, appreciate that Redick. thank you so much for the lurk lord tunes <laughs> return soon leave i can't all good well, come on in. And if anyone else streams, let us know. We can shout you out as well. Ginger, thank you so much. I appreciate you. I need to go stalk you now. Stalking. I need to go stalk you. Where are you from, Ginger? I mean, he doesn't even bark or like make any mean noises like the majority of the time when like, we're around. Like he really only just like gets that way when like an intruder comes around and he's just like. like boom, I boom, 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 boom. Let's see who's on uh, YouTube. We can do a raid on YouTube too. Gotta stalk you, homie. Yeah, I think you're still live. I think you gotta shut off the stream, homie, because otherwise I can stop What's you. What's your preferred throw. viewers? If you pick your nose right uh, now, not viewers, but I'm gonna see it. What you I'm prefer for it, views boy. on? I'm gonna see your nose picking, boy. Don't do it. Don't pick your nose. You oh, I'm it. picking hard. I'm picking it. He's doing it. <laughs> <In a way. laughs> That's, That's right. actually hilarious. Always okay. picking noses. Why not? That's wild. All right, who's okay. else streaming That's on nice. Diablo? What else do you play? Oh, lots of games. Or he actually did it. Like I was watching him go like this, like fake, obviously. But it was funny as fuck. I need like five more shoutouts for this dude. He's funny. You're from VA. I got you. I got you. He's funny. Is nobody funny. really streaming Diablo two right now on on YouTube. Horror, Diablo light. 2, Diablo 4, nice. I also have Diablo 4. Uh, I got horror games like Bloodborne. I don't know if Bloodborne's a horror, but it's kind of like a horror. I got TCM, DBD. I, pl I also got Amnesia, which is a horror. Hello there, little lady. Hello, Yellow. How are you doing? Is VA State? Yeah, uh, VA is uh, Virginia, I believe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm a little bit shabby on my uh, state's abbreviations, to be honest with you. Man, there's like nobody streaming Diablo 2 today except for me. There's Hardcore Bonk. Yeah. Well, this guy's playing. This, this guy's I doing also it. got Diablo 4, but I've been playing I'll Diablo 2 all. because I just prefer I'll it over Diablo 4. Mind. I'm good, but what about yourself? I'm okay, Yellow. What you doing today? To go Holy fuck. All right, let's uh, let's raid this guy too. We're gonna raid Holy Fox. He's only got 242 streamers. Or, uh, I think the way that I do this is I have to um, redirect you guys to it. I think is what it is. Uh, hopefully he has it turned on. Do 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 do.
Sorry, I'm a little bit uh, rusty on the the uh, rating on YouTube, so it'll take me a second. I'm pretty sure I just need to do this, and then this, and then this. Ah, uh, he doesn't have redirect privileges on. Unfortunate. For YouTube, if you want somebody to raid you, you have to actually enable redirect privileges before. So it doesn't work. Oh, Anna is live on YouTube. Let's go raid Anna. She's not streaming Diablo 2, though. I think she's streaming Last Epoch. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Last Epoch anyway. Yeah, she's streaming Last Epoch. Let's go raid her. That sounds like fun. And she also doesn't have redirect privileges. God dang, ain't nobody got redirect privileges on. See, y'all just uh, missing out because none of y'all got redirect privileges on and I can't raid you. All right, well, I'll give up. As always, thanks for watching, guys and gals, and uh, keep watching.